What's up, everybody? Mr. Beasy, I'm here. Get this right, right quick. As you see, I'm at work again. Wish I could have been at home to do this one. But hey, it is what it is. What's going on, y'all? People that's in here, I'm trying to put this link out while I'm doing this, so get, bear with me. There we go. What's up, Saint? What's up, Diego? Appreciate y'all for coming through. I'm trying to get this link on here, man. It's acting crazy. Don't want to act right. Hold on. What's up, Scott? Cooling, man. I'm at work, y'all. So I'm going to be able to read some of these comments, but a lot of them I'm not, especially in a little bit when it get dark. I won't be able to see it. But hold on, y'all. Let me put this link in for you guys. If I guess, copy link. There we go. So let me try to post this link again. Y'all just bear with your boy. Say today, man, we're going to be talking about uh, the narrative, man, how people change things and take a situation. And they take the narrative and change the narrative of the situation instead of addressing the situation. They make it about them. They make it about their them and their agenda and what they trying to push or what they want you to see or whatever, you know instead of what it's really about. Because a lot of this crazy stuff that's happening, y'all, hold on, there it is. It should be in the chat. Yeah, it's in the chat now. I just dropped the link. A lot of this stuff, y'all, you know what I'm saying? A lot of this stuff that's going on, bro, can be prevented or could be stopped. It don't even supposed to happen. Me and Saint was just talking about this. Uh, we was just talking about this. Uh, let me turn my camera sideways. We was talking about this. Uh, there we go. We were talking about this um, the other night. How um, schools shouldn't even be getting shot up right now. Why is it? A, why is it? Why is that a thing? You know, since Columbine, all that should have been put in check. All that should have been put in check. So how is that still a thing in 2022? That a, a, a dang on school were kids. I mean, they saying they want to reinforce Congress because some people came to they house which is the people because congress don't belong to congress it belongs to the people yeah they went a little too crazy january 6th some stuff went out of hand but at the same time they were trying to get their point across and their point was muted because they changed the narrative again now you got all these kids getting shot and and just like sandy hook it was a 10 millimeter glock and a P226 was used. AR-15 was found in the truck with a 100-round drum on it, but he never shot it. But then it got to the news saying, hey, the, uh, hold on, I see you guess. I just seen it pop up. Hold on, let me let y'all in. At the studio, let me see. At, I ain't see y'all back there, y'all. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm riding. Yo, 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 what up, everybody? What's up, Sam? Okay, there y'all go. What's up, boss? What's the damn deal? And so, like, what I was saying was, um, the boy in Sandy Hook used a 10 millimeter Glock, Glock 20, 10 millimeter, and a CP226. I think it was a 45, if I remember. And if anybody remembers Sandy Hook shooting, he had the AR in the truck. But somehow, mysteriously, he used the AR 15. But the little douchebag, I ain't going to say his name in, 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 in Buffalo, you said this y'all sorry-ass president that y'all voted for because I never vote for Biden because of Biden cocksucking ass 
and the 1994 crime bill, my brother did five years behind some fucking weed because of some three strike law shit. That cocksucker locked up more motherfuckers uh, than the law law. You know what I'm saying? He he started the the, the, the pipeline of prison industrial complex, and then his slut ass uh vice president Camilla Harris let a motherfucker stay in jail three years after they told her to release him. So I wasn't voting for them. So y'all know who I voted for, and don't give a fuck. Been voting for him, Trump. Yup, I did it, motherfucker. Voted for him twice. Voted for him. I will vote for him a third time. Cause at the end of the day, the Democrats and the Republican is two wings of the same bird, which is the United States government. So don't get, don't file. It's the Democrats versus Republicans. No, because if you really look at a lot of these bills that just got passed with all these backdoor ass restrictions and losing your rights in the backdoor and these uh, budget bills and shit that these people pass, it's Republicans and Democrats. See, what people got to do, what really matters at is your local, your local, your local justice system, your judges, your prosecutors, your county commissioner courts and all that stuff because they really affect your day-to-day -day life. Because when it comes to them sentences and all that, that shit like boxing, that shit like WWE, they know who's going to win before it win. You know what I'm saying? If you watch Power, Power gave y'all uh, um, in your window to let a motherfucker know one minute this boy finna win and the next thing you know, ghost on the governor ticket. Then you see your boy show a video of some white racists and next thing you know, he on the ticket. Man, that shit go like that for real, bro. Wait one minute, let me try, cause I'm I'm in I'm in some cop in Alabama and I gotta keep my eyes yeah. open. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I feel you. Look, look, I just love I just love Memphis. I'm in Arkansas now. I just love Memphis, and you you notice I was supposed to go live at seven, but I refused to go live. Uh, while I was in Memphis. Shh. Man, you <laughs> just you just named them shows, bro. It's all a show. I mean, shoot. It's, it's a show. It's a show, bro. Come tell you something. And I blame our people. And the reason why I blame my people because I seen it when they did the Obama thing. I seen it when they brought that 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 fake fraud. Whoever they, I don't know where they dug up from. They should have kept her in California. Everybody just jump for joy when they see our skin tone in a political suit. Yep. I don't know what it is, bro. People do not do their research. They don't care. It, and then it piggyback it piggyback it to people really just don't care to do their research people are lazy and they don't care those two things bro and it's like you can lay it out for them and i promise you this next election all it takes is the right skin tone and all that and it's right back again it's like a a repeating circle these people just spent 1.9 billion dollars to fortify that capital that got ran through and no but, money but, out but, here for the poor no money out for the homeless. The yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, no stimulus. Hold up, man. Let's talk about this, man. Thank yeah, God man. you brought this up. So yeah. these cocksuckers gave me fourteen hundred dollars. Do y'all know they took fourteen hundred dollars out of my taxes? Yo, <laughs> they <laughs> took fourteen hundred dollars. If I look, bro, I promise <laughs> to God, if if I didn't want to put my business on the internet, I would show my tax return. What do you people took fourteen hundred from me? So basically, you loaned me fourteen hundred. Why you didn't take that fourteen hundred from these billionaires? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a small business man I trying to make it. I totally agree with you, though, because since I've been on holiday out here, yeah, stuff's expensive, way more expensive than in the UK. Bruh. You get what I'm coming from, and I'm on holiday, and I'm and I'm realizing that. You see where I'm coming from? Bro, I know exactly. I feel, listen, listen. I just ate at Waffle House. I woke up. I said, fuck it. I told Saint. I said, say, look, bro. I'm going to go over here to Waffle House and give me something to eat. I talked to him and my boy uh, Luca on the, on the phone while I'm, I'm eating. Do you know that meal just cost me in Mississippi now? Now, anybody know the cost of living in Mississippi really ain't that high? Because mm -hmm. I was in South Haven, Mississippi, crop 15 minutes from Memphis. I just spent. 16, it was like 16 some dollars on the, on the, uh, yeah, the Grand Slam, whatever the little thing is. Man, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's, it's yeah, the yeah, little it's breakfast true. meal with, with the waffle and the eggs and the bacon and all and that. The grand crap. Slam or something like that, whatever it is. It's, it's, it's like a Grand Slam, it's like but it's not because it's waffle. Mm -hmm. Bruh, when I tell you, I was like, damn, Mississippi ain't high at all. I know Miss, man, bruh. 
I'm going to tell y'all something. If you got the meat, you got an extra 40 or $30, go buy you some bullets. Yo, I you, well, you, got to. Yo, I went to the range, yeah. I've been at the range, yeah, training, because I came one week before the R RGAs to get right, yeah? Let me tell you something. Dan here, yeah, for, uh, what, two, two, three, yeah, $18 a box. Yeah, oh, no. No. Yeah? Tell oh, something. I'm no. Gonna, three times this week, and it cost me over about, what, 100 or something dollars. Dan? Saint, tell them what I just spent on Bullet Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and I only got, I only got, uh, I only got two hundred rounds of nine millimeter, and two boxes of twenty. What you spend? Close to three hundred? What was it? It was like two ten. Two some? Yeah. Okay. Well, two ten for some twenty two and some nine millimeter bullets. Shit, Bro. That, that same box of 300 blackout I used to get for like 16, 18 bucks. That shit. How much 20, was it? 25. Man, 25. Taxes gonna be about 20 to sell them. 20 to sell them. I, <laughs> I say, boy, say. <laughs> I say the 20 bucks. What's going I, on? I thought, I, was shooting three oh eight. <laughs> I thought I was shooting 308. <laughs> Rubble double. Everybody in the chat, man. I appreciate y'all for stopping through, man. Look, man, when I say. It's crazy, but I'm, I'm what I'm the point that I made when I said y'all hold on y'all let me spit. The point the point that I was making when I said y'all go buy some bullets. Cause if you got a gun, damn bro, are you on my third trailer? Man, you see me trying to get over. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Come on, man, come on. Drop back, drop back if you know how to drive, drop back. Thank you. Shit. Man, shout out to everybody here, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, y'all come like in. For show, for show, and, man. I see y'all. And leave man. a comment on everybody. the page. Or Scott. I know you come in in the chat, but leave a comment in the page for me, y'all. Mm -hmm. Boy, this bitch taking pictures. This this truck snitch. This truck is the police. But but back what I was saying, bro. I said go buy some bullets and say this. If you don't got a firearm, go get you a firearm. Cause I'm gonna tell you something. They just did a gun, a gas buyback for guns in California, and idiots went and gave up their guns. For fifty dollar gas card because it was six it's six dollars a gallon up there in Cali. Crazy. <laughs> well, I tell you. Let me tell y'all something. If unleaded gas gets six dollars, that means diesel gonna jump to ten. Diesel is always higher than unleaded. Yeah. And if diesel get to ten, that means that these trucks, people like me and this brother next to me that's passing by, me and this FedEx truck, that commute y'all goods, that means your price finna go up. And after prices start going up, people getting less for their dollar. Mm -hmm. And it don't take a rocket scientist to tell you what's going to happen, but since a lot of y'all don't know, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. People finna start robbing. People finna start taking. The have-nots going to start taking from the, the haves. I'm telling you, if they think you got it, they're going to start taking it. Mark my word, bro. This thing going to blaze the sun. It's going to be wicked. I'm trying to tell you. People would not go Man, without. The social economic plan that these people got and put in place first, they they tried to kill you with, with COVID. No COVID. It's something that my boy Courtney said. Courtney in Alaska, it was sunny and beautiful while it was raining cats and dogs here. Courtney said, bro, they sprayed something in the air. We seen chemtrails next day. know it's rain. I was like, hmm, that's interesting. That's interesting. Then I'm driving through Arkansas last night. I was storming. And I opened the window. Brother, the rain smelled weird as hell, dude. The rain smelled like a chemical. I was like, man, why it smell like this? Then it just stank. I think I told you something. I said, man, it stank, bro. I said, bro, this stuff yeah. stank. They used to tell us when they spray. Now they just do their thing. Like, bro, like, man. Then I'm looking at the narrative. I, I want y'all to think about this. Y'all remember that uh, the, the, when they was trying to take down the Confederate statues, and everybody was protesting in Charlotte, North Carolina. And that, that white dude come through the uh the dude come through the, in the challenge and ran over all them people. Now one time did y'all hear them say, Dodge, this your problem that this man jumped in your car and ran over these people, Dodge need to pay. So why every time a person go get a gun and then the boy that did the shooting in in, in um uh, Texas yeah. He was a felon in the way. He wasn't even supposed to have a gun. So how yeah. gun control going to stop that? 
And then I look at Joe Biden, man. I, I just looked at that farce. And I'm looking at him talk last night. He just pissed me off at work. And I went to cussing at work, letting people know my views, which you, you never really do, but I ain't even give a damn. I'm like, bro, you politicized kids death. Do you understand if that was my child when, in, that, in that place and that man pulled what he pulled, man? Man, I'd probably be on the watch list or they'll probably the Secret Service would come get me because I'd have called the White House. And I'd have said something really, really bad. What I'd have said, I don't know, but I got an idea. But I'd have said something bad that I'd have been on a terrorist watch list. I wouldn't have been able to buy a firearm legally, but glad. Guess what? I got the ability and the knowledge to build my own, so I really don't have to buy any more, period, no more anyway. So it don't even matter. You see how they come so, with it, bud. They, they freezing up parts. I don't know if y'all can hear me or whatever, but you know, bug driving this truck. He probably got a connection there right now. He freezing on my end. Can y'all still hear me? If y'all can hear me, man, drop a one in the comment section. If y'all still here, if y'all we still connected, we still alive. Y'all can hear me. Just drop a one right quick, man. My bro driving on the road, so trying to rock out the best we can. All right. Uh, oh, really okay. Man, somebody call me. Okay. I need to put that on do not disturb. I'm here, bug though. Okay, he coming back in. Yeah, somebody call, knock him off line. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Yeah, man. If y'all like that and y'all see, man, please don't call my phone when I'm on live, man. But come on, for real. Like, that knocked me out. Especially when I'm on the phone. Now, if I was at home, it's cool. I'm not at home, man. I'm in the truck. All right. There you go, brother. Appreciate that, Hicks. Uh, yeah. yeah, man, I appreciate all y'all in the chat. I can't read the chat. You know, I'm watching the road. So, you know. Yeah. But like I was saying, though, they didn't blame the brother for the... They didn't blame Dodge. They didn't blame... That you haul they didn't blame you haul for that dude running over them people with the U Haul doing their protest, the BLM protest. But so why y'all keep blaming pistols? Quit blaming inanimate objects for people that are stupid. That this object can't do nothing without nobody controlling it. If my gun go off, I'm not blaming my gun. Cause nine times out of ten I made it do something to go off. Now sometimes, because it's human made, things fail and they can go off and then you can blame the manufacturer. But I'm not finna get mad at my gun because my gun go shoot my son. And and I was holding it. No, I shot my son. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, bro, that's just stupid. It's stupid. And then I listen to the narrative. We need common sense gun control. But all the people that be saying this old stupid ass shit, they got fucking security guards with full armed weapons protecting them. They got bodyguards. Like these senators. They got bodyguards. They just spent the billion dollars of forty five. It don't cost no goddamn billion dollars to fortify no damn <laughs> uh 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 Capital building. Capital what 1.9. You need, what, 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 you, what you need all that money for? Y'all finna take that slush fund and do some other stuff. Practice some kids. Go get your Angie Chrome and everything else that you do. And take your babies over to Barbados and have it. Man, come on, man. Y'all know it. They know Basically them. Basically, y'all those be doing. missions and all that kind of stuff. Like yeah, man. These people be on no shit. They it's be wild. on some more, man. It's wild, man. And I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And I was listening to my boy T Electric last night, man. Shout out to T Electric and the Gun Freak Nation. Man, he telling y'all, arm up, watch yourself. Don't send your people out at night. Don't let your old lady walk outside the car at night or, or let her go to the store. Because anything can happen now. You got ignorant little dudes walk up in the schoolhouse. Man, that takes some nuts. I know you can't go to my, my little daughter. Man, look, my six year old. Try to go to that school and shoot something. Your ass gonna get pancaked. Bro, the people ain't even gonna, they gonna make you push the button, talk through the little camera. They not gonna let you in the school. The officer can come meet you with the teacher, probably with your child. Like, man, come on, bro. You you spend all this money on, on the uh on the Capitol building. Put that money in these districts that don't, these rural districts, because that's a rural district. That dude didn't go to Dallas. That dude didn't go to El Paso. He didn't go to San Antonio. He didn't go to Austin. He didn't go to Houston. Hell, he, he went to Dallas and Houston to Fort Worth. Hell, 
one of the kids would have popped his ass. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. <laughs> you come there to my pop and man, them, them kids gonna fire your ass up. Man, you see the spot you name. You see the spot you name, man. Them, man, them, come them on, man. They do it. <laughs> get wicked in, you went, you went to Buffalo because you know Buffalo got gun gun law. You didn't bring your ass to South Dallas. You ain't go to Cocker Hill. You ain't go to the fucking Fiesta on, on, on Lead Better. Because somebody going blow to you, blow you down. Because I know if I'm in a, I'm in a car and I got mine on me, and I see you on some tomfoolery. I mean, he's just shooting this. I'm gonna blow you down. I'm gonna put that red dot dead on top of your, on your tater. I might put it on your neck so I know I hit you in your tater. Depending on how many yards you are, and I'm gonna fire your ass up. See, thing is, they, real? they know relatives and, and homies and everything gonna be up there at them schools. Y'all not gonna be able to get to the active shooter in time to protect him and lock him up and cut and nice bracelets and walk him and, and give him a sandwich and and, 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 and coddle him and coddle him and take him yeah. to. The, or Waterburger. Uh, Pat on you know, the show. She's at the Funky Town. That, he getting yeah. a one way ticket to Funky Town. The show. Shout out to T Electric. Crazy man. show, the Bullet Express. Nice. And, and I'm gonna tell you something. You can't fix crazy. With people crazy like that, man, it take a special type of crazy to kill kids, bro. Sick man. It take a, it take a special type of sickness, bro. Yeah. And I'm dead. I'm dead serious, bro. It take say, a special type of sickness. They want everybody to follow on that. Oh, he got a mental problem. Now he was trained. Can we? Yeah, he was probably trained. Everybody got a, a, a mental mental problem when something like this pop off, but they come with some with some with some weird tactics, boy. They seem like they trained. They don't seem that mentally unstable or crazy to me. He took it out on people like that. That seemed like like the Buffalo shooter. That seemed like a a, a planned trained attack to me. Man, I mean, look, Pete. What they said, fish in the barrel. Fish in the barrel, man. You just shooting them. They do. They corral. They do. And them kids, bro. And, and and I hate to see politicians. We need more gun control. Man, hell no. You need to get them damn parents some goddamn counseling. Man, bro, I just lost my brother. Bro, and I'm still dealing with that shit today. Man, them people need to talk to somebody, man. Them people, man, you need to send some counseling to these people. You need to get these people some 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 uh some mental health. Let them people go to a doctor however long you take them to deal with that. Their life is traumatized. Man, come on, man. Do you know what it feels like to lose your child? But Hetrick said that boy had a Daniel Defense rifle, bro. But from what I heard, he didn't even shoot the rifle. And <laughs> it's crazy. Like, man, these not no little rusty 38. But, but hold right up. Now. How you get a Daniel De a Daniel Defense cost 2000 to 2500 that's not no cheap rifle. So why is it? It was a question asked. Call on the asked this question. How are these kids getting these high-powered good rifles? How are these shoes getting good stuff? They ain't got no PSC. They ain't got no Burr Creek Arsenal. No, no cheap no arrow. They come in with, with Daniel Defense and, and man, I'm talking about battle yeah. rifles. I mean, half of the people on this chat don't own a Daniel, D, a Daniel Defense. I know three people with Daniel Defense. And that's uh, Zoe, Chan, and Millspec. I mean, uh, not Millspec, uh, Cormo. But they pay two grand. Man, come on, man. Man, ain't nobody on the street selling Daniel defenses like that, dog. Ain't nobody on the street selling that stuff like that, man. Not at all, bro. And that's the crazy part. Nah, they ain't, man. These people, man. It's it's like this. Not nothing new. This this not, you know. This this crazy stuff done popped off here and there every now and then. They just keep on reminding us that, bro. It's like a movie that's on repeat. Yeah. Okay, for one, for one, I promise y'all, it should not be no damn school shooting. Period. After Columbine High School. That should never been a school shooting at the Columbine. They figured out the recipe. The recipe to stop school shooting deal. Which one of them teachers got a CHL? You let them go get some training. Get them a lockbox and get them a key. And make sure that they got electronic lock on their door. The buzz key is in and out. And, and it's simple. You can stop all this. But y'all don't want to stop this. Then it'll go against your narrative.
or spend some of that 1.9 billion on putting some people up there that'll do y'all job for you. On everything, bro, because this is crazy. This is crazy, man. And, I, and I'm serious, bro. And I really want y'all in the chat, man. Everybody in the chat that, that joined in, what's up? I can't see you because I'm rolling. And I'm going to drop the link, man, if you let me know how you feel. Because me, I'm outraged. Because I get tired of I get tired of people blaming the easy thing. It's easy to blame the gun. But how can you blame the gun when the gun didn't do nothing? The gun didn't do nothing. It's a tool, man. It's the same. It's the same tool. It's a tool. They don't talk it's about it's a tool like they don't they don't read countless studies, bro. Like every time you snatch the weapons, crime they don't stop crime. It just goes in another crime direction up. and it goes up. It doesn't stop crime, but they don't want to talk about the numbers. Talk about the numbers. Y'all don't try this already. I want to say they tried this in the UK or somewhere. It's it, it doesn't happen. I looked at this, I want to say about a about a year or two ago, I'm rusty on it, but the numbers was like up 39 or 59 percent. It was up more stabbings than anything. So, but, uh, what you gonna do, snatch the knives? But I hold mean, up, let me tell you something. You don't have to look at the UK, you can look at the United States. All you got to do is look at the United States from 1994, from 1994 to whenever the sunlight of the, the 10 years, so it's 1994 to. 2004, 2004, 1994, 2004. It's sunset. The sunset of the salt, the salt weapons bill, which you can't even call the salt weapon because the salt weapon is a select fire. Any any weapon used to overthrow a government. And so my phone can be a salt phone if I just go salt a government with it and overthrow a government with it. So anyway, I digress. But you go look at the crime between the time when you can have 30 round mags and they banned all these rifles from the time that they released that ban. Okay, I'm gonna give you another. I'm gonna give you another example, and and you can look this up. You can Google in the state of Texas, crime between the times of 1995 and until September. I think it was September the seventh, 2007, when the Castle Castle Law came into effect, and look at how shootings. And how crime kind of went down. It got high for one second. And then it went down. It went up. Because with anything, when you when you try something new, it's going to go up because people are going to try their luck. And then when they realize that their luck ran out, then, you know, the curve. You get a curve, you get a spike, and then the curve, it level out. And look at the crime. Look at how many, how many, um, how many road, road rage shootings they had. When when they allow people to start putting guns in their car and how stuff start going down. That's how you got to do, man. The numbers don't lie, bro. The studies don't lie. Rubble double. But you keep trying to. Mm -hmm. huh? Rubble double said, why they don't have doors that, you know, need access, you know, into these schools? Why they don't have barred doors that need, you know, access cards and stuff like that? They don't want to spend that money. See, in Dallas, they do. Dallas, yeah, Richardson, they Fort Worth, Plano, they do. It's those rural areas. You, you know they go to South Targets. You're gonna go to you're gonna go to a little small town that don't got no budget. Crime really don't happen because everybody know everybody. Quite natural. I can I can understand that. I can see that. Jay Great hit on 94 to 2004 when you was talking about how they went that period of time. Well, um, yeah, 2004. Yeah, yeah, for, for the assault weapons ban. When yeah. the assault weapons ban was repealed, and, and people start knowing that you got 50 and 100 round drums and you got that yapa again, man, people start checking themselves. How many times did the AR 15 save some property or save somebody's life? How many times when them boys tried to run up and down that little girl and they realized that she was between 12 and 14? Her dad had an AR-15. They tried to run up in the house on her, and she went to Aaron the mountain. She killed one of the boy. Got their mind right with the AR. You know what I'm saying? If see, and this is the crazy part. That's why I say it's, the, the, it's a movie. If anybody from the '90s remember this, it was the AK-47. Oh, that's the devil. The AK-47. We need to ban it. Okay, '94 crime bill came in. Now it's the AR-15. Both guns was out at the time, but the AK was cheap. Because you had surplus guns coming in from Europe and the Balkans and coming in from China. That was you, you I remember when the SK used to be ninety dollars at the pawn shop. Then they went up to 150. 
The most I ever paid for one was three hundred. Now they five hundred dollars to a thousand, depending on what type it is. But every every year, and if y'all ain't noticed something, and this is a little off topic, but it's just to make a point of repetition. We get a school shooting every ten years. We get a new disease every every eight years. When the Republicans in office, we don't have a disease. When the Democrat come in office, I want y'all to go back. Let's go back to Obama. We gonna go back after Bush. We had swine flu. We had NRH two five six three four, whatever they called it. Then they had uh, the fake outbreak of smallpox. Then they said the uh, uh, Ebola. Then it was bird flu. Then it was mad cow disease. Now we got Corona, COVID. Now they talking about monkeypox that look like shingles. How the fuck monkeypox get into the civilization if you didn't release it? And then they try to take your guns. Then there's been six shootings. They only reported about three, four now because the Houston, uh, the the one in your valley. Well, they spend the negative shootings know, um, for a long time, but the positive shootings don't get don't get no social media game. Hold up, hold up. Damn. Yo, let me give you an example. Buffalo. Buffalo, when that black man said he talked to that man the day before, then they he talked to the news, they parried that. And then Coley on the wall just showed the pieces. I tried to go find it, which he wasn't lying. You had to dig through your mama draw. You had to dig through your grandma purse. You had to go in your grandma uh, 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 pocketbook in a titty to find this damn video. When he said... If it was other people in that store with guns to shoot that man, that man would have been dead. He would have shot as many people as he shot. But when he said that, they left that out the news, though. They left that out the news. Yeah. That's the same thing I was saying. I was telling my brother that. I say, man, if there was been more people there with, with firearms, I don't give a damn what he had on. He wouldn't have walked away from that like that. Oh, you know he would have walked away from that, man. But some people like myself and you, we go about it. And I know I do. You got on soft body, I can be real. If I got a rifle, I can, I can, I can really shoot that man. I can do some damage because what people don't understand is when you got a vest on, a vest don't stop. It's not the bullet, but it don't stop the pain. And you still get the blood rushing trauma. And I know I do. You got on soft body, I can be real. If I got a rifle, I can, I can, I can really, I can do some damage because what people don't understand is when you got a vest on, a vest don't stop. It's not the bullet, but it don't stop the pain. And you still get the blood rush trauma and and the back back form uh deformation from the vest. So if I put you in your chest with a 308 and you got a vest on, oh, you're going to feel it. Unless you hyped up on dope or hyped up on adrenaline. But you got one security guard engaging him direct, which he, I give him heart because I'm not engaging no rifle direct with no cover. But he did what he did to try to save them people. So he sacrificed himself and I commend him for it because uh, I know at that school, that sheriff ran ahead. And tobacco came. So he did more than what the police did. If it was more people in there, like I was getting to the point of people like me, you, Saint. If we seen that security officer, me and you strapped in there, and we seen that security officer fired him and hit him in his chest and he don't go down, what mean you would have shot at? We shoot for neck, toes, ass, knees. Ligaments, we we shoot nuts, for or pelvic bones. nuts, everything, throat. We shoot for what we see. Well, he won't have armor. Well, yeah. we know that it won't. And if we hit him right, if we hit an artery, we can kill him within a couple of minutes. Yeah. But if we can hit a bone, we can get him off his feet. Off his feet, he's more dangerous with that rifle on his feet. He's more dangerous with his rifle on his feet. But if I can hit him in his pelvic bone, I took him out the fight. Because he's not trying to squeeze that trigger. He's trying to stop that pain. You see what I'm saying? So people don't know that. I've been through that because I was in the streets. I knew mm -hmm. when people, because people were wearing soft body armor when I was growing up. I knew to shoot you in your nuts. I know your penis is a muscle that has a direct flow to your heart. That's how you get erect. It's from blood pressure. So if I bust that circulatory system and open it up, you're going to bleed out. It ain't nothing you can do to stop that bleeding. You're going to have a painful death. And if I hit you with the right thing, like a, a good old critical duty that's coming out of my Glock 17 or one of the back talons and hit your penis or hit your scrotum and hit you in your pelvic bone and shatter your pelvic bone, 
Oh man, you was in a world of trouble. You finna be you. Oh, you finna die a horrible death. You finna die excruciating pain. Oh yeah. Shout out to Miss K. If I can't get Miss K, don't shout fight. out to Miss K. My that's my that's my internet wife, and y'all better not say nothing <laughs> about her because I. She say it. those are bio weapons but, created by the government. <laughs> How y'all doing? Yeah, them bio weapons created by the government. Mm -hmm. Because think about it, coronavirus been around since SARS. If you read any of your cleaning products, they say it kills corona. So what they did was went in there, and manipulated it in a, in a lab in, in North Carolina. Then they shipped that shit to China with Dr. Fauci and all these other people that need to be in jail. Or they just need to bring them to your local ghetto without security. When they can bring their damn security and see how long they last. And release them in the middle of South Dallas and see how they work out for them. Because you killed so many people. You killed so many of my relatives with this fake-ass damn disease that you told us a mass can can save then everybody start wearing these damn masks and then they compromise their immune system by breathing in this bacteria that was manifesting inside these masks and then you're not getting oxygen you rebreathing carbon monoxide uh, uh compromising your immune system making yourself weak over a long period of time people wearing around these masks on 16 18 hours and ain't changed the mask just breaking their body see, that, that ain't being talked about it you're breaking your body down so now you 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 easy you easy to get a disease now. Your body's so most susceptible to, to to take in any any disease in, in your body is a miraculous man, the body is a miraculous <laughs> computer and thing. It's made to protect itself. And what our government do, come get the free shot. Anytime they talking free. Come get the free shot. Free say boy. <laughs> man, yeah, you better watch it. Come get the free shot. Let me tell you something. Tuskegee experiment. That's all I gotta say. And if you don't know what it is, I'm not going to tell you. I need you to go research what they did in Tuskegee, Alabama. And the military had something to do with that. The same way they gave smallpox on blankets to the Indians. Man, the government don't give away nothing for free. Hell, they gave us free stimulus, and they just took that shit back out of my fucking taxes. But it was free. Free ain't free. Quit running, and, 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 and you black people, I'm talking to all you black people. All my white friends, y'all stand down. This is for these goddamn colors. All you black people that ran and voted for this cocksucker that hate your men, that hate your son, hate your brother, hate your husband, and this twat of a, of a woman that don't even like her daddy, which is a Jamaican, one of the original black men. And y'all voted for her. And then let's let's talk about these douchebags y'all voted down there in Georgia. All these Democrats, you voted for all these people, and look what they're doing to you. And let me tell you something about gun control. I'm finna say this, and I'm finna piss some people off, and you can kiss my ass, because I don't give two fucks. Gun control was made for black people not to be able to have a gun to protect themselves after the Civil War, after uh the emancipation proclamation when they said that black people was free they made sure that you could protect yourself because see what they don't tell you in the history books is how many uprisings and how many people are uh, over the station yeah man these people I don't know, man. I, I, the government got a lot of stuff to answer to, and it's just stuff just happening, it's just going, just going and going. Like I was talking with my wife last week. I, I think it was last week where the girl from Fort Hood was saying she feel like she her life is in danger. She's been getting harassed, and it's a lot of stuff that be going on at this um at this spot, man, and. Last I checked, they detained the girl. The girl was detained. I don't know if any of y'all heard about that. I think it was Fort Hood where the girl was detained. Felt saying she felt like her life was in danger. She's been getting harassed. And it's just one thing out after another. Stuff keep getting covered up. A lot of stuff don't get spoke on. You still there, bug? I don't know if you're breaking up. Like you might be breaking up. Yeah. <laughs> what up? What up, Life in Baton Rouge, man? That link out there, man. I think Bug breaking up on us. 
Yeah, he'll file back in. He on the road, child, for everybody who's just been popping in. He doing this from the um his work truck. You know, he drives trucks, so he out there. It's on the fly, man. He's working with the elements right now. Yeah. Man, my little nephew been playing on the phone. They know I'm on live, so they keep uh, calling, playing. But see, if I was in Dallas, I'd be in jail right now because I'd be in urban. Choking uh, the life okay. out there, little twat. But back okay. to what I was saying, man, like, the government don't give you nothing. They don't give you nothing to benefit you. Like I said, check your check your taxes. Yeah. If twelve hundred dollars missing out your taxes, that's that twelve hundred dollars they gave you for that stimulus. Yeah, people need to pay attention to that. I need to look into that. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, can you hear me, Saint? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, man, they playing with me. I swear to God, bro. I, if I went on live, I'd block them. So but they purposely doing this, I see. Yeah, I know that. They, and they playing. Like, it's a time to play and it's a time not to play. But see, you know what yeah. it is when you be too nice to these damn little, these, these little youngsters. You can't yeah, be nice to them. Cool. See, I'm, but if I go over there and punch him in his throat, his mammy going to want to call <laughs> Irvin on me. And then I'm about to punch her in her face yeah, and beat her work. husband up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It ain't even worth it. <laughs> chop it up with him, man. Let him know, man. Don't be playing like that. Man, ain't no chopping. See, I done talked to him about this. Say, man, I'm on live. Don't do that. And you're doing it intentionally. So since you're doing it intentionally, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to child abuse you because I'm going to punch you. I'm going to punch <laughs> you. I'm going to put the paws on you. And see, I'm going to do it good because see, the city of Urban, I know they rude. I lived yeah. out there 17 years. I know they rude. As long as I whoop you on your ass with a belt, I can't go to jail and don't leave a bruise. <laughs> I don't like, but she ain't gonna hit you with a belt. I'm gonna put my boxing Yo. gloves on. I'm gonna go in there and punch you down, and then yeah. I'm gonna tell your mama husband, "Let's box," <laughs> cause she gonna say, "Why you beating on my baby boy?" Shut up, cause you should have talked to me better. Then I'm gonna go to Louisiana and beat my brother up, cause you should have raised his son right. Shit. Now I got the yeah. Anyway. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, bro, these people got me eating. <laughs> Look, but see, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna get them? You gonna get them? You got the shit oh man, I'm a, man, I'm a tense cuz when I get back. You think I'm playing? I'm pull up uh, official. Uh, uh, but like I was saying though, like you know, these these diseases. Now all of a sudden, Corona. I'm gonna tell y'all something. The say, I say probably a little bit more. They probably a, a, a couple of more hundred, but a hundred to two hundred thousand people died during the flu season, and it was never magnified, and nobody never paid attention to that. Then when they released the corona, they started releasing them five G towers. Radiation poison give you the same symptoms as the corona. Take away your taste. Ask anybody that took chemotherapy. You lose your taste. The first thing you lose is your taste. Then you start losing your hair. The more you get exposed to radiation. If you look at all these 5G towers, if you look on the ground, you'll see dead birds everywhere because the, the radiation is killing the birds and, and the magnetic signal is throwing the bees off anything in that area. The bees ain't flying the right path. They they, they magnetic path because they follow magnetic path. Now, people don't know this. They follow a geographic magnetic line to get them throughout the whole country. They got a whole network of, 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 of magnetic lines to show them how to maneuver and get the plants. All these 5G and 4G and all that stuff is throwing that stuff off. Then in everywhere where they were putting 5G towers, it was the most places where Corona was supposed to be the biggest, but everybody didn't pay attention to that. If you looked at Verizon map where they were saying, we putting 5G towers here, that was hot spots with Corona. Louisiana, everywhere they put a, 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 a tower at, Corona was out of control. Y'all better keep your eyes open. Come get your vaccine. Vaccine. My mama took that vaccine, bro. My mama took that vaccine, dog. And that stuff put my mom in the hospital. My mom went to the hospital every week for a whole month before she was hospitalized. Then my mama got out the hospital. Fail. How the hell you fall on Thanksgiving and then you don't get out the hospital till February? Stuff on right, man. Then kidney failure, liver failure. All this stuff, like, how the hell, man? My mom was healthy. A lot going how the hell this? But all this, all this is contributed to the shot. Everybody who got their shot, side effects, shingles. Now all of a sudden you got monkey pox. Man, it's come tough. on. But you it's got a bitch of shingles. You had to attack the body. Shingles, somewhere. shingles came. I know people who had chicken pox and got a vaccination and byproduct of their vaccination was shingles. Like, man. I ain't taking shit. You ain't
a bullet for you. I take a needle. Man, I'm look at like some, some of these jobs they've been hiring and stuff, man. They they it's like it's a requirement. Did you take the shot? Did you take the shot? But hold up, like, hold up. But when my auntie died, my auntie died, and we tried to claim that insurance policy. They said she took an experimental vaccine. Because she took the vaccine, they denied the policy. Several family members this doesn't happen to. I'm not taking no shot. And it ain't no mandatory. It is against the Constitution for you to put anything in your body that you don't want. And to be honest, HIPAA law is supposed to be to protect your privacy. Uh, a job can't call the doctor and see what you was there for. Yeah. So how can a job tell me I need to take a vaccination? That's my personal business. If I'm vaccinated or not, I would think that will follow up under HIPAA. Shoot, man, they view they they skew right over that over that fact. I thought that was a, a, a actual thing that they wasn't supposed to be able to do. But I guess since COVID done came, it's just man, they man. certain stuff don't don't. I don't know. I don't know how man, they let me tell you something, man. It's it was ridiculous. a plan, Timmy. It's a plan, Demi. These people playing, and they catch you, and people so scared. Then our people so goddamn scared. They so scared of every damn. My mama pissed me off so bad because I told her I don't give you this shot, and she really got this shot, and everything I told her was gonna happen happen. And to this day, she be you right, you right, yo. But old people so scared because I sit around and listen to them, and I would think that them be the ones because they lived through the sixties, and I was like, man, them be the ones to be like, nah, hell no, nah, fuck that. But them the ones that say I took my shot, and they proud to say they took that shot. Then everybody saw dropping dead next to him and they be mm -hmm. I don't know why he just died he took the shot and he still corona real nigga I caught that shit three times and the last time I caught it my little sister my little sister Nikki told me straight up she came to my mama house and brought me all type of teas and herbs and alkaline water and everything I was sick for a whole day and then I boo booed and threw that stuff up green and then I ate me a hamburger and then I ate some real food and kept drinking that tea that she gave me until we were gone and then I was good. My mama took that tea. And her kidney started doing better. Because it got all these herbs. Macaroon and all that crap in it. Took that. I think it's called. Duck flower. Duck wood flower. Something. But it make you boo boo like a mug. It's an herb. Boo boo. All, that, all them toxins up out of her body. And flushed all that stuff out of her body. Now she's straight. What the last little uh, comment say, bro? Because you know I can't read. Philly, Philly Slow said he remember when he used to um, go to school. They had the little old metal detectors. Now it's like an yeah. eyesore of thing. Yeah, you, you, you don't see them now. I remember how they was there when I was going to school. Metal detectors. We went through them every day. Bro, they, when I got out of school, they would just implement metal detectors. Because I'm telling you like this here. And anybody think I'm lying, anybody that's in this chat, if you went to Booker T. Washington High School and you was in a band with me, anybody know that Spot had a gun on him. Nigga, I took a tech nine to school. When Calvin Tobin shot or uh, 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 Kevin called him uh, uh, in front of the school, I had a tech nine on me. If Carlos went in jail, he can come on here and tell you, hey, man, Spot had a tech nine on him. Every parade, I had a pistol on me. We had one school shooting inside the school. And that blood boy shot that boy in the back with a 25. But that was personal person. When Calvin shot at uh, Kevin Carter them, that was a personal beat. They didn't shoot, no. It didn't go as a man shooting. That happened at Booker T. Washington High School, 2100 Milam Street, right there by the library, an elder. He shot them boys. Different times. But it didn't make – yeah, man, I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying, bro. These dudes, I told the gun to school every damn day. Mm-hmm. Shit, you go on book the tea, you open the lock. You three eighty ass school. You kind of breaking up there. I said, yeah, man, man, my partner sold me a three eighty at school. Yeah. I launched him three eighty chrome. I remember like it was yesterday. Sold me the pills at school. We were strapped. At Booker T Watch, the BT dub, we were strapped. Anybody knew it. When you come down football games, don't come at that tall food. Everybody heat. They might not have been heated in the stand, but them balls were heated in the band. You heard me? <laughs> yeah, man. We go nowhere without that thukum. Jeez, man, for real.
<laughs> call him the good old days because compared to what's going on now. The good old I, days. <laughs> yeah. Man, Ali look how this shit went. Go. Let me tell you something. A Oof. dude knew at, at Booger T. You shoot who you gonna shoot because if you start shooting at everybody, somehow gonna fire you up in this school. We didn't have to wait on security. And we didn't have no designated police in our school. But that's who that came up there with that bullshit. Well, Pusha used to say, I got my own fire. We don't need security at the club. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm trying to see. Say, man, mm-hmm. it, ain't, it ain't no club in Dallas. I'm not going in that, that my fire can't go up in there. And see, let me tell y'all something about the club. See, you got bouncers and security guards that's people homeboys. That's how when they had that shootout last summer, them boys from Louisiana was able to get their guns in the club. Because if you got a homeboy working the door, he gonna let you in. So don't think I got homeboys everywhere. Man, I'm up in that club, that thing on me. Cause I know what's gonna happen. I know what I know people up in here scoping, they looking at jewelry. Oh, 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 okay. He he buying the bar. Oh, he got a knife. Man, you don't think they got their homeboy sitting in the parking lot already been sitting in the car for four, five hours. They irritable. They waiting on you to come to your car. Yo, your tool in your car. So before you can open your door, they done already up on you. Well, they might just follow you home. Or put an air tag in your car and follow you home. Mm-hmm. You follow me home how you want to. You're going to come to my apartment. Because you never, you don't know where my house is. Hell, my family members they ain't even been to my house. But you can come to my apartment all day long. Mm-hmm. And you come over there, you're going to jail. But you got three police is going to get you. If, oh, if, if else. Universal Park don't get you, SMU going to get you. If SMU police don't get you, then you got Dallas going to get you. And if one of them white folks get scared and call the police, you're going to jail. And everybody over there strapped. Don't get it twisted. Matt and them come out there, they're going to spray you. Like, man. What up, what up, but what up, I, pimp? What up, pimp? But this is my question. How is it school still getting shot up in 2020? So, Miss K, K said. Columbine. <laughs> Miss K, Ms. K said they kept hitting Gary and Indy. <laughs> I'm just, oh, Lord, Dude. let me tell you something about Gary. Yeah. <laughs> let me tell you something about Gary. So I'm on my way to South Bend, right? On mm-hmm. some business. And I had to stop in Fort Wayne, which is another wild city. But they got them scary Gary. <laughs> scary Gary. Nigga, don't go to Gary, Indiana if your people ain't, ain't about that life. Don't stop at the stove. Don't get no gas. Don't go buy no weed. Listen to me. If you don't know nobody in Gary, don't go to Gary. Keep going, huh? <laughs> Keep going. Pass that motherfucker up. <laughs> That's baby Beirut. Ooh. Shit, the kids will shoot you up in that motherfucker. And I'm and, and listen, I ain't scared about far, but I ain't done. We went to Gary and had a bad time. And just say we made it out of Gary with our draws. Draws and socks. No car, no clothes, no jewelry. <laughs> the bags in the car was gone. Yeah. I'm you- so happy to get out of Gary and been to Gary since. <laughs> I met a woman says, I stay in Gary. You can meet me in Indianapolis. <laughs> oh, look. Steve, fuck Gary. <laughs> Gary man. ain't nothing to play with, man. Sure. It, look, that's why I think I like Miss K, because I know she a thug. Miss K ain't nothing to play with. Gary don't breed no pussies, man. Shit, you said some right. You said some real stuff, though, bro. You got to find out with the most important part, your life. My life. I got out of my life. And look, it's all good, though. That's the game. That's the game, man. Mm-hmm. Certain things go with the game, and you got to accept what go with the game, and you, you can't it. switch the game up because that's what you want to do. That was the game. I got caught slipping. I left my life. That's cool. I got everything that they took from me back times 25. I ain't tripping. Mm-hmm. It was a rental car. They sent us another one. It's okay. Yeah. You got self out of self way. Thank you. <laughs> and you still here. Man, I'm, I'm dead serious. And she know I ain't lying. No. You play the game. I was talking to some dudes in Gary. They made me think it was all good until I got there. When we was in Chicago, it was cool. But as soon as I got there, and I knew that was about, they were going to kill us. Man, I was like, man, no. Nah. And you know what the dude told us? He said, oh, no, nah, man, they sweet. They might they might just come back. They might be stupid enough to come back. No, we not, homeboy. Well, I'm not, because you ain't going to get me again. You get me once. Fool me once. Shame on you. 
Fool me twice, same on me. Shit, I kept my ass out of gear. Uh, Miss K say, Taco Berry, I want to meet you in gear right now. I can meet you in South Bend. Yeah, you say. Hell, I meet you in Fort Wayne. I said, I said, Miss K say, Bud, you can come to Gary and meet me right now. I'll be like, oh, we can meet in South Bend. We can meet in, in, in uh, Fort Wayne. We can meet in Indianapolis. But we not finna meet in Gary. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, Miss K going to be no victim, though. She ain't going. Yeah, I'm, Man, yeah, I'm look, bang, I might, bang I bang. might be, listen, listen, bro, listen, bro. I might be jocked out on Miss K and slipping. So, I ain't tripping. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So Read what I'm going to do is protect myself and not put myself in. I'm going to keep self I self way by not putting self in mm-hmm. predicament to get messed over. For real, for real. And if y'all able to um license to carry, man, please go license to carry. Man, go get your license. Get you some training. If you, like I said, if you can't afford no training, go talk to somebody with, with, with some training mm-hmm. to teach you something. Learn your firearm. Take it apart. Put it together, take it apart, put it together, cock it, get you some uh, dummy rounds, pull the trigger, cock it, pull the trigger again, force a uh, 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 malfunction, yeah. clear malfunction, blindfold yourself, take your gun apart, force a malfunction, take, learn your weapon, treat your weapon like you know your private parts, because everybody in this chat done played with their private parts before, and they know how to play with it because they know where it's at, and you treat that gun as such, you play with okay. that gun like it's your private uh, parts. <laughs> See, that's what you tech. do. What's up, Clover Tech? I'm sorry, man. I'm ranting like a mug. You're killing me. What y'all lying up? about? What y'all lying about up in here? Man, we ain't <laughs> lying about nothing, man. We, we just going. Look, I'm so pissed off. Your your friend. Uh oh, he don't went quiet. What happened, uh, Joe? He been having um. They keep calling my phone. They keep calling my phone. Knocking them off loud, uh, chopping them up. My my boy, yep. what are you talking about? Who who who? What your boy, your boy, Sleepy Joe, was on there. Oh. We need to do some comments. <laughs> he my boy. Boy, that man pissed me off so bad, man. I was cussing at work yesterday. I was talking to barbecue last I don't night. Listen to what on his live. I don't even listen to what they say no more, man. Man, look, I listened to that message. Then oh. I started listening to these old stupid ass cunt of uh, uh, politicians and newscasters that live in gated communities with security guards and That's the LAPD P- or whatever PD in Atlanta if they in CNN because they in Buckhead. Yeah. Uh, uh they in Bankhead. Uh, uh Buckhead. Yeah, they in Buckhead they somewhere. Yeah. So here, here's what they want. They want you to listen to them. They write those speeches just to rile people up, get people all upset, get people mad, get people mad at each other, get people hating on each other. Mm-hmm. What they want, it's what they want. So I don't even listen to them. Like, you know, I don't even listen to them. You can figure out what they're doing. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. So this was, I don't know, man, years ago, right? I was real big, and, and this was Obama's what is what is what did it all, right? So, like, man, Obama's going to get elected, and you'd have thought, man – that the world was going to end, right? And even right. leading up to that, um, and, and make no mistake, man, I ain't no George Bush fan either, man. I was, I was glad to get rid of that fool. But anyway, uh, leading up to that, I was watching all kind of like Fox News, and Glenn Beck, and Mark Levin, and all these others, right? Listening mm-hmm. to it on the radio, man. I was keeping up with C-SPAN and all the whatever, all the crap they were voting on and all this other stuff. I was all up into some politics, right? And I thought I needed to be. And 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 here's the thing. So, world's going to end. Obama gets elected. You know, oh, the world's going to end. It didn't. Well, 2013 rolls around, right? So, mm-hmm. we all know what happened in the first part of 2013, similar to what just happened a couple of days ago. And about six hmm. months prior to that, I was tired of it, man. Obama was the devil. I was tired of hearing that crap, you know. And he's just a, you know, he's another politician. Come on, man. And so I was tired of hearing all that. And I was like, I got to unplug. I got to unplug. So I unplugged. And I was unplugged through all the 23 executive orders Obama tried to pull in 2013. Uh, you know, through all of that, man. I was unplugged. I unplugged from all that crap. And you know what? I still got enough news to be informed and know what was going on. But you know what, man, it just, it made me understand by unplugging for close to a year. Probably I did that. Um, 
and just worried about everyday life, worried about, you know, the little things and all that kind of stuff and not listening to these politicians and not listening to these the people in the media and the talking heads, right? Read your information, right. you know, from different sources, right? That way you don't get all the arm flailing and the loud voices and, and you know, all that kind of stuff, right? That, that tweaks your emotions. Right. And just read that stuff and mm -hmm. you know what's going on and you can make a much better decision on, you know, what you may or may not need to do and all of that kind of stuff. And so I think if people did that, um, we'd be, we'd be a lot better off because, you know, one side wants you to hate the other side and it doesn't matter what it is. And it's even in the, even in the gun community, it's that way, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. we're supposed to hate people that, that are anti-gun and it's like, why? Why we gotta hate some? I mean, they misguided. They don't agree with me on that, but you know, they're not the antichrist or the devil or a demon or an evil person or anything like that. I say people got the right to be wrong, Clover Tech. Oh, a hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. What but, you say, know, but you also know what they say. Every time you point one finger at somebody, what you point, what? point you point four back. You, you got that's right. You know. Three so back. You got like, three back. Yeah, I'm tripping. Point, you got three point back. Three back. Point three back. Some some people might be pointing four back. There may be people out there like that. No, but anyway, but they got six um, fingers and shit. Yeah, but yeah, you got three more pointing back at yourself. So you know they ain't hypocrisy. Nobody is immune to hypocrisy, and unfortunately, when you talk about the media and politicians and all that mess, you know it runs deep with those fools for sure. And see what Miss K say, bro. I see she made a big statement. He's talking to them in the um oh, talking in the comment section about uh the area and stuff like that. They talking about something else right now. They hearing us, but they having their oh, own yo, chat. Oh yeah, they having their own yeah. chat. That's cool. I yeah. like it like that. It's all oh, yeah. good. Y'all yeah. shout out to everybody in the chat. If I can't see you coming in, I'm driving, and it's dark, and I'm in Arkansas, so I really got to keep my head. Oh no, so, hit, that. hit that like yeah. button. Yeah, hit that like button and leave a comment on the video as well. As you chat you yourself get, in the chat, you get hung up in the Arkansas, man. Let me know. I'll, I'll get you some help. I got some. I, I got, got you, man. <laughs> I got some buddies in Arkansas. They'll take care of you. Yeah, uh, I'm really. coming through 40 now, man. In Arkansas, <laughs> coming from yeah. them. Yeah. So appreciate so, that. Go and say, say look, say you know, and, and shoot a and shoot a flare in the air. <laughs> <laughs> hey, say I'm calling this personal horn. Hey, look, man, I'm getting jammed up. I'm getting jammed. It's but look, situation. man, I'm gonna tell you something. It's a situation, cause I'm trying to make it jelly, but I just got jammed. Look, right. um, but what, what, you know, I don't really listen to the news, but last night it, I got a piece of it, and so you know, I had went to sleep. I went to sleep in, in, in Memphis. I went to uh, Mississippi and got a room in Mississippi and went to sleep before I started back working tonight. Mm -hmm. And it, I just caught, you know, when the TV came on, it was just oh. And I hurry up and tried to turn it off, and I was like, "Hold up, let me let me, let me hear." And I turned it off, and then I seen Coley in the war, and I was like, "He made a bad point." He said, "Man, you had to go find the video with the black dude saying from the Buffalo shooters, hey, check this guy out.' The guy said if it was more people there with guns, this would have stopped, and so many people wouldn't have died." Yeah, they did, and they didn't put that on the news for nothing because oh, it went against their narrative. And I was looking, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk about this tonight. And well, I said, everybody else talking about it. I'm going to talk about it. Because I'm saying like this here. Over you, 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 you old enough to know this. After Columbine High School, this should have never happened again. True or false? Oh, absolutely true. Yeah. And, yeah. and tell me if I'm telling the truth or not. Sandy Hook, did that boy not have a 10 millimeter Glock? And a P226, but he had an AR-15 in the car. But then they changed the narrative as if he used the AR-15 he right. used the AR-15 to shoot, and he did not use no AR-15. He was gunning them down with two pistols. Yeah. Yeah. So they let you know that they're lying. Oh, they don't ever. They always are going to report it however's best for them or whatever. You know, every single and then, time. And then check this out. Is it coincidental that the boy in uh, Sandy Hook killed his parents, and then this dude shot his grandma? Don't so, it sound like the same book? Here's a, it is, and, and let me tell you why it's the same book. It's the same conversation we just got through having. It's the media. So they want to they wonder why all these things happen. There is such a thing as copycats. 
So like mm-hmm. way back in the day, right? When you had all these serial killers from the 60s, 70s. Son of Sam. The Son of Sam. Sam all this stuff. Yo. Ted Bundy, yeah. right? All of these others, right? Brought that up. What happened? There were copycat. Th- yeah. Those those were high profile cases. They got a lot of attention and people copycatted them. You, you got that kind of crap going on. What you need to do is they need to scale this back. But the problem is the media is in cahoots with the politicians, right? To push it, to push a narrative, to try to drive an agenda, and mm-hmm. so, so they want it. If it if it bleeds, it leads, right? They want it, right. because, and that's why. If they would scale this back and and just and not give any detail, screw the detail. What 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 detail? What do we living our day to day lives, bro? Seriously, answer me this question, both of you. Living our day to day lives, what more do we need to know? That some crazy person went out and murdered 20 people. Why do we need to know any more than that? I mean, honestly, why do we need to know any more? As, as it happens all the time. <laughs> now, if we got, now, if we got connections in law enforcement, we got friends, we got family, right? And we can get right. more information. That's great. If we know people that are reporters, if we know people that were down there on the scene, or maybe they worked in the school or the grocery store or whatever, and we can get more information, that's cool. But why? Why do you have to broadcast every – these things happen, and they give every little detail, like what color underwear the fool was wearing when he murdered people. Like, we, we don't need to know all that. And you especially don't need to put all that out there because you're going to get copycats when that happens. It's like, stop. It, 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 it's weird to me that you had, um, you had the Buffalo, right? Right. You had, you, had the, you had the New York. What was the New York? It was a, it was a, it was a, um, a worked up crazy. I don't want to say crazy because that gives the wrong connotation that mental health is a bad thing. But you get worked up evil people, whatever. Mm-hmm. That was a worked up evil black dude, right? Mad at the, right. mad at the world and took it out on somebody, right? And then what mm-hmm. happened? A worked up evil white dude in Buffalo. Now he goes and uses the same recipe. And now what's happened? It looks like a worked up Mexican dude done went out and done something. It's the same. It's a. It, those mm-hmm. those three in a row. How can you not? How can you not look at that and go? We gotta quit giving out all these details and no dragging this on out and talking about this forever. We gotta quit because we got people that are copycatting this mess. One thing I noticed they don't talk about is serial killers. I ain't talking about the mass shooting. Yeah. Actual serial killers. I guess they don't exist anymore. I mean, well, that, it's because it's because it, that doesn't that doesn't that's not worth the flip, man. Not the that, ain't, that ain't that ain't scary, man. Serial killers ain't scary no more. This whole mass murder is mm-hmm. the is the is the scary of the day, man. People used to be way. scared. Yeah, people used to be scared it's about serial killers, right? But you know, that's not. This is a new thing to work people up and to scare people. And I and I don't know that it, I don't know that it's working. To be honest with you, you know, I would be interested in. And I don't know, man. When we talk about like the inner urban city that sees violence on that scale on a day to day basis, right? Yeah, basis. And I don't and I don't know that I've ever talked to anybody that's in that situation. I'd like I'd like to be able to do that. Seriously. Hey, I mean, look, even, look. even a private conversation, Quote. right? But Quote. you gotta yeah. think they got a whole you gotta think they got a whole different take than I got on this thing, right? And I'm just Quote. curious Quote. what that take is. Quote. And I'm gonna tell you something. I grew up watching people get their face blew off. Right. And the only thing that was left was their jawline, and you could see their spinal cord. I done right. grew, I, I, grew, I grew up seeing people shoot people. Up. Man, man, look, I'm talking about walk up, right. point blank, no words, just boom. Yeah. So, from but I had from right? that and seeing that in the street, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You had, so I'm telling you, from that perspective of being in certain neighborhoods when I'm at home around certain people, and. Yeah. Well, what's the first thing that the, the, the first thing we say is they make a law to stop the regular people from getting guns because the people right. that I talk to, shit, they got full autos, they got blocks with switches. Right. Blocks yeah. with switches is uh illegal, right? Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Blocks oh, with yeah. switches illegal. Okay, a full automatic for mass. A FAMAS is illegal. That's the print. Yeah, he's breaking up kind of bad. Yeah. 
Yeah, he you tell he in Arkansas. Yeah. He's dead. Well, people keep calling his phone, playing on him, knocking him offline. Keep it going. Yeah, now, he'll come back in. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear me? Yeah. Okay, okay. But, but like I was saying, sorry about that, child. I'm in, I'm in a rural part of Arkansas. Yeah. And, um, yeah, you are. But, but like I was saying, though, I know pe- I, people. I know people. Yeah. Yeah, you got to come on back with it, bug. You chopping Somewhere up for their protection. There it goes. No, I can't hear you now, bro. Yeah, yeah shit. Yeah, you're yeah. good now. <laughs> okay, y'all can hear me now? Oh, yeah. I, get, yeah, I, get, I, I got I, what I'm you're saying, like, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, they got those guns, but let me tell you something about these streets. I Mm-hmm. Oak Cliff, this Dallas area, even to Louisiana, I can go to Avondale, Cooper, or Cedar Grove, anywhere, and somebody got mm-hmm. a permit. Mm-hmm. That's not. Do you remember? But they're not. Got the schematics. This so some stuff that's not registered. They can't. So you making all these laws and these archaic laws to stop the law and by the citizen when they got it already. Yeah, they already got this stuff in the streets. They know so, it. My point, like my point was that, right, is like we come up, we couldn't have been any different, you and I, right, from where we come up and what we've right. seen, right, our experience. Couldn't be any different. But yet, but yet we see this the exact same way. So when you get two people that couldn't have come up more differently, that come to the exact same stinking conclusion, conclusion? that means that conclusion is the truth, brother. Period. Ain't no other way to... Ain't no other it way is to what it, it is. Uh-huh. Because if I just said that, they would go, oh, that white boy's all racist and whatever, he's just a white supremacist or whatever. Or if you was just saying it, they would go, oh, he's just a hoodlum, you know, whatever, hood rat, mm-hmm. blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. But if we both say it, or saying it, it's the truth. Yeah. Yep. You get both sides on it. And that's why I'm saying I don't think I don't think we're as divided as they what they want. They want to. They we're want not. Us to think. It's not. It's a social media and thing, it scares, man. It scares them to death that we're not. Think Can about it, Chloe Tech. Call, call, you got so call. many. You got uh, you got so many uh, more people with this, you know, interracial relationship. The numbers are up. The numbers are hey. up. Like more people are coming together. Hey, let me tell you this, Clover. Clover, I was just yeah. in racist ass Mississippi. Do you <laughs> right? I, I told you my racist. story about that, didn't I? Yeah, but yeah. Look, I'm gonna make yeah. I'm gonna make you a point. We was just in racist Mississippi, right? I guess. Yeah. And yeah. and the woman, the woman, and one of the guys. They wanted to be on their bullshit, right? But I'm going to tell you what broke the ice when we came together. I bust out and said this to Saint them on the phone. I can't stand this goddamn Joe Biden. He need to go somewhere and just, uh, he's, right. he's like a robot. He just need to go somewhere and just, uh, batteries need to die or something or just explode. When I said that, you know what them people told me? Fucking yeah. Guess what we had? A whole, com- am I lying, Saint? <laughs> nah, we had not. a whole conversation to my truck. Yeah. I mean, the, the ice was broken because guess what? You don't want it to be on some bullshit because of my skin, but because we think of like you found out. Yeah, okay, well, look, fuck the thing, yeah. the skin shit because we need. I need to connect with like-minded people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they let me know right then and there, y'all, that uh, we ain't as divided as we think, and it's a lot of and and, and I got to get my people to understand, and it take. It's like you can talk to your people, I can talk to my people. And if me and you the bridge and we we cool and we can bring our people together as the bridge because they know I respect Bug ain't gonna do nothing. I respect Ove ain't gonna do nothing. And then we can get on a group conversation to where we can understand each other. And then they'll be like, whoa, that, that guy's not bad at all. Man, yeah. When when well, the old white when the old white lady told me today, and this lady got to be in her sixties, seventies, she said yeah. she said, Look, they wanna divide us and we got to come together. No matter what I grew up on or what I felt previously as of now i don't have time to focus on that when that woman just told me that to my face man blew my mind 
Yeah. Well, yeah, black is you know follow follow the breadcrumbs, right? Black man right. shoots up black man shoots up, up a bunch of people in the subway, right? Why did he mm-hmm. do that? Well, because people want to holler about the Muslims, or people want to holler about the cops want to kill the black guys, right? Right, right, right. Like, black cops right. just got to kill the black man, so the black man goes and shoots up a bunch of people, right? right. Now, right. now, the white man is pissed because. Oh, all the blacks just want to eradicate the white people. So now the, the white dude goes and shoots up a supermarket, kills a bunch of black people, right? Right. And then what happens? Oh, well, look, the white supremacist is taking over. Oh, and we got all these illegal aliens and blah, blah. And then guess what happens? A Mexican guy going to go in and shoot up a bunch of people, right? It's like, mm-hmm. quit, quit, with the, quit with the race stuff. Just quit. Just stop it. Stop it. You know, it ain't yep. cool. None of it. Kill, you know. Pain and like, anguish and murder on any level is wrong. Just quit it. It don't matter. Yep. It, hate crime. Hate crime. It don't matter, man. If you kill somebody, that's a hate crime. You hated that sucker or you wouldn't have killed him. So right. that's a hate crime. It don't have anything right. to do with it. Just stop with all that stuff. And it drives me up insane that they want to categorize all of it. It's like it's like they when they start categorizing that and a black life is worth more than a white life, is more worth more than a Mexican life or an Asian life or whatever it might be, right? Mm-hmm. That starts getting people thinking that well, it's a it's a righteous cause, right? These people right. ain't worth as much or whatever. It don't matter. Right. You don't end a life, man, unless that life's trying to end yours, and then you put it down. Right. And see, you know what? Mika just said something. Both of them dudes was copycats, and it's all the yeah. created gun control narrative. Who's to say that they didn't do this shit? Who's to say, man, the government have done worse? And they have done worse. So who's to say they didn't do this? And then I'm gonna give you something else too. It's like he specifically said something about the kids, but then when all the black people got killed in Buffalo, he didn't say nothing. So technically, if you really look at it, he's a part of the agenda to call the division. Know, you know as well as I do that he's that dude's racist, man. That man, dude, I know he's racist. You know he is. He, how many things we said? I, I was blown away when Obama picked him as a vice president. I'm like, what in the world's going on here? Right? That's how deep politics is. You want to talk about yep. politics? You know, why did he pick why did he pick Kamala Harris? And she clearly said he was a racist in the There was one it was, yeah, after after all that back People and forth. Forgot and he, picks her, he picked her because she was a woman and she was black. There was, there was no other reason and, to pick her. And she didn't even identify as black until it but, came down to the ready to be But we, we talk about this copycat name, which I, I think I think there's something there. And yeah. it all started, at least this right this run, right? It all started with the black dude that shot up the subway, right? Now, right. isn't, it, isn't it awful convenient that the, all the cameras were down in the subway with the one that started it all? <laughs> right. Right. Isn't that, isn't that, ain't I'm, just saying, about that. I'm just saying it's awful yeah. convenient that, you know. And that's where you get into all this conspiracy stuff. And, you know, conspiracy always starts with a kernel of truth, right? And, right? and that's where you get into this conspiracy stuff. Are all of these mass murders orchestrated by the government? No. No. And why was all of them wearing body armor? But you know, we, know, we, we know from history that the government does participate in things like that. We know for a fact that that happens. Right? Cointel Pro. Cointel Pro. So, Cointel Pro. So if we know, yeah, if we know that happens. Operation Black we, Messiah. And we know there's copycats. Well, then the government knows that too. And hmm. are you saying this beyond them to stage something to, to, to try to get more copycats? Jeez. Especially at the same time they're stoking this race against the other race and all this other mess. And it's your president doing it on CNN. It ain't just him. It's all those fools, man. But yeah. It's the fools in that house. It's all of them. All of them. It's the Republicans, too. Yeah, Republicans. both sides. We're in the middle of their war. We're in the middle you of know? Middle of they But I, I, will say, I will say this. You were talking about ignoring the black dude who was talking about the guy up there in Buffalo. Um, they're ignoring now. They're ignoring the politicians here in Texas that are talking about uh, arming schools. You know, do the if you do the math right, this year we've sent like fifty billion dollars to Ukraine. Now, why have we spent fi- sent fifty billion dollars to Ukraine to arm them? Right, right. So we'll spend fifty billion dollars. We'll send to Ukraine to arm the Ukraine, but we can't spend no money here. To arm some guards in the schools and stuff. If you took that same fifty billion dollars just this year, 
You could put three armed guards in every school in this country for the same amount of money. Three. You need to do a whole lot. <laughs> three. And look, and, and that's over a ten year period. Yeah. It that makes no budget sense, forever. man. But here's the thing: all the people that dictate from on high, these these freaking foolish politicians, Republicans and Democrats, that rule on high. They ain't got to worry about this. The Hollywood, they ain't got to worry about this. The nope. NBA players, the, the don't got to MLB, worry about this. MLB players, the NFL the rappers, players, all the these rappers. other people that want to run their head, they ain't got to worry about no security or anything else. They ain't got to worry about none of that. So they don't care. They don't care what what hey. what laws you pass, you don't pass, or, or whether or not we actually stop anything. They don't care because they can go to bed and sleep at night knowing they're protected. And I'm tired. Hey, you I'm know sick what? and tired. I'm sick and tired of people that have it better than me and better than the vast majority of people. People go into Congress, man, get elected to office and come out millionaires. They wasn't millionaires when they went in, but they come out millionaires. And I get tired mm-hmm. of people that, that are living living large, living better than most of us. I'm not going to say just me. Most of us. Mm-hmm. Trying to dictate to me about safety and security and what I need and don't need and all this. I'm tired of hey, it. And you ain't and in think, my environment. And I think a lot of people are tired of it. And, and you know something else, Clover? I say this here. I say if you're a fucking senator and you're from Texas, you need to stay in the roughest neighborhood in Texas that, that your seat hold. If you're a, con- a congressman from Texas, you don't need to stay in the plus section. You need to stay in your district in the roughest area. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you're a mayor. You need to stay in the roughest area. You don't need to be, if you stay, you do the mayor of North Dallas, you stay out in, in Frisco or some goddamn where now, cocksucker. You need to live in South Dallas in the middle of your hood. You need to go live where, where you where you represent. And, and the people you represent, yeah. when you're in Washington, I need to see you. I can say Senator Ross West. His office is not in the hood. Yeah. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. It's not in the hood. Now, yeah. I'm going to give it to I'm gonna give it to Jay Wilder Price. You can catch Jay Wilder Price dipping through anywhere. He don't give a fuck. Right. Shit, that man gonna dip through bun ton. He gonna dip because he got business interests everywhere. So you'll see John Wiley Price by himself, cornrows yeah. and a suit and a nice Bentley or something. <laughs> he gonna dip anywhere. Yeah. But yeah. that's about the only councilman that you see in the hood. You don't see Clay Jenkins no damn well. His retarded ass. I don't even say yeah, he got reelected. Knew the right, man, knew, he knew the right people and he raised the he right amount of right money. Right money. You so right. So that's how you, that's how you do it. Unfortunately, you know, the whole election thing, you know, they want to talk about this voter fraud, election integrity and all this other, that whole system needs to be tore down and rebuilt, tore down and yep. rebuilt. It, it's gotten to where, you know, you can't even run for local office unless you're already rich, you know, yep. just ridiculous, man. Yep. The average man can't do it. And look what happened to the independent party, the green party. You don't hear nothing about them no more. Well, they all can cons- ever everything consolidated down to the Republicans and Democrats primarily, uh, because of money. It, it was that that simple. It was easier to fundraise a big, huge amount of money for two parties than it is six. But why? But why I tell you, you, I tell you another thing. There's two things that piss me off in history. Number one is: Did you know that the vice president used to not be elected? Not what? not or picked. The vice president used to not be picked. By the president. In other words, if I was running for president, I couldn't say, okay, Bug's going to be my vice president, right? Mm-hmm. That's the way it is now, right? Yep. Right? Obama picked Biden. Yeah, they pick uh, Pence, uh, uh, yeah. Biden picked Pence. Biden picked Kamala, you know? It used to not be that way. The loser was vice president. That's the way it used right. to be once upon a time. Yeah. Yep. And, and why was it that way? Because it created a balance. It helped create a balance, right? If you look at the way government's supposed to run, it's all about balance, right? Ain't no mm-hmm. one party or one way of thinking got total power. Nobody. Why? That way everybody has to work together. They have to. Otherwise, you ain't going get nothing done. i tell you the other thing they did that was wrong. Is the Senate, you vote on your senators now. Wasn't always that way. Wasn't supposed to be that way. Wasn't designed that way. Used to, the states sent somebody to the Senate, right? So you mm-hmm. voted for your state legislature, and then your state legislature said, okay, we're going to send homeboy over there up to Washington, right? Why? Mm-hmm. Because you voted for your representatives in the House, right, up there. Mm-hmm. That was the, the House is the representatives of the people. 
the Senate is supposed to be the representatives of the state. Well, they screwed all that up when they said, oh, we're going to just let everybody vote for them. No, 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 no. That's not the way this was, this, this was set up. It's not the way it's supposed to work. See, the people that created this country and our system, and, man, if you get back into history and you read what they wrote between each other and all this other stuff, man, these people were brilliant way beyond their time. That's why this argument that, oh, they couldn't see nuclear weapons and they couldn't see machine guns. Bull crap. Well, some of the stuff they talked about, these folks were brilliant. Brilliant. And they knew that they knew that there had to be there had to be power. They knew there had to be there had to be a balance on all these powers. You know? Well now they're talking about, you know, now they're talking about, oh, we, you know, we're going we're gonna to pack the court. We're going to add judges to the court. Or now, now judges don't need to have, you know, lifetime appointments. And they, and they want to talk about all this crap. The other thing is term limits. See, that was a mistake that they made because they, they the founders anyway, because even George Washington, man, George Washington, when this country was formed, they asked him that he wanted to be king. And hey, we just got through fighting the king. And the fools asked him, did he want to be a king? And he's like, are you stupid? No, I don't want to be no king. That ain't, that ain't the point of this. Nah. Right? And then, right? And after he served his terms, guess what he did? He went home. bro. He didn't stay in Washington. He went home. And that's what politicians used to do. They went, yep. they served their term, they did the work of the people, and they and went they back went home. home. And now you got people like Biden that he don't know a life outside of being a politician. He's always been a politician. And most of them jokers and fools up there have always been politicians. Look at AOC. I can guarantee you. And Lauren Berber. Let's go with two. Lauren Berber mm-hmm. out of Colorado and AOC, right? Two young ladies, right? That's gotten voted in there. And I guarantee you, unless something drastic changes, 40 years from now, let's see, how old am I? I may still be alive in 40 years. I guarantee you in 40 years, those two chicks will probably still be in there. Man, like Philly Slow said. Um, it should be term limits. You shouldn't be able to be up there forever. Yeah. You do your term, you can't be elected for that again. These people are outdated. It's time for the new guys to slide through. Well, that, the through. beauty of it, the beauty of it, Saint, is eventually some of these old crotchety suckers, they're gonna die off. That's just, and that's nature. what it's gonna take. That's it's, just it's, nothing is certain but death and taxes, and by God. The latter, the the former, I should say, is going to get them before it's said and done. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, mm-hmm. the Pelosi's, oh, the put- Feinstein's, yeah, the Biden's, they, they're, they're, they're no borrow time now. They're just yeah, talking yeah, away and up because you, each other. You know that computer, you know that they ain't been talking about uh, Maxine, what's her name? Uh, they had all the others? Yeah, they ain't been talking about her. Oh, man. She, you know, what I what I don't understand, here's the other thing. And this gets me, and there's one on both sides. So Maxine Waters is the one on the Democrat side. That's one crazy black chick. And then you're on the right, you've got this Marjorie Taylor Greene. Is that her name, yeah. maybe? Yes. And you talk about a crazy white chick. That chick, nuts, man. She's a Republican, right? So mm-hmm. both sides have crazy people that say crazy things all the time. What gets me is when... A Maxine Waters or Marjorie Marjorie Taylor Greene get on TV or get on social media and say something crazy, and that's all you hear from people for like the next month is, "Oh, did you Maxine Waters? That stupid chick. Did you hear what she said?" Or Marjorie Taylor Greene. Do you realize that the that the handlers, the the high up politicians, the only reason they keep them idiots around is to distract us. They yeah. literally send them out. To intentionally say stupid things so that we pay attention to the stupid things they're saying instead of the shenanigans they're pulling behind the curtain. Mm-hmm. So stop paying attention. If, if a politician comes out and he's saying some crazy stuff, that's what I started this whole conversation off when I jumped on. Say it. If you're listening to a politician and they're saying some just BS crazy stuff, turn it off and go somewhere else and look at something else because the reason they're saying that is to get your attention so they can do something else over yonder. That's why they're saying it. Mm-hmm. Don't pay no attention to it. Yeah, that's true. They show and they just seem like they, it's all about working up the American people, get them talking about this while they jack up stuff over here, do stuff over here in this country. 
try to pass the bill, sneak this around. It's a lot, man. It's and they'll they'll put it right hey, in your face and give you something to talk about to distract you. Yeah. And I'm gonna ask you this, Clover. What what burns me too? What's 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 the chick name that had the cleaning information? Um, uh, all of the dirt on the cleaning them and the sex trafficking and all that. They? The one that's supposed to be in jail. Then so what's her name? Yeah. I cannot think. Giselle something. Giselle like something. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking Yo. about Kennedy thing. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just I can't pronounce her name, man. Something like yeah. Giselle or something. Yeah. 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 Like what happened to all it? What happened to the indictments from uh when they got hold to Pelosi's laptop from the supposed to be insurrection when them people went to their house and went down and they they tore up some stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't none of this stuff yeah. being spoken nah. on. No. Nah. The uh the uh what's what is it? What's the little dude named Epstein Island? They ain't talking about none of that no more neither. No. Well, let me tell you something, and the, and the whole reason and a lot of people didn't realize this. The whole thing with the Russian collusion and Trump and all this other stuff, first of all, was to whip up all the Trumpers, right? Get them all riled mm -hmm. up and crazy and doing and saying crazy things. That was number one. That way they could point to them and go, look, these people are crazy. Well, that's mm -hmm. after they done riled. So they riled them up, and then they said, oh, they're crazy. That's like going over and kicking a, a ant, an ant bed and then going, man, them ants are going crazy. Well, I guess so. You just kicked them. You just kicked it in the mound. Like, of course they're going mm -hmm. crazy. And they'll do that. They're poking. And, and so that was number one. And number two was they, they did that for a reason. They riled them up and wanted to get them crazy for a reason. It's because why? They're pulling shenanigans behind the curtain. And if they pointing over and hollering all this BS about Trump and Russia collusion and, and all the Trumpers are getting all crazy, guess what? They ain't paying attention to what's going on behind the curtain. Mm-hmm. And because like I said, you need to stop. You need to stop paying attention to mainstream media. I don't care if it's Tucker Carlson on Fox or or Brian Stelter on CNN or whoever the heck is on MSNBC. I don't even know. I don't <laughs> care. How, I don't it. care <laughs> what station it is. It's a joke. Stop. Stop. Yep. I just seen that. Co I, I seen that Coleon Award um, in the yeah. and yeah. they 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 don't they hate to confront that dude, and that's the one thing I it, it, that's one thing I like about him. He eats their ass up on the interview. They oh, they get slick. the right one. He's oh, he's a slick he's quick. He get up on their skin. He's slick and he's quick. Of course, he's a lawyer. He should be he should be slick and quick. But mm -hmm. you know, um, yeah. I mean, they don't they don't know how to handle him for sure. Mm -mm. And I love it. And that's why they won't bring him on too many shows. And uh, right. I think it was Tucker Carlson had him on. And uh, yeah, there's just, a. Oh, there's a black dude on Fox. I can't think of his name, man. That 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 uh, now that has Coleon on a lot, and I can't think of his name now, man. That saved my life. Oh, uh, this little short guy, Lawrence. I want to say his name's like Lawrence something, maybe. And no, he don't. Well, I don't know. He don't look short, but I mean that's on TV, and who knows? Yeah, you know, he don't. He don't look short, but I think his name's I Lawrence or something. Into it. But uh. Man, that dude's man. I, I, whenever he's on, I mean, he man, he spits some fire. But he has Coleon on a lot. I've noticed okay. on whatever that show is. And, and again, I don't even know. Right? I don't. I can't even remember the dude's name. And I don't know the uh, don't know the name of the show or anything else. Why? Because I don't I watch Fox right. that much. That's why. Man, I, listen, <laughs> listen. No. This little dude, he'll be in my house when I be at the house. Mm -hmm. uh, I watch more HBO. I watch my my premium channels more than I watch. Regular TV, and if it's on regular TV, it's on a kids show for them kids, because uh, not I, I really don't watch the news. I don't watch the local news. Mm -hmm. I don't watch too much of that. Now, if I see some of the news come through in my news feeds on uh, Instagram or something like that, cool. If I'm on uh, on YouTube and I see something, I go check it out. Yeah. Before that, I try not to watch the news. It was just that I got caught because the news was on in the break room. Right, and yeah. I'm looking at a, a lot of my coworkers on some cheer, cheer. Yeah, they need to get rid of them guns, and I was like, hell no. And whoever think that they need to get rid of them guns, get your gun, give your gun up, and you go to South Dallas and and and, and wave your money yeah. and see if you want your gun. Well, here's what's it, yeah, it, guns are the problem, but yet when something happens, that's what you want to go get. You're supposed you're supposed to pick up the phone and call somebody with a gun, the cops, right? Right. How does that make any sense? It don't make no sense. This shit is it's the same way with the people that wanted to tell us that Trump was a fascist. 
and then in the same breath tell us we need to give up our guns. Well, if, if Trump is a fascist, then why on earth would you advocate to give up your gun? Sound to me like everybody needs a gun if we got somebody that's really a fascist. So either you're lying about him being a fascist, right? Mm-hmm. Or you got an agenda about taking away the guns, or I don't know, maybe it's both. Yep. Larry Elder, Jay Great said Larry Elder. It may be, that may be. I thought Larry Elder was an older guy, though. This guy's a younger. Guy. I know the guy you was talking about because he was just on the show with like two, like about two days ago, if not yeah. yesterday. I was just looking at that. Let me see. I'm gonna find out who he is. He a younger guy though. He ain't an older guy. Oh, he's a younger dude. Yeah, cause I know he was sitting on the left side and Kyle Young was shooting, sitting on the right. This and is him was... right here. This is him. I see a picture of him here. Let's see if it tells me. I'm gonna find out who he is. This, this. Oh. I'm stuff some more. If y'all texting me, I can't yeah. read no text. I'm hold it's on. Lawrence. I was I was right. It's Lawrence Jones. Okay. Lawrence Jones. Yeah. Hey, now, hold on, y'all. If y'all texting me, I can't see no text message. I'm okay. driving. I cannot see. I look. I can't even see the people inside the chat because I'm focused on this dark black road. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I like you know everybody want to talk about Tucker Carlson on uh, on Fox. Tucker this, Tucker that. I, Lawrence Jones man is the one I like listening to man. I like Tucker too. It's just that they both. What's up, y'all? The, they all spend their own agenda. You got Tucker for uh, Trump. they all do. You got the CNN people for. I mean, you know, they they on opposite sides. You can tell when you watch their shows. Yeah, they all, got, they all got agenda. It's man. comedy, yeah, I'm man. Driving. Yep, I'm uh, driving. I'm gonna duck out. I got to get some stuff ready. Mm -hmm. We leaving tomorrow for NRA. So. Oh yeah. But uh, I just want to jump in, hang for a few minutes anyway. Appreciate you coming. Y'all be good. For the show, bug, man. bug, be safe. All right, man. Appreciate you, Clover. Oh, yeah. bro. I got you, Clover, man. I appreciate you for stopping in, man. I always appreciate the love, bro. Yeah. You later. know what I'm saying? Bye. Y'all be good. All right. Hey. Yeah, my boy Clover Tech, man. I appreciate him for coming in, y'all. Y'all hit the like button. Y'all hit the subscribe. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all like chilling with the bug meister, man. I know I'll be all over the place, y'all, because I'm political. Anything gun, I love guns, man. That's why I, I spent a lot of money to keep felonies off my background to possess them legally. Because the worst thing that can ever happen is for me to get to a point to where the government said I can't have something. And uh, if that's no, the case, you need it. nah. If that's the case, then shit. Now I'm a terrorist. I'm gonna be an urban terrorist because now yeah. if I lose my right to possess, uh, 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 lose, I lose my right. Because of some stupid ass charge, not to possess a firearm legally, I'm you're in trouble. Because right. I'm gonna have it on me. I'm gonna have it on me, so I know what I got on me is a mandatory minimum of twenty of ten yeah. years, mandatory minimum 10. for at least ten, and then what else is gonna be ten for what's attached to it, and ten mm -hmm. for what the trigger do. So you think if I'm illegal, that I'm gonna be a law-abiding citizen? That I'm just gonna be like, yeah, how you doing, officer? Here's my license, and I think <laughs> yeah. I got this bitch on me. Get caught without you know, it. Knowing these people, knowing like, oh, this him, he was known for guns. I bet you got yeah. one on him. Man, please. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Leave me yeah, the fuck I, alone. Uh, this allow me I, to be a citizen. Before my, uh, my phone died yesterday uh, when I was talking to y'all. Like, it just, now it's, it's getting to where it's kind of, I don't even talk to people about it, for one, because I know, like, uh, we do have energy vampires in the world, right? True. And, and sure. some people don't know what that is because they ain't did enough research. But, you know, there's neither there or anywhere, like my brother Bug be saying. But check this out, though, right? Let me ask y'all a question. What's Monday? What's Monday? What's Monday? Mother's Day, ain't it? No. It started what? with him. Memorial Day. Okay. Just Now, what is Memorial Day for? The, the, for you to uh, give respect to the dead. Okay. Go back and look at the dates and, and see what's what is surrounding, right? Once Man, we get out. you got to tell you got now nah, tell me because yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be driving all night, and so yeah. I forget by the time Where I get to uh Fort Worth from Fort Worth to Dallas. Oh, you doing good? I'm proud of you, big bro. You staying at the crib just like your brother. Yeah, That's man, I'm, I'm trying. Not put me in a single, man. I'd rather be a sleeper because my week would have been over already. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, See, I, 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 I seen a, a box truck. Are we going to talk about that offline, though? But anyway, um, so first of all, right, this, this is the question I asked yesterday. Saint, I think my little bro Saint was on now. Yeah, I'm if just I would, If I wasn't, if, if I'm wrong, saying something wrong, correct me. Right. So my question yesterday to my brother Saint was, You call something happened. I don't care what you, what type of lifestyle, what type of background you come from. Say, man, if a woman get raped, if a person gang banging, they get shot. If a person get robbed, they get shot. Somebody fall out there having a seizure. What's the first thing you gonna do? If something like that happened, what's the first thing I'm gonna do? No, I'm, I'm just saying, what's to... the first? Normal people, regular oh. people. What's that's, the first thing they gonna do? I see if I can help. I see if I can help. Them. Yeah, 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 but that, I'm just, that's that's us. But I'm saying, what's mm -hmm. the first three? No, what's the first? What's the three numbers that they gonna call? Yeah, they gonna call laws and everything. Nine one. Okay. Now, so no, no, no. Let me change it. They gonna pull out their goddamn cell phones and start recording. No, no, no. Well, I'm not, no, that, that's part of it. But what I'm saying is, they gonna call. They going to call nine one one, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So back in the nineties. You know, if you pull out a cell phone, you're getting DP. We already know that. Oh, yeah. Right? So, you going to call for help, for the ambulance, right? So, my question being this. So, if a person is shooting, this is my first angle. If a person is shooting, how do you have all these cameras going on at the angles where this person clearly is walking down and going to be right mm. case in point mm. when they stormed the white house right they broke in mm -hmm. one way yo how did y'all get first of all why is the security guard black that's my first question second part is why how is he running backwards what and he got a whole gun he got a whole gun. Y'all screwed up on the footage, right? Because y'all they y'all know they ain't supposed to go backwards. The people can't be chasing him and he's running backwards. So y'all screwed up on that. That tell me y'all play with that. Right? Mm -hmm. So again, like I say, every time something tragic happens, it's always a camera. It's always a camera in the right uh damn spot. Except Nine for seven. Buffalo. I mean, except right. for the subway. It's up for the subway. The I, boy I, had his own camera in Buffalo. Right. And they showed the damn footage. You weren't supposed to release that damn footage. Yeah, but look. I, I got, look, your little brother got footage, man, of the bodies without no blood. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, it's people out there that's actively doing the work to uncover and, and, and try to, why they trying to pull the wool over our eyes? It's people that's actually doing the work and on the field, in the field, doing the work and pulling that shit and showing people for real. Like, hey, stay hey. man, this Jedi mind tricks, right? Hold hey, on, wait, 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 wait. Though. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Hold on. I want to. I want to say this real quick because it's, it's on what you said. Now you said what you said. It wasn't no blood, right? I, nope. I watched it, and then with a with a five five six or two two three, it's gonna be some goddamn blood. Oh, it's a gonna be some of, blood. A, a bunch, bunch of it because that that's a high velocity round. Okay, right. now wait. They, they made you just made me remember this. You remember the bullshit downtown Dallas when they put the blue body up? Yeah. And what? a week we before, heard wait. Know that, right? We heard that yeah, but listen, body, right? But listen, you remember a week before that they said they need people and yeah. actors to come to the, downtown right. Dallas for the July they the fourth. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, but you just made me think of that, boy. You just triggered. But go ahead, finish your thing. I just want to say that. Go ahead, bro. I, I had some of the fly screenshot, big bro. So, look, like I say, Jedi mind tricks is Hollywood scene shit, right? So, if y'all don't, if y'all don't know, I'ma tell y'all just one source. Go listen to Dick Gregory talk about all the different things about the manipulation part and distractions. And the size mm -hmm. that's a real mm -hmm. and active thing. Oh, yeah. Clover just said something too about the behind the curtains, right? 
But this, mm-hmm. this 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 is my thing, right? We all figured out, you know, 9-11 was a hoax and all this shit and, and, and shit went bad and they done that shit to we done that shit to ourselves, right? Then blamed right. it on somebody else. So fuck just this even f- the other part. Hey man, them people done that. Why ain't nobody go to jail? Right. Where is that case at? Right. Okay, so that swept up under the rug. Right. Y'all really think Timothy McVeigh blew up the building? Two niggas? Timothy McVeigh and Terry Nichols blew up a building and they was getting and holding shit for months or years or however long they was holding it to do this shit right here, right? Right. Okay? So look, check this out. Y'all tried to run that same... Listen, this is the thing that I do know. They try to run the same story and the same narrative. Who the other person that tried to blow up the not the 9 11 buildings, the World Trade Building, Ramsey Youssef? What did he use and what did he do? What what kind of vehicle did he use? Was it a U haul, wasn't it? Or a van? It was a I'm goddamn U haul. It was U haul, yo. It was a box truck. Okay, now let's go. What where did Timothy McMahon supposedly used? Oh, uh, you all? No, nah, band. This was no. the band. No, it was a box truck. Yeah, it was a box truck. Yeah, but, uh, you all because one of them tried to go back and get the damn, to get right. the goddamn deposit back or some shit. I remember listen, vaguely. Listen, listen, man, listen. We all from the streets, just like I told Saint the other day. How many times you see a nigga get killed the same way? <laughs> just in, in, in two or three months. How many you times don't. do you see a you person? Don't. No. You not. You so not. This, this, the common sense shit should kick in for all the audience. The common shit sense shit should kick in by now. But but okay? wait, but wait, twelve. Common sense ain't universal, buddy. I know, but that's why we on here. I'm giving a game. I'm dropping the gems. Okay, y'all go listen to Dick Gregory. Okay, y'all go research Bobby Hemmings. Y'all go listen to Dr. One of our ancestors, Dr. John Henry Clark. Y'all go listen to these people. They not lying. They been on to the tricks. Okay? Listen. Listen. Hey, Robot got a question. What's the question, Roblox? But finish, uh, finish, 12. Listen. And I asked Robot got a question, bro. I just seen this comment. Okay, listen. America prides itself on taking care of Americans. But they not. Okay? So if the mental system is fucked based off of what they seeing every time these supposedly so-called tragic events happen, y'all don't fail us. Or fail <laughs> that those you don't fail those group of people, right? Right. Exactly. Again, so both of these niggas had box trucks. Everybody that has this man shooting, oh they fucking crazy. Something is wrong with them mentally. Mm-hmm. How do y'all figure that out in less than twenty four hours? How do y'all know them people whole name and they whole family in less than twenty four? Because they hours? know who they was from the beginning, brother. That's they already knew that shit. This, this, I've been this, knew that though. This, this is what I'm saying, right? You cannot first forty eight have a hard time solving murders in forty eight hours. How do y'all? <laughs> how do people believe? What these people are saying, this shit just happened 15 minutes ago, and they giving y'all the whole run down, running y'all through that. Emotions everywhere and, and all kind of shit. Like, how do you think that they know this shit? They like, spent, off the real. They you working know they- his mama? You know his daddy? Oh, you know the grandparents had some type of mental issues, and that's possibly where he got it from? Like, how do you know all that that fast? But okay. wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you this, Twelve. Let me ask you this. Why you on that? It's mighty damn funny when it's other people, i.e., anything that's not this color right here, mm-hmm. they got a mental problem. No. Let you go shoot 20 people. No. Remember in Minneapolis? You remember no. in Minneapolis, the black boys that shot somebody up in California? They didn't get him the mental, the mental defense. But look, okay, look, this is this the thing mm. I'm going to say, bro. Mm. It, it's way bigger than that, right? Oh, okay. I know. Right? That's so I know. that's why I don't ever focus on that. Because just like they say, 
uh the, the dude that was in the subway. They say he was mental. Something was wrong with him. He black, right? So mm -hmm. the thing, the thing is, bro. Once this shit is hits the air, hits the airwaves, the case is never talked about again. We never see the trial. We never see these people go to jail. We never see these people go to prison. Besides the passes like Timothy McVeigh, no nope. Terry Nichols, right? Again, who's who supposedly killed JFK, right? Who's supposed to kill JFK? Man, uh oh, Leo Oswald. These people ain't Lee. too. Man, look at the they getting Lee some. Harvey Oswald, right? Okay, man, y'all, bug, you know where I said that street oh, yeah. before you get to my house. Lee Harvey Oswald supposed to stay off that street. Yeah, they just tore down his house not too long ago, like about five okay. or six, five or ten years ago. They tore down the house. Okay, so listen, how long you think? Yeah, we all project babies. How long it take for a bus to come? About 20 minutes, 15 minutes, yep. maybe 30 if mm -hmm. they late and they bullshitting. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right? Every 20 minutes. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. So, bro, how you shoot the president in broad daylight, you got on the bus, and you made it home, and then you went to stop and got in the movies too? That oh, shit don't man. make no sense. Say, and then they came right to your house? How did y'all know he shot the man? That fast. How? Hey, 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 but but the way that man hit slide, it looked like he got shot with that 357 Magnum, a 38 special that was on the man, side. Listen, listen, I'm going to go give you the gem on that too if y'all don't know. Okay? Y'all know white man can't jump, right? Yup. Yeah. Y'all know uh, Billy Hoyer. Yeah. Okay, Billy Hoyer, that is the one that fired that fatal shot allegedly allegedly right right mm -hmm. it's documentation out there it's, it's documentaries out there that say so allegedly right? right so the the thing that that i'm saying is these people are tapped into cabalism they tap into the numbers they tapped into different spiritual things and energy vampiring and vamping is one of them because they feed off of it. Just like the, uh, I can't think of the shit that's, uh, what's the shit that they do with that, uh, when the piece of shit, piece of gate shit was going on and they were saying that the children, a xen a xenochrome? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, that, uh, a drenochrome, yeah. A drenochrome, yeah. right? Right? That's a yeah. real thing. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, because uh, because you know, uh, Oprah said on the show that that makeup had that in it, the androchrome, they had that that, that chromosome in it from kids. They right. said come from kids, kids nuts. It and they make you youth to keep you younger, yeah. and that's why them old bitches. Ever since they got caught with that, you ain't seen none of them old hoes on. Look at look at your boy, uh, Johnny Depp look like an old ass motherfucking man. When I seen yeah. him in trial, I was like, where well, they can't use the androchrome and shit. Yeah, everybody here to it. You can only get that by putting a child at the heights of being scared with adrenaline and rushing. So we already know when adrenaline rush, person gets shot, the adrenaline rush, they shit and piss on themselves. Nine times out of ten, they might go, they more than likely gonna die. You raping the kid? All that, right? So this is my thing, right? Same thing like you said a few minutes ago. Okay. Dude, allegedly, dude, big in a bitch, in there with this old ass nigga. Allegedly, Doc say that's not hanging. Somebody broke his shit. Mm -hmm. So, case Fresh gone. He gone. You know what they say about dead people, though, right? They can't talk. Okay, so. Where, where the case? Like, what's going on with that? Y'all brought it to the forefront. Y'all got caught. Then up under the rug again. Like, why when I was in school, I didn't know Maryland was fucking with K? Why I didn't know that? Y'all want to tell me all this other shit? Why I ain't know that? Mm -hmm. Why she was selling cat for Frank Sinatra, allegedly. 
You see what Shout I'm saying? Shout out to GSG Hustle, man. I so, see that. Th- this is the thing that I be saying, bro. Like, it be it's too much info out there for people to be able to say and look and use critical thinking, as Dick Gregory say. Use your common sense. Nobody, nobody is pulling out a camera when something tragic happens. They no, either you're flee to get the fuck. or they trying to help. <sighs> that was one of the two things. I know when Fight bullets get the flying, I ain't got nothing to return fire with. Or if, if I'm it's getting too the much fuck. fire, I'm getting I'm the gone. fuck. I'm, I'm getting the fuck. I'm not you fighting no bullets. One thing I learned. I ain't learned. bucking no steel. One thing I learned, man. And I learned it from my parents, and I learned it from Friday the movie. You can live the fight another day. Sure, right. But if you get clapped, ain't none of that. That's it's, it's a done deal. Done data. But what I'm saying is, I'm just tired of people seeing it and saying what they saying and not recognizing all the telltale signs. Man, listen, I can't come on here and say. Saint Purple, y'all know he brown skinned. Okay, yeah. Saint Son gonna be born. Saint Junior, his daddy was purple. He purple. They both brown skinned. Then I'm gonna come over here and say Saint the Third, his grandson is purple. We know he brown skinned. Y'all ain't getting that. They keep using the same tactics. They keep saying the same yep. thing about each one of these individuals. They mentally unstable and they crazy. Okay, say man, y'all gonna have hell on y'all hands trying to take people's guns that legally bought them with hard earned money. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, because you can't it's not go gonna it. happen, right? Yeah. Did the shit with, with, with Beto and, and, and Abby going at it? Say, look, man, y'all ain't fooling me with the Jedi mind tricks, man. Y'all double tongue talking. Mm-hmm. We know y'all both sit in the same room, okay. And for the yep. audience, if y'all don't know, if y'all don't know, just look at it like this. I'm going to break it down to you in, in hood terms. The uh, Both are gangs. So you got the Republicans or the Red Bloods. and blue. Yep. The Republicans are the Bloods. They the elephants. And Demo- Democrats are the Crips. The Democrats are the Crips and they the donkeys. Right? The ass. They the ass. Okay. So listen, like, if these people don't like each other, how are y'all cousins? How do y'all own businesses together? But y'all can't, y'all from two different viewpoints. Y'all can't stand each other. Mm. So in that money, it it, it 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 doesn't it doesn't make sense, like. Every time somebody in the hood gets shot, y'all see it on camera? Mm-hmm. Nah, or, hell no. Nah. Okay, so how do we keep seeing tragic events every time they on some type of camera? Every time. Yep. How, at whatever grade I was in, 10th, 11th grade, one of them, I was in high school. How do I walk in and on the news TV clipping? Hello? Can y'all hear me? I can hear you. Okay, y'all come across Mississippi. Uh, yeah. So hey, something, uh, something is wrong. Like, mm-hmm. common sense, I'll tell a person, something is wrong. If a person keep feeding you the same shit, if a person keep feeding you Wendy's, day after day, month after month, year after year, but you keep saying Burger King, Popeyes, all this other shit. You ain't going to ask or say, why this motherfucker keep feeding me this same shit? What's the connotation yep. behind it? What's the angle? Uh, so then you I telling mean, me, you telling me, you look, I'm looking at my sister stuff. This is what, yo, what this she is say. Not, what she say? What because I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't see what she, she said. said. I tell if, you, if you have the right tools, you can get anybody's information less than 24 hours in a mental disorder or problem, as they say, is a distraction. That's why they start because they don't know facts. Okay, look. So, in 10 minutes, 10 minutes, they know this man's name. They know all, all his information. Mm-hmm. Right? But y'all could have found Bin Laden. 
Oh, they knew he was. They just didn't bought him until uh on, Obama man. got in office. Come yeah. on, man. He so said until Obama got now Bush have been Everything been is scripted. If we don't understand that this shit is chess for real in a real way, that shit is a stage, man, and the best plays go on there. Hollywood is just the junior part of it. What that comment say right there? Never no, once did I see some shit go down in the hood and it was televised. Phone cameras and she was irrelevant. Exactly. That's all I'm saying, Miss K. I, I don't allow so many homies. I don't have none of they none of they stuff has been televised on how they got heat up. We heard nope. I seen one person out of maybe probably about 50. Probably about I probably got about five, ten homies in the wheelchair. About 50, 60 dead, about 30, 40, 50 in the pen. I've only seen one head swell up and die because he got hit in the head. Only one with my own eyes. One. Now you telling me that every time something tragic happened and it's happening more than one or two, three people dead, it's on it's on camera. Nah, right. man. What film y'all making for real? Like, what are y'all doing? Yeah. It's no way in hell. So you mean to tell me? You mean to tell me? Even when they go, the the reporters go to the wall. Do they go to the front part of the front lines of the wall? They on the back end so they can be safe. Nobody is finna sit there and film while bullets is flying like that. Right. Ain't no way. That's not normal. That doesn't happen. You either help or flee. Yep. The same thing with a building catch on fire. You don't stand there with no camera, man. Hey, you let me tell you something else. Trying to get out of there. And if look, you know look. something about anything, it ain't the fire that kills you. It's the smoke. It's the smoke. So, no, you trying to flee. You trying to get up out of there. Ain't no way in hell. If, you, if we already know, look. And before I, uh, because I know it's going to probably start tripping, I'm going to go get pick up my trailer. Yeah. If y'all, it's information out there, allegedly. I got to say allegedly. I don't want nothing happen going on with my brother now. I'm trying to sue none of that. Mm -hmm. So, people still think that MLK got shot on the balcony. And he was killed in the hospital, huh? When, and we talked about it. Say, so I told you why, why I bet we first met yeah. each other, right? So, they got pictures of him in the hospital where he got grazed on the shoulder. His head, his his his, his shoes, he had on black and brown, either black or brown, uh uh hard bottom shoes, right? Slats. Right. And he sit up on the bed, right? Then the next time you see him like this, with a pillow over his face, and they smothered him out. Right? But they're not gonna tell you that. Dick Gregory had to, got the tape. Of one of his best friends said, Oh, I moved out the way so they can get a clear visual to get a clear shot on, on, on MLK. It's out there. Mm -hmm. So why do we keep letting these people pull Jedi mind tricks? I feel like that's how they got popped. I don't think no, he did. I think he was look, I think he was an agent probably uh I think he was a plant from the word go because he was too educated. And then you take no. the educated brother and stick him in the hood. Because of the lineage of his mom and them, it is yeah. it's more to it. It's more to it, it than it, what's being said, bro. Like it, that, it, it is, it is, it could be more to it. But I'm gonna go with the sense of gang banging gone wrong. He got into something he didn't know. He really didn't know nothing about. I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that. I'm gonna say what Trench said. And what I've been saying before Trent said it. Loyalty got Tupac, Amaru, King Shakur killed. Loyalty. To a fault. Right? Biggie, I love both of them. I'm a hip-hop head. I, I rap and do all that. So, what they, they, the, they the greats. Biggie was just a casualty of war. He just happened to be attached to his his home, his best friend, Pop. Oh. What do niggas do when they get mad and the other homie that they really was fell out with? 
and he got killed. Yo, she say, me can say, unfortunately, Merlin was a whore for Frank Sinatra, and she had. Yeah, Merlin Monroe was a whore. Everybody knew that. She was selling pussy for the mob. He was having sex with the president and his brother too much information. So yeah. we, we forgot about the other the other little we forgot about the brothers having sex with a Russian well with a with a spy. With, this, with the spy. This, yeah. This listen. He was married listen, to him. Listen, man, this this it's no way in hell. It's just a rule. It's no way in hell where Saint done laid. When you having sex, you playing God, man. With a lowercase g. So people understand that. So don't be in the comments going ham. So it's a lowercase g and it's a big, big g. g. Okay? So when we being as kings as men, we playing lowercase g's when we having sex with these queens or these goddesses. Right? So when you playing God, it's no way that I'm going to go behind another God and play God. Uh, that's, that's, that's out. It, that's that absolutely he, not going to happen. That mean he ain't double it's, dipping, God damn it. Nah, because I'm hitting with a long stroke pistol system, and I'm yeah. pretty sure a homeboy ain't going to be able especially to follow Especially with a homeboy, a brother, a cousin? <laughs> absolutely not. No, 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 no. no. And that's why I say some, some people care to them. They, they moral compass don't go that far. I'm it not don't. It that. don't. It ain't look look. If Saint my boy, I love this dude like a brother. It ain't no way I'ma look at Dave in a sexual manner. I don't see her sexual period. She a little dude to me. My tit is bigger than hers. So she's a little dude to me. It's my moral principle. I can't look at the old lady like I wanna hit. I can't look at Zelly, you know what I'm saying, old lady like I can't look at your queen like, bro. Yeah. That's just the way I'm built. Because, yeah. Because, because to be real, if somebody I know try to hit something I fool with, and I cared about it, then I already know the rules. I'm, I'm gonna knock your head out. It ain't about yeah. you having sex with the woman. It's about you not having respect for me. You didn't yeah, have no respect all. for me for you to even try to do that. So if you didn't have no respect for me, and if I had you around me, that means that it's like I don't have anybody around right. me. So, so you betrayed you me. So now I'm, finna, I'm gonna touch up. Now you are gonna feel the consequences yeah. of it. Yeah. If you in the mob, only, I only got. One. And you mess, you mess with a mobster's wife. Hey man, the when the mobs in the military, the military, yeah. you can get hung for sleeping with another soldier's wife. Man, they'll throw you out the military for that, bro. It, that's some yeah. real shit. They can't get a job for and the rest see, of your life. I that's got one homeboy. About. I got it's one homeboy that, that went behind and smashed my baby mama that I know for sure. I know this. That's terrible. And the only reason why I ain't touch him is because of who he is. And who he is, my brother, I know what type of individual he is and who he is. It wasn't even worth it. it you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's his character. And that's a yeah. flaw in his character. And he can't help that. And he, yeah. you know, I had to let him be him. Yeah. I just can't bring him. You know, if I want to yeah. test a woman, I'm going to bring him around because he's going to go with his move. Yeah. And then it's going to let me know because if you were mine, you weren't going to go do it in the first place. You're going to come tell me that nigga tried to smash you. Yeah, man. And if you don't come try to tell me, that means you weren't mine and I'm going to let you go and go. Now we're going to toss you up. Now I'm calling all the homeboys over there and we all going to bust you down. You belong, you, we property now. You belong to Bug Nation. <laughs> man. You was mine, now you belong to the nation. How you gonna go with the king? You was a queen, <laughs> and now you're a comfort. <laughs> you're a comfort of <laughs> shit. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, my logic, people don't like it, but I'm gonna be me. Man, I'm gonna swing out around to this ATF. These people, they weren't designed to do what they're doing now. It's like they, they whole make is just against the constitution it's just man i don't know how long we gonna go with the with, with them busting the moves they've been doing is is you, you you're freezing the sales of gun parts i think when they first created child y'all was what they was looking over what taxes taxes and uh all uh, mobsters 
Yeah, what that comment Mika say? What did Mika say? I see Mika going in tonight. I know where Ben Lag was. He I can't hear you. Hit with what? The Hold on, I got an email. Say it again. Come on, now we talk on it. She said, "I know what Ben Laden. She know what Ben Laden was. He was in the bed with the president. Come on, now we all know that. Yeah, that. Yeah, come on, we knew that. He was a part of uh, OPEC, and you know Halliburton and Cheney and Bush and Malim was a part of that. They knew what was up with that. They knew what was up with that, man. Man, you know how the government loves you until you don't do what they say, do. Then they get rid of you." Yep. Allegedly. Yep. But man, I'm telling you though, bro, it, it's it's wild though. I just tell people, man, strap up, get your training, cause there's gonna be more of these fools. The summer just started. It ain't even summer yet. It's still spring. Say, man, get your stuff together, get your training together, because if one of these fools pop out, it might be you that can stop them. Cause should nobody be crying like this, dog? Should nobody be? Crying over their family like that, man. And you killing old folks and women and kids. Soft targets. You ain't going to where nobody will bang your ass back at. You going to places where people not ready. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm numb to a lot of that though, man. This, this shit's this the same own routine, bro. Same shit. It's all just just buy your bullets, get trained, stay ready, man. Stay active. For sure. And just if you don't like guns, okay. Go stand your little your little coward ass in the corner or something. Yeah, it's okay. People got the right to be wrong. Just go do that. But for us, hey, two way steps. Arm yourself. Stay ready. Train. Don't shoot all your ammo because they playing games with this ammo. It's another shortage coming, I'm sure. With all this old this weird stuff. They they playing with NATO. They, they they about to cause a ripple effect in NATO switching to this this six millimeter stuff. It's supposed to get crazy. Arm yourself, buy as much ammo as you can. Keep your head on the swivel and just keep paying attention. And don't get all riled up. Don't let your blood pressure shoot up too high about all this 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 old racist narrative and and uh freak accident freak accidents weirdos people with mental yeah. disorders popping out shooting. This man, just get your guns. And what Mika say, just, 12, 12, what Mika say. And yo, people get your guns, get your training, get your business. People don't help people nowadays. They want to record. They want to put it on Instagram. They, hey, but don't help. No, nah, that's not you. what I'm... It says people don't help people nowadays. They want to record. They want to put it on Instagram. They want to put it on Facebook. They don't help people no more. I they understand don't. exactly... I understand exactly what you're saying, sis. I'm not saying as far as that, like something really going on in the neighborhood. Some people might film and some people might help. That's not that's not my argument. If I was a lawyer, my argument is why every time something tragic of this makeup of this Jedi mind trick allegedly, it's the same pedigree. Mental illness, guns. Uh, multiple people in the neighborhood where uh, man, you're talking about Uvalde, Texas, man. Bug, come on, man. man. That's, Uvalde, man. Uvalde is is cartel control county, that's man. Not, come on, let's just be real. That's the point that ain't even being talked about. That's yeah, cartel that right? control county, man. Let's just so be listen, real about it. Yeah. Man, so when I seen Uvalde, I didn't see to go across the screen because y'all, I don't watch the news because I know it's all lies. Okay, so look, when I seen you, Valdi, nah, man, for real, y'all really, come on, man, y'all can't tell Texans that, no, man, hell no, nah. man, do yeah. do do any do anybody in the comments, did y'all see what happened when they picked up Chapo Jr.? Did y'all see? Oh what yeah, the I seen that. How they like did y'all what happened? I'm gonna tell them what happened. Okay, so look, so. Come they in, Miss Case. Him. I dropped the link. I dropped the link, Miss Case. Step in if you want to. They, they got him, right? Mm -hmm. They got him. Okay. So a lot of people don't know that it's a bigger boss than Chapo. Allegedly. Yeah. In right? Mexico. Right. So 
They told him. You got three hours to bring him and put him back where you got him from. All hell gonna break loose. So, they just started coming out of the houses. They just started shooting citizens. Not for play, not no Jedi mind tricks. Blood was everywhere. They started taking people out the cars, putting nooses around their necks and throwing them over the freeway bridge, pouring gas on them and setting them on fire. They had that man back in less than two hours. Those same people that went and got him were shaking them cartel members' hands. Then they had a press conference. The president stopped everything. It's no reason to negotiate with them. We're not going to cost any more citizens' lives trying to do that. So y'all mean to tell don't, me in Uvalde, Texas, that's what happened? I'm saying, don't forget, on, they also took care of the dude who put the cuffs on them. Yeah. So oh, yeah, they did that's what I'm saying. Out there. You won't do that no more. No. And that's what I'm saying. Like, come on, man. Like, for real? In Uvalde, Texas, that deep? Nah, man. Man, come nah, on. Nah, man. That's, that's just like y'all telling me in Mac Allen, Brownsville. Oh, it's a ma- man, you out your rabbit ass mind. That's people mine. is not playing like that. Them people got shit every guy. Them people is not going to play with your ass. Killing this part is like eating frosted flakes for them. They're just a part of the menu on a daily. They don't give a damn about that. But you're not going to come down there and disturb their shit and their money making process. If you've ever been in the line of hustling, you know when bodies or anything go on with the police, it bring heat. Niggas don't want no heat because you can't make money with heat. You serving the dolphins, uh, uh, sheet rock and uh, snow soap and shit. Nah, hey. man. Hey, that shout out to work. you, Danex. Shout out to Danex Williams, man. Beautiful lady. How you doing? Appreciate you for chopping in. Shout out to everybody in the chat, y'all. I can't respond to the chat because uh. I'm doing this right now. I'm gonna let y'all see the bugmeister. The bugmeister is real big driving right now. So yeah, we both feel. Yeah, we both big driving. But hey, I threw that link out. Feel free to come in and enjoy the conversation. I ain't one of them dudes. You can talk. Ain't nobody gonna talk over you. Uh, uh yeah. Let you get your point across. Get your roll out. We it's all good, yeah. man. It, it just don't. It just don't make no sense. Like for real. Like y'all really, man. Knock it off, bro. Knock it off, bro. Uvalde, McAllen, uh, El Paso. It's some shit before you get to El Paso. Uh, Brownsville. All that shit down there, man. What Look GAG what just asked. Yeah, yeah, but all that Brownsville, you can't go down there playing no game. They got a whole social structure. Even parts of El Paso. You can't even go to El yeah. Paso playing no games. What? You get your you block can't. knocked off. Yeah. He said, shit. uh... Black folks can't stand for each other because they fear the government is one. The main part of it is the main. They got part. master yeah. mentality. They scared. They listen. They I know. I know some youngsters. Human conditioning. But it's some conditioning. youngsters they, they ain't trying to hear that. Trying to hear it. They ain't trying to hear none of that. That's because what I know dudes with. my age. My age. I have Dracos and all that. One white police can pull up. Them niggas get the running. Let a black police pull up. They stood up. I said, man, do y'all see what's wrong with this picture? Everybody else is raised family oriented. Black folks don't forgot a lot of shit. It, they don't care about a lot it, of shit. It, it, go, it go back to the Willie Lynch. You know how to break up a family? It's, it, that's, why, that's how it go. You take the man, you book, break him in front of the woman. The woman likes to let him know. And she don't respect him. And when the woman right. don't respect the man, this is what that's happened. Right. Right. Then and I, you, you take wait, the woman... Wait. You take the woman and, and then the you rape you break you rape her, but you yet you empower her, but you're gonna put your foot on my children if you sick. We ain't forgot that. That's the first thing. Then y'all used to play alligator baby. I ain't forgot that either. Y'all you take threw the babies to the alligator. And throw the babies a newborn, y'all thought that shit was funny. That shit was never funny. That's why the hurricanes come and tear this motherfucker up. Her came y'all get it one day man yeah mother nature ain't nobody to play with 
she not nobody to play with. And if y'all want to go all the way back, go watch Captain Planet. Hmm. Mother Nature is Zeus's grandmother. Zeus's grandmother is black on that cartoon. She's brown skinned. Her name is Gaia, G A I A. It's a reason for that. They've been telling us a long time who we are, who we are as, as, as people, who we are as people. We are the people that don't know who we are. That's the biggest problem. If you knew that you was a god and you can take shit from right here and start making shit happen, be a different playing field. But it's too much shit going on Bruh. with the mental state and the brain state. They put drugs out here you know. for a reason. Yo, br- 12, if I can tell you, I told Saint. Saint was, uh, I was getting dropped off at work last night, yesterday. And something happened so crazy, I told Saint. I'm going to tell you I was lying about what happened, and you're going to be like, wow. You're going to be like, wow. But I'm going I'm to I'm move on, and I'm going to say this here. If you really think about it, look at it now. And the man don't respect himself, and he damn sure don't respect her. Right. And all that was by design. Yeah. All that was by design. Yeah. That's by design, brother. And I can but, say that look. because I used to be one of them dudes that didn't respect nothing. I just yeah. respected me and I was selfish until one day I had opened my mind. My brother got out the pen. Brother did eight years and said, Little bug, give a fuck about you. Why should they give a fuck about you? And some reason, yeah. just hit me. And, and he said, Ain't nobody going to give a fuck about you. And it hit me, bro. I don't know why they hit me like and I switched it up. As you should. As you should, bro. I care about you until you show me about me. As you should. This this is this another thing, right? And I'm not gonna give I'm not gonna give up the clue. I'm gonna let people do their research, right? So family is the glue. Family is the number one thing, the main thing. Hey, hold up, would you do that? Okay. Go ahead. What they come in say? I can't see the comment because people, people making comments oh, no. and I can't see the comment. It was the comment before that one. I'm a, I'm a like this one up first. He say he right. Strap baby. Strap the baby trees, to trees for, the for the alligators to kill him and down in the bayou. Okay. Mm-hmm. So look, Just like the nigga in the watermelon song. And what does then they say? The man from the home and get the black woman to rely on the others. Half us don't know the ten percent brain power that we have. I just said that. Yep, you just, just said that. that. Right? So look, this is what this is what I'm gonna say, right? The f- God Himself came through, if we look at it biblical from a theology standpoint. God came down here. What was the first lesson he taught? What was the first thing that he taught about? You know, book? I'm in a uh, construction zone right now. Give me a second. <laughs> You hear it? <laughs> yeah, I hear all that bumping and jumping. Yeah, yeah, you're my snitching, my snitching ass truck because I'm going over the line. <laughs> it's a narrow ass road, so I yeah, got to focus. <laughs> listen, listen. He turned he he taught about something first for a reason. You know when you teach about something first from the jump, it's the most important. It trumps everything, right? I'm gonna right. let the, the people in the comments go do their research and see what God talked about and taught first. What did he teach first? All you Jesus people. What did he teach first? What did Buddha teach first? Oh, G-A-Z out there. He ain't answer. G-A-Z ain't answer because G-A-Z will rip it with the, with the Bible. So what did he teach first? Right? All, any organization that's strong, even like the nation, what do they teach first? Right? What do they teach first, man? What you you see know? what I'm saying? It just say facts. Right? So this is this is the thing though. This is the thing, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all, it was family. Not family the word. First. It, it was family. He taught about family first. Because he used his family as an example. We know Joseph was the stepdaddy. I'm a stepdaddy. Joseph yep, was the stepdaddy. Too. I got two daddies on both of my arms. 
Billy on one, the white on one. The white is my biological father that I love dearly. Billy is my bonus father, as they call it now, that I love dearly. I love both of them the same. I give both the same and utmost respect. I'm damn near 40. They damn near 50, 60. I don't fuck with them kings in that way. I look at them like silverback gorillas. That's what we call them. I don't play with them like that. I respect them and have the most regard for them. Family is first. Let me break down family. Forget about me. I love you. Okay? I'm going to say that again. Family. Forget about me, I love you. Okay? Media, maniac, European devils in action. Tell lie, vision. Vision. What your granny used to call that shit, man? What she used to call that too, man? What granny used to call that goddamn TV? Huh, boy? Idiot. What? She said, oh, they, that's that old, old snake box, lying television, demon box. How did them ancestors yeah, the know box. that shit, man? Yeah. How, how did man, them ancestors know, they know that the idiot shit, box. man? Right? Right. What do they say about the revolution? It's going to be what? Televised. Okay, then. It ain't going to be thought, televised. They say it ain't going to be it televised. Ain't, it ain't going to be televised because, again, real shit, truth, it, can, it don't need nothing to stand on. It stand alone. It don't need no help. It don't have to be televised. The real shit is not televised. Again, when we losing homies out here in the street for whatever we with, that shit ain't televised. Only thing they say, look, we gonna stop this bullshit too. Stop saying black on black crime. Stop repeating what somebody told you on, 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 on the mass media shit. I just told you. Maniac European devils in action. Your character's that? That's what your character is. If you acting like a devil, you're a devil. I don't give a fuck what color you is. Right? But you can't just be sitting around doing idiotic shit and think you're not going to get caught. Okay? You go to Taiwan, who the, Taiwan, who the Taiwanese people going to kill? They damn sure ain't going to kill no Hawaiians. They gonna kill Taiwanese, right, son? The least travel country. Yeah. Taiwanese gonna kill Taiwanese. Chinese don't go and kill. Well, let Biden. Biden. Let Biden say he gonna send help. <laughs> right. Yeah. Muslims kill Muslims. Jews kill Jews. Crips kill Crips. Bloods kill Bloods. Blacks kill blacks. You kill where you fucking stay at. Man. Yeah, so you got these people in these so called ass groups. No, yeah, y'all. Ch- I dropped Chinese. out, man. I seen, we seen it. Chinese hey. kill Chinese. Chinese yeah. is not Chinese is not killing fucking Samoans, man. Samoans kill Samoans. The triad kill triads. The mob kill the mob. The mob don't go and kill regular motherfuckers, man. They don't do that. You care where you stay. If there's a bunch of black people around and you got to defend yourself against another black person, yeah, you probably gonna kill a black person. Black on black crime, that shit is not truth, man. That shit is a lie. That's a tactic. No different than child support, no different than section eight. All them shits is tactics, man. But we yep. can't look past the bigger picture. To the because, because what we getting, right? 
I'm tired of hearing people say black on black crime. We need to do something about that. You gonna do something about the white on white crime? You gonna do something about the Chinese on Chinese crime? Oh, wait, but the Chinese, the Chinese kill Africans too. No. <laughs> I, but look, this that's not I, I understand what you're saying, and that's very true. What I'm saying is who white killing? Look, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm, gonna put you, I'm gonna put it to you like this, bro. We're just gonna go by nature, right? Uh, yeah, we're, no, go we're, by nature. we're gonna go with nature. We got some racist nine, people in the coming. Nine nine times out of ten, right? Nine times out of ten. Right on, sister. A tree Kate. is a tree is next to what? I don't know a tree. I want, thing, what? A tree is next to what? A tree. What okay, goddamn! A tree, man. Yeah, a, a tree. tree. Right. So yeah. if it's crime being committed, if you cut that tree down, the chances of that tree is gonna fall on what? Another tree. The goddamn tree, right? The other part I'm gonna say lions, right? Lions, king of the jungle, right? Who are they arch enemy? What's the lion's arch enemy? Fucking hyenas, okay? We know they kill hyenas. We know they kill cheetahs. We know they kill jaguar. Anything don't look like them. And they don't okay. even eat them. They just kill them. They just yeah. kill them. Okay. So they tell you everything that you need to know. But when another male lion wants that pride, what happens? That lion kills that lion. Mm -hmm. It's nothing wrong with it. It's called nature. I'm not going. I, I'm a Commodore boy. I'm not going to fucking. Uh, uh, what the cowboys used to stay at? Valley View, what is that shit called? Valley Ranch? I'm not going to go to Valley, Valley Ranch. Ranch. Kill Valley Ranch. I'm not doing that. Hell no. Why in the fuck I'll would I go to Valley that. Ranch and kill Why? I'm going to kill right here on Commodore, on Diaries, on Burr, on Hatcher, somewhere in Oak Cliff. You see what I'm saying? Because the chances of me yep. being in contact with people that look like me is more likely than me seeing a fucking Dallas Cowboy or a fucking Dallas Maverick, man. But we're going to let the mass media push some shit and say, oh, the blacks killing each other. Hey, man, if it's that big a problem, stop calling us motherfucking minorities and call us the majority if it's that goddamn big of a problem. Stop, the stop celebrating Black History Month. This shit's stupid. They, they give us the shortest month, man. But people what don't catch do? on to it. And then, they, and then they, and then they catch. They tell us, oh yeah, this year, four years is leap year. How the fuck y'all come up with that? Who told y'all that? Who told y'all y'all can make the rules? Y'all come from us. Y'all can't give life like we do. The black female carry all seven genotypes. No other female carries that. They can make any color, any race can come from them. What I seen from us, we're not going to play like we're not the gods of this planet. We're not going to even play like that. I ain't heard to play like that today. I'm tired of hearing the bullshit and I'm fed up with the bullshit. That shit is a myth, man. Ain't no such thing as black on black crime. The cartel ain't killing motherfucking Italians. They killing cartel. Mm -hmm. The politicians, they knock out politicians. How the fuck they gonna knock out somebody that's in business, building hotel? They don't know nothing about that shit. They ain't in that world. Exactly. Obama ain't going to go kill the biggest crip from fucking uh, where Nip from. He don't know shit about it. But from what he done heard, he don't live in that world. So black on black crime is a myth. A tree is next to a tree. It's not next yeah, to nothing else. Yeah, we can hear you, yeah. Bill. A tree. Okay, okay, I'll just make sure, man. A tree is next to a tree. A forest. We knock it. Mm -hmm. We killing the trees. We knocking all the trees down. That's murder. They don't want to talk about Damn. it. Damn. They telling us and teaching us one plus one is two, but that's wrong. They forget to you got in the math equation. You got to count for everything. The addition has to be counted. 
how's this shit transferred from one to this one to equal this sum or total at the end if you're not counting the fucking addition who's there who's playing addition that's god so we got us so basically, as human us human uh, as so you said one plus saying. one is three it's three it's god's number three and seven right because one plus one can't be two because Without God in between us and the tree, how in the fuck is the carbon dioxide is getting to them and they oxygen getting from us? We ain't that goddamn. We little G's, not big G's. That's our motherfucking problem as humans. We think we big G instead of knowing that we little G. You can't, don't nobody know how to take that, that oxygen from that tree. Can't nobody nope. take that carbon monoxide from us and give it to that tree. Don't nobody know how to do that. I don't give a fuck what scientists is. They can't reduplicate that. Same thing like water. I, I, the day a motherfucker create water, I'm going to shut up. If you can create water, I'm going to shut up. That's why I'm saying this shit is a myth, man. Ain't no such thing as black on black crime. You're going to go to El Paso and tell me oh, it's Mexican or brown on black God damn. They... Listen to what Clovertech said. Look at what Clovertech said. Crime have nothing to do with color. It's opportunity. And he's not lying. Because when you got an opportunity to commit crime, you're going to do it. Right. That's all I'm saying. Stop with the black on black crime shit. That's, that's, that's out. That's false, man. On Pyro, that's false. That is fucking false, man. Say, man, if you squeeze people long enough, right? Let me just say yeah. it this way. Let me say it this way. Zip codes. People can tell what your work is, what you make a year, what kind of cars, what kind of condition you live in, what kind of condition you came from, just by what fucking zip code you come from. If you think I'm lying, go to another motherfucking zip code. You go to Park Place and you get your fucking beans and you go to a zip code that's where black people at or impoverished people at and see don't that shit be higher. Yup, he's not lying. He's not lying because I just went to Park Place. And he's not lying. He's not lying. When I used the urban zip code, it was one thing. When I used the University Park zip code, it was something different. Look. So listen, bro. So the zip code shit, the zip code shit, I'm gonna tell you how it break down. You can go all the way to your local Walmart, your local stores. That I worked in Walmart. That local Walmart has in it what that local community buys because it's scanned and pre-scanned. That's why they got the scanners, y'all. It ain't just so you can scan food real fast, y'all. It's for them so to know what you buy. Know what you fucking buying so they can automatically put it in there, right? But Shout out to everybody in the chat. Go ahead, Twitter. Why when you go? That's why when you go to another Walmart, you on I eight and I eight look fucking different. Ain't none of this shit you see in an yep. I eight and, and Camp Wisdom. You gonna go to University Park? It's gonna be different. Park, okay? it's, it's, no, it's how it's totally different. It is, and they sell totally different, different foods. Totally different, different foods. Food. Say, my Kroger, my favorite store across the street from my house. That Kroger, hey, yeah. man, beautiful store. I go over there by what bugs say, the bitch got a I'm totally ball. different. I'm totally different. Ball. It got a Starbucks in it. Why the fuck my crap? Wait, wait, selling chicken, food. They got their own cafeteria. Yes. Man, come on. Sit down. So it to tells sit down you. Yeah. So the zip code tells you a lot of shit. Zip code tells you uh, you went to a uh, public school. Because no, no, you went to private school. Yeah, in, in certain zip codes, public schools ain't allowed in certain zip codes. They don't allow it because they look at public zip codes as the, the train or the, uh, what they call uh, it, right? the bus. school to prison. Uh, public transportation. Like, like certain, certain, public listen, in certain neighborhoods, the train and bus do not go. Am I lying to you? No. Austin, no bus. Mesquite, no bus. Then y'all just see we I, I shared what the report said about the dark. Oh, crime went up 40%. How in the fuck y'all know what the percentage is on crime? 
Cuckoo's doing this shit. Crime is crime. It don't got no motherfucking percentage. But listen, I'm going to tell y'all the game, man. The game is this. To create a system within a system to work for that people. If you're not them people, that system don't work for you. Exactly. Period. Okay? So look, we're going to go back to, to, to the zip code shit. That rich man going to go in there and get 0 0.9. Meanwhile, his family knows about credit. His family's been taught about credit because they didn't go to fucking public school. They went to private school. My zip code went to public school, don't know shit about credit, don't know nothing about it. Probably won't know about it till you're 40. And then I'm going to go in there and the damn percent going to be down there 27% on top of this motherfucking loan. You see what I'm saying? But they know once you Yo. go to a poor place, it, it's, it's just... It's just, again, critical thinking. Why the fuck Park Place ain't in Bantam? Why? Why? Right? Okay. Another thing. Why ain't fresh fruit, fresh vegetables available everywhere? It's only available in certain zip codes. Yup. When you call insurance companies and you get health insurance and you say that university park zip code, you're going to get a different motherfucking number. Hold so up, 12. 12. 12, hold up. You know Irvin. I had Irvin's zip code. 75062. That's Irvin. That's a that's a decent zip code. Mm -hmm. But North Irvin zip code, we got, we had uh, DLW tax. So they gave us DLW tax. But guess what? That 762, uh, uh, 75062 zip code is better than 75224 or 228. Right. Because right. 228 is the grove, which is, that's, yeah. my, that's my little girl's mom, her grandma house. Right. So you, I used that zip code. My insurance was $200 higher than Urban, but now the University Park zip code is yeah. different. Insurance dropped down. Like, I get more, I get more amenities. For my yeah. money than I did when I was in 75228. All because of the zip code, man. And that ain't no because, lie, bro. That ain't no lie yeah, at all. You, if, like, look, if we are supposed to be so called people and the free people, I don't need no motherfucking zip code. What's the other shit that they do? Uh, what they figure out how many people? Uh, I can't think of the name, but I know what the name is. Hey, so they come tw on, 12. The look at the comment. This but say your statement, look at the comment. Hell yeah, they, they wrong for that. Yeah, they Mads, wrong for that. Man, who is who wrong? Wait, 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 wait. Say, somebody, they wrong for that. Is they wrong for uh charging more for the zip code? Is they wrong for Absol charging more for the zip code? Hell yeah, they absolutely right. wrong. Absolutely wrong, man. Every, look, see, this is this is this is why I said, man. This is this is why because it looked like that person was black. He is black. This is, this is the reason why. We can't never get on one accord because when we break the shit down and present the shit, then it's refuted. You can't refute the truth, love. I'm not gonna argue with you about what the truth is. The sky the is messy, dark, The man missed I'm the not, message. He said, "We is it is it needed?" And then he said, "We need zip codes." He didn't hear shit you said about the whole. Oh uh, man, just, couldn't couldn't have been. Man was stuck Say, on man, zip codes. I'm not I'm not gonna argue with a person and trying to tell him. Uh, they trying to tell me the sky red when I know the motherfucker blue, man. I stick to the facts. I stick to the you truth. I ain't on no Listen. What Kobe I learned say? this what Kobe a I, I think Skinner done gone and passed out on us. He looked like he ain't ready to be in the baby bed. Oh, yeah. Y'all see it. But listen, this this is what I, what, what I learned a long time ago. He's in La La Land. <laughs> Smart people or intelligent people don't argue. Now, I'm not going to do no arguing, which I know what I know, man. If you want to correct me and the truth is a little bit more on believing that part of the truth, you can do that. But I'm not going to say say nothing. Open my mouth as a king, as a god on this planet, and say something that's false. I'm just not mm -hmm. going to do it. I'm too old to be lying, man. I'm not two. I'm not ten. My name is 12, but I'm not going to lie to you like a 12-year-old. I'm going to tell you the truth. It's no point in doing that. Lying and we grown. We already in a fucked up situation in a fucked up society. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit up here and lie. And it ain't just bad for us. It's bad for the majority of the people. 
This is what other people don't know, right? This is another thing I learned from Dick Gregory. White people that we classify as white people that we can see in the community, those not white people, man. <laughs> Them not white people. Uh-uh. Let me say it again. White people that we see every day or we can see, those are not white people. Those not white people. Hey, join the chat. White people. Hold on, 12. Hold on, 12. White people. Point. How long would you make your tour for well? Join the chat. If you if you feel you got something to say, don't say it in the comments. I just dropped the link. Join the chat. And then you can uh, have a civil conversation with my brother 12, Gun Bro, finna be Bug Nation member. Thank you. <laughs> we in the air. Go in the air. We everywhere. But go ahead, 12. Make your point, 12. School these fools. Look, it, white people are people like Queen Elizabeth. White European. people are like, not even European. You could be European. But you, Queen Elizabeth, you see her son got caught up in that shit? He went to yeah. court. He went to trial. Hell no, those are white people. Okay? Those are white people. The DuPonts, the Rockefellers. Get, it. Get in the chat, fat man. I dropped the link. You don't got to turn your camera on. You can turn your, uh, Leave your camera off and just talk. That's 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 them are white people. The people that we see, the clover techs, and I'm not saying you just clover tech because you white man. I'm just saying as a, as as a uh, example. <laughs> yeah. Those people that we see, we can touch. Those are not white people. White because people. Because I got touch. news for you. If they want to push a budget, white people you can't touch, man. Okay, that's all I'm saying. So, if it was supposed to be this so-called purge shit, they gonna kill him too. Just to let you know. They'll kill him yep. too, they gonna kill us. Yep. They not special either. Mm -mm. They don't give a damn about them either. Mm -mm. Okay? You ain't got no trillion dollars in your family. You ain't got no billion dollars in your family. They don't give a damn about you. Okay? Generational will. The money, the money, and the Luciferian agenda is what's the goal. If you ain't a part of that shit, you ain't, you ain't a part. That's that on that. We got to start using critical thinking and using our fucking minds. That's the strongest thing that's on this planet that's in this universe. Yep. Nobody sits around and sitting on the porch and the dude walk up with two AR or AR or two handguns and he shoot 30, 40 motherfuckers, and they just start filming right away. It doesn't happen like that. I don't see niggas get shot at, and niggas at home, and niggas leave their house running. Yo. They all grab where their guns probably were at, and be running. Running from their own house. But you're going to tell me that a person just oh he just popped up out of the blue and in 15 minutes they know his whole fucking lineage right no man absolutely not man stop it fat land, that shit fat land is in the building fat land welcome what's to up, the bro? what's up uh oh what's up, you go. Talk to 12. what's up boy what you got going on man? i mean i mean 12 jumping to so many different different you know conversations know, so quick you know i, I know a lot of shit kind of hard to with him I, just know man, I, I agree with him on first. some of it. Yo. I agree with him about on some of it, but we do need zip codes. Because okay, I'm telling well, you, we my wife opened a cake business. I, I tell you this, my wife opened up a cake business. I won't put it in a 75216 area code because ain't no, ain't no blast going to buy shit over there. The cakes that she gets, you know what I'm saying? Shit. I'm gonna go with the white folks. Okay. I'm gonna go to the white folks that I know who gonna buy it and they gonna complain about the price. Okay, yeah, but I mean, then, then you come, you come over. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Twelve, twelve. Let him make hold his on. point. Twelve. He heard you. Hold let him make his point. Let him make his I, point. I'm over in seven. Go ahead, I'm bro. over in seven five two. I'm over in seven five two 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 three two Redbird area. We know cars and stuff get stole over here, so the insurance be higher. You see what I'm saying? But you go to University Park, them cars don't get stolen like it do over here. They, they so the it's down. important to have area codes. You know what I'm saying? Like over at Roosevelt, 
you know, the age is high over there. It's important mm -hmm. to have area codes. So, you know, sometimes, you know, you got to have area codes. Okay, now what's your rebuttal, 12? Okay, so he says it's important to have area codes, all right? Mm -hmm. A's high. A's high. My, my comment to the A's for A's high where they want A's to be. High. Exactly. Right? That's We're going to get that understood. I understand and I respect you as a king in, in, in showing and holding down your wife, right? But again, yeah. us going to go do business with other people, I don't I don't see no fault in that as long as that the respect level is always there, right? But again, it goes all the way back, like I said, us as a people. I asked one question. Said I wasn't gonna get an answer. I'm a teacher at heart once I start to learn this shit. So I gave the an answer anyway. What did Jesus teach first? What did God teach first? Who is the people Family. he talked about? Talked about first. Right. Family. Here you go again. You 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 want uh you wanna know who the father said first or the son because you know which one no you I'm, said both I'm, no i'm saying said god god we're just god. gonna leave it at god god put together family first right i'm a, i'm just gonna name a few things you tell me different if you feel different you're entitled to your opinion a forest consists of what trees plant life trees trees together it's family. Grass consists of what? Blade. Other patches. Grass. Of, a blade. Other patches blade of grass. grass. It's, blade. It's, it's a lot right. of blades that come together. Right. I mean, to make a and, and, hey, and, and instead of um, what you call it, um, just be straight up with it. Just say what you got to say. Oh, it's, so it's more than us listening. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's more than us listening. He's just making his point. Let him make his point the way he makes his point. It's gonna be weird, but he's not making his point. Lions are built off of pride. Dolphins yep. are built off a of pod. Wolves are built off a of gang or a pack. Pack, yeah. Right? Yeah. When you come into this world, you got a mother and a father. That's for sure. I don't give a damn if you like them. It's the shit I teach. For myself, this is shit that I teach other people that's in my family and others. I don't give a damn because your mama dope fiend and she did all kind of shit to you. That Bible or any religious book says honor. It don't say because she cussed you out, you cuss her back the fuck out. Listen, man, as a parent, that's already a blessing. God put you in a higher position to get that. So, you got some get back coming when you get to that line for doing that to that child. Us as children, it's not for us to disrespect the parents or the elders. That's where the problem lies. It ain't no respect. It's no family. That's why I, I use the examples as the examples. A little line mm -hmm. cub, and get out of line. The big line ain't going to slap around a little bit. You know, his nuts drop. He get about two and a half years old. His mane start right. growing. This right here, what we got? We grow the dread. Hey, you got to go. Because you can't be fucking your mama and your anus. That's me. You got to go. You got to figure it out on your own. When you get 18, you got to go. You want to do shit your way? You don't want to listen to nobody rules? You don't want to clean up the kitchen? You don't want to clean up the bathroom? Yeah, you figure that shit out for yourself. I'm here. We don't have big granddaddies. That shit old and that shit out. We don't have that no more. I grew up in the projects where my auntie stayed down the street or the neighbors stay down the street that whoop your ass, take you to your mama. You don't have that no more. Mm -hmm. So it produced the shit that we have. The zip code shit is a system, like I said, a system within a system to work for a design people that designed that system. Yeah, and, and I agree with you on that. It is designed. I, I can't think of uh, the person, but the person said, I don't care about the laws. I don't care about the laws. You give me the people mine, and I do what I want with them. 
I break them laws, but I'm gonna do with them people what I want to do with them people. Those are facts. The laws can be broken. We see that clearly. I just said <laughs> white people that we see and we walk in the old when it was Kmart, Walmart, all that. Those are not white people, man. Those are not white people. What are they? Those people are put in, if, if you're looking within the system, those people just like us. Do they got privileges? Hell yeah. More than what we do? Hell yeah. But are they white? Can they go sit next to Queen Elizabeth? Hell no. Maybe those are the whites that fail. Huh? The fail to, maybe those are the whites that fail to take advantage. So they, they stay stuck in the hood with us, huh? Family is by bloodline. Yup. That bloodline don't follow that. That bloodline don't follow that bloodline. It's only a few well, bloodlines. Most wealth is by bloodline. Bloodline can make you kin. Blood, bloodline can make you kin, but not family. Cause it's blood, it's bloodline yep. that'll fuck y'all, boy. You see what I'm saying? We, I was happy to say, yo. Listen, <laughs> we under, yeah. listen I, I understand that. I get that. I'm from the projects. I'm from Bunton, so I, I get it. These cats on here is my brothers, not by blood, but by from another mother. See what I'm saying? But what I'm mm. saying is, I don't give a damn what your mama. If she put you in a trash can, that's still your mama. It's no getting around that. If your daddy did something to you, it's still your daddy. You can't get around that. You can't get around that. Roy Hayes, everybody in the chat, go look up. I think it's like Roy Hayes. If not, I'm going to go get the information from, from Bug. For Bug. Roy Hayes is a, is a high intellectual. You're going to get put back in the same place. That you done came. You're gonna get put back right in the same fucking family if you come back here. And that's not gonna change. Yeah, until you learn what you're supposed to learn. Until you fucking learn, because everybody's on their own frequency, he's gonna put you right back in the same spot. That's why black mm. lines are important. Not because, yeah, it shot me. I got a kid. Listen, my kid folk is dead. But he shot my other kid folk nuts out. So I know what you mean that all kin folk and kin folk. I know what you mean, but the kin folk that shot my kin folk balls out dead by some other people. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I get mm -hmm. it. But the system within the system, I'm saying is like Bud said earlier. They take the father out. Okay, let's take him out. Yep. Section eight. Yeah, that nigga. Yeah, that nigga said, "Well, girl, yeah, put his motherfucking ass on child support." So right. let me ask y'all a question. Can I can I get a little personal question from every man on this panel? Yeah. How many of men on this the panel are, are staying or women woman are staying with their kid that they done you know had and they still with their woman or they got all their kids are they separated? I'll be the first to tell you. Okay. I got five, six babies. I got six babies. The first two, I made mistakes with. I still feel fucked up to this day. Well, I don't I, think God made mistakes, bro. No, but you do have, see, it's two things that we do have. You got free will and you got God's will. Free will yours. So, so you say your so you say your pull-up gang, your pull-out gang was weak. No, 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 no. I I always wanted. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> every kid, every kid that I had, I wanted. I had my first child. I got my 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 son's mama pregnant when I was seventeen. She had the baby when I was eighteen. My son was supposed to be born on the same day I graduated, which is May twenty third, two thousand four. Yeah. He came May third, two thousand four. Every child I wanted. My mom was had me when she was 17. So the relationship that I have with my mom, I got that same relationship with my Yeah. Any fucking thing. It's nothing for me to be uncomfortable. None of that. I don't have that with my mom. I thank mm -hmm. God for it. I can talk to her mm -hmm. about anything. So I can do with my daddy. Both of my daddies. But Maturity is supposed to come with revelations of tribulations. 
So you're supposed to learn. The first thing that I told my wife that I'm with, maturity doesn't come with age. That's a myth. Mm -hmm. It don't work like that. It doesn't come with age. Because you got some people that are 65 and they still damn fools. So you True. can't trust shit they say or they do. Their character fucked up. Their mm. integrity not intact. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, me as a man, as a king, as a god on this planet can admit, yeah, I tell, told my kids, I fucked up with your mama. Here's why. I fucked up with your mama too, girl. Same shit I was doing with her mama. I was messing with both of y'all mamas down there at the same time, at, at times. You can't do that. Okay? Yeah. That, that's a no-no. You get your one queen, you hold it now, she hold you down, y'all build upon that. That's how it's supposed to go. Does it always go like that? Hell no. No, sir. Like I said, no, I got sir. two daddies. I got two daddies. I love them dearly. And, and I'm going to go to the graveyard behind either one. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But, like I said, I ain't going to fix my face, my mouth, my mind, my thoughts, my spirit, my energy, my soul, my frequency. I'm not going to lower my chakras to disrespect those kings in no way, shape, form, or fashion. I don't give a damn if I do feel fucked up. I'm going to say, say, pops, I feel like this, pops. I don't really like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate if this would have went like this, or you would have said this like this. Yeah, I see people cuss their mama out. Nah, man, my mama put me in the ground, man. You cuss your mama out? Nah, man. Nah, hell nah. So do you guys believe it's a little harder? So do you guys believe it's a little harder to uh, raise kids now? No. Yeah, yeah. I believe so. I believe it is. Because... Toya, where you at now? Uh, I'm, I'm in uh, Dallas. Yeah, work. Uh, no, you at work? Yeah, you at work, right? Yeah. So yeah. when you get off, your kid gonna be at school, right? Uh, no. No. So no. How, how many? How much? How much time do you see your kid today? Um, I, well, I work three days a week, so. Uh, so you I see him. Yeah, I see him. I see him. I, I talk to my kids. Yeah. Not to but, get out so too much away from wait, what you where you going. But yeah, okay. Daughter, I, you always at work. I asked her, do I work too much? Because if I do, I'm gonna change that. The money yeah. the money is not the point. It's the time. That's yes, the other thing that, that we gotta understand. That, that's that's why I'm getting to. It's the time because it's the time, man. It's not the money don't mean shit, man. And I, I agree with you on that because you got social media. You got music, you got friends. All that's influenced your kid at school while you at mm -hmm. work making a living. So yeah. you have to you have to counterattack that and spend time with your kid and let them know what's right and wrong and yeah. consequence. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Do me a favor. Hey, hey Bug. Tell, tell, uh, tell Saint he need to get him some coffee. Thank you, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm here. I'm just soaking nah, in. Nah, he's he soaking in. He's soaking it up. I was tired. Uh, yeah. So, I'm so here. look. I'm just thinking. It's a lot of shit going on. This is why I say why that say time, time uh, it's, uh, not, it's hard. not hard. It might, it might, it might seem might like that because we're parents now. Right? right? Just think yeah. about yeah. the day of our parents. Same shit. It was rap music. Games. Oh, that's it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So it was the same thing, just in a different fashion. Nothing is new. All right. So oh, even so back days, could you imagine? Back then, and then the kids walking past out of me, Gamora was saying that shit. It's the same shit today. Yeah. It ain't no different. What what's what going on is the parents. The grandparents hey, used to be strong. Hey, look, look what GAG said. GAG said, uh, parents nowadays don't spend time with their kids. They just throw a table in their face. And that phone. That's the table. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, uh, uh. We don't, we don't we be, don't, we don't be on the Jedi mind tricks, right? Okay, so they okay. give you, so they they give you a device 
Make a device. Make a device. I got an iPad. I got an iPad. They give you a device. They don't give my kids a device. They got phones. 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 Right, right. Hey, if somebody right. watching this broadcast, right. turn, turn whatever you're watching it on down. If you on the phone, because you can hear it, because it's giving that feedback. Hey, hey, but I, um, one thing I thought y'all were gonna talk about today is uh, the gunman down there in um, down there by San Antonio. We did. We did yeah, I, I kind of caught y'all kind of late. Do you? I just want to ask you, Penny. Do you think them guys gonna try to take their AR-15s? Yeah, yeah. Because see, that's what I, that was. The, that's how I started the live off. Mm -hmm. It started out it just like Columbine. Like you don't remember Columbine? You, you old enough, you remember Columbine. Columbine, we lost the Tech 9, we lost the AK, we lost features of rifles. Band and yeah. Band, Anything that made a gun look scary, the holes in the Tech 9 barrel made it look scary than hell. Nothing to do with the function of the gun. Yeah. Now, they're going to use that as they, they beat the heartbeat for, for their march. And they drum a boy. To try to take the gun, but it ain't the gun because I made this analogy. Because think about it, if you do ran over all them people with the dog challenge at the monument thing in Charlotte, they didn't sue dogs. They didn't take challenges off the street. That dude in New York ran over with U-Haul truck. U-Haul trucks and box trucks was used to blow up Oklahoma City and all these buildings. Yeah, we just. Uh, let me make the point. Let me make the point. Go ahead, bro. You didn't blame no tools. So what you gonna blame the tools for a person that couldn't even purchase a gun and then hire a person who couldn't purchase a gun? You got a twenty five hundred dollar rifle. So he got a Daniel Defense. And then they said he had a felony. He was a felony. My point is that so gun control when it did nothing for to stop this. Hey man, it's nice talking to you, Kings, but I gotta get ready for work tomorrow. I get up at three. All ready, brother. Appreciate uh, the stop. Hit, 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 hit the like button on your way out, brother. Hit the like button on your way out, brother. Hey, hey, Tack Beer. I raised you, son. Bus stop. I raised you, son. Bus stop. From the first Mac 90 to the Romanian AK. Boy, look, I had Mac Knight when I, I came to the hood. Y'all was still playing with y'all was still <laughs> playing with AP nines when I had a chopper. Only person had a chopper with Rico. <laughs> so you better stop playing. Hey, <laughs> stop playing. I was so good boy. I was so pistol. Hey, and then what we gonna do? We use them. <laughs> we use them. Y'all went and upgraded so, and got the choppers. Y'all so, went and upgraded and got them choppers. Look, did I, did I hear you correct? You said that he had a Daniel defense. Daniel defense yeah, yeah. Used, yes. is used by the military. He has He's a military and law enforcement. And he mental. Yeah, he paid eighteen. He, he paid 1800 for that Daniel defense. Say, man. What? Okay, listen, listen. Time out, man. Time out. Military patients have a war for their pay, right? Do mental people is mental people in control of their money? I that hey, I'm, no. I'm, I'm with you. Somebody had to give me that money. Come on, man. He like, paid eighteen hundred for that game. But where he, he bought a gun from? Hey man, where he bought a gun from? Where he got the gun from? From where? He got the gun from whoever the hell trained him. Exactly. I can't hear you, bro. You gotta talk yeah, up. They you gotta talk up. He, they got the gun from whoever trained them. Whoever trained them. Shit. He in trouble. They in trouble. Right. I don't think they in trouble. Shit. Ain't no trouble. Cause it, it ain't, ain't no trouble, trouble when it was. <laughs> when it was crazy. You know who gave him a Daniel defense? Hell yeah, you do. Say you. Know you I got do you? Do you think they should uh, raise up the age limits to purchase a uh, semi-automatic uh, rifle or something? No! No! 15 years got switches! What, what they gonna do? No! Hell no! For what? Look, man, laws are meant to be broken. Those people use those laws to protect them, to make them feel some type of way. It's not done. They, look, them Let me people... Tell y or a certain type of a certain amount of dimensions. We are a certain amount of dimensions. Those people use the black and white. Just think about it, how cold and how crazy it is. They think of a thought. 
They tear down a tree. They go get an indigo plant, make some ink, put it on paper, put it on that tree. Yeah, you niggas, and all the rest of y'all, y'all got to buy by this shit on this paper. But the minute something happened with that family, and they, those people, again, it's gone. It's gone. Right? Right? It's yeah. gone. It's gone. That, it, it just don't make sense. It just don't make sense. The same people saying, saying, Early on, on World Trade Center got blew up, got blew up by box truck, and by fertilizer. With the same fucking 55 gallon drum. So yeah, that's true. They redo, they redo this shit again and say it's like Timothy McVeigh and the other guy has pants again. I raise the question again. How in the fuck did Lee Hart Oswald get on the bus that fast? He watched the movies, got off the bus, and went one time and was in the house by the time they got there. Yeah. How? That hey. shit don't make sense. If you see a person, like I said, I, we done been in a shootout where well, people are shooting, and I've seen niggas run from their house where they shit is at. To try to get away, to get away from this shit. shit. You mean to you tell me a person that's a so called so mental, I don't give a fuck don't what don't the race is, so called mental, got an by the ATL, it's a goddamn camera. Who do all this shit? Hey, hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen, Clovertech said that boy had over 5K ripped the stuff on him. Where you get that money from? Everybody know that's a cartel town. That's a cartel town. But, but how did you go pull that off? But how did you pull that off without nobody knocking you off knowing that you're going to have to with money? Look, Yo. we, we, we now know what our, what our people's affiliation is in our family. They're not going to put that shit on the block that you grew up on. They're not going to put that shit on the block I grew up on. They damn sure not going to pull it up on the block me and, well, me and Saint from. You see what I'm saying? Make it make yeah. sense, man. You got to make that shit make sense. They, they say the start. Don't, don't they just throw no shit. I don't know. Look, if you slide a bunch of shit to me on the plate across the table and it's all uh, everywhere, I'm gonna slide that shit back. I don't want that. Man, That's they what say what uh, doing. Man. They say what started it. He he got pissed off at his grandma because she wouldn't pay his phone bill. The man echo. I think it's twelve. Cause it stopped when twelve got out. This is his. But but yeah, I'm gonna say this too. I'm gonna say this too. I would be power. If a person got an AR and I got an equal an AR, hey, look, that's mutual that's assured destruction. You know what I'm saying? But you're trying to take guns from everybody else. But how did he buy the gun? If he a felon, how did he pay eighteen hundred dollars for the gun? See, like yeah. you said, he ain't asking the questions. How y'all know he paid eighteen hundred dollars for the gun? How y'all know? Bro, they showed they, what, they, showed. they showed everything on. They showed the paperwork where he per purchased it. Purchased it. How he purchased it? He a felon. He a felon. So, so how did Nick uh, take didn't get him? It probably been a they private gave, owner. They, they gave that man. They did. They, they gave that man that gun. That shit is falsified. Yeah, yeah. the fucking pony show. Because they got too much information. This shit don't make sense. They gave yeah. that to the bogus ass. Bogus. Come, come on, Fat Lane. Fat Lane. We done seen murder. We done seen everything. Oh, yeah. Did, did, shoot did, out we too. ever seen the thing happen that fast? Come uh -uh. on now, brother. Uh -uh. Come on. <laughs> hey, yeah. when they called Jack, you remember when they called Jack me for the J30? We, yeah. We, we, we still don't know who did that. Yeah. Don't try to forget. No man, come on, man. Come on, man. Bullshit. Bullshit. I call. I call. Listen, I'm gonna tell you like this here. They killed Fred Hammond. They fucked over the Black Panther. So if they fucked over them, and then they they don't look how they brought down some of these clan units and skinheads. So you don't think that they capable of putting a gun in a 
a felon in and tell him to go shoot the school or we're going to kill your family? Yeah. Dang, I wish man. I should have. I should have. I should have screenshot that stuff, man. Man, but, I wish you the screenshot yeah, because it was they said, if I was at home, if I was at home, I'd have had my research. I'd have been ready. Yeah, yeah they said they said a lot of stuff. This, man, this, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm, listening, listening, uh, I'm listening, uh, I'm listening, I'm fat man. man. One thing yeah. you gotta know, gotta man. Know, man. I don't know if you I heard me. Heard me. Media stands for media, 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 yeah, right, right, yes, sir. Okay, okay. so, so, uh, what's the what's the guy? What's the I can't think, I his, think his name that was a homosexual. Uh, they led the CIA, they, they did the CIA. Come on. I know you talking about that. Jagger Hoover, Jagger Hoover, he led the FBI, Jagger Hoover, right? So, Hoover, man. Just think about all the power that he used. Mm -hmm. Think about all the tactics that he used against just the nation, just Malcolm and, yeah. and his teacher. Right. You see what I'm saying? Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do me a favor. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. Mute. Mute your, uh, mute, your mute your mic. Mute your mic. Bellin, mute your mic. All right. Uh, Saint, mute your mic. Hello. Okay. So it ain't me. It ain't. It, okay, I'm gonna mute my mic. Yo, 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 yo. I'm right here. Mute your mic, uh, Saint. Uh, Fat Land. Yo, what's up? I'm, I hear y'all loud and clear. Now, every, uh, everybody, uh, mute your mic. 12, mute your mic again. 12. 12. 12, mute your mic. Mute your mic. It's 12, Stan. You muted it? It's 12. Yes, 12, roll. Yep, it's 12. It's 12, Mike. It's 12 rolling. It's, it's this mic. Because everybody texting me saying that the uh, feedback is bad. You know why? All of a sudden, it's happening when we start having a real conversation. So that it'll be messed up on my feedback, on my playback, on my stream, y'all. Boy, I swear to God, these people play games. Hey, y'all. Peace. Prosperity. Y'all have a good night. All right, fat lad. Appreciate you for tapping in, brother. Hey, y'all take care. Yo. All righty, homie. Yeah, come on in, uh, 12. Boy, I swear, do y'all see that chat? Everybody in chat, everybody just came in chat. Shout out to you, man. Uh, I'm rolling, so I can't really be answering the chat like I normally would be. But, man, I see they playing with my mic. Mm. It's like when you're having a real conversation that can lead to something, they help no. somebody or something, <laughs> they start playing with us. 12, no, man. Uh, text say 12 got on phones. How can it be him? <laughs> yeah. huh? Wait a minute, what Clover Tech said what? 12 got on phones. How can it be him? He got on phones. Oh, earphones. Yeah, what? yeah, I don't think I think it's just exactly what Bug said. And if we could see that, we could be sitting at a computer and look at the views and they'll drop off. Hey, I can look at the views. Hey, look, I'm, I'm looking at gone. my views now. The comments, yeah, we already know what it is. We know what it is, but guess what? We still gonna have this conversation as yeah. long people in the chat and they won't have it. Because at the yeah. end of the day. We got to take responsibility for us, for us yeah. as men, and like Clover Tech said, because there's a lot of stuff Clover Tech was saying that I want to address, but y'all boys was going so hard, I ain't want to just interrupt you, but um, yeah. it's a lot of stuff we got to take responsibility for us, and it ain't a black or white thing, it's a class thing. We don't yeah. have it, they got it, and they don't want to lose it because they know they time up. Exactly. They, they, over, time, over back they time up. They time is up. They time they is time up. up. And you said it. You said it, 12. Uh-uh. You like people don't get what you be trying to say, but I get it. You use yeah. an unorthodox way to get your point across, but I get yeah. it. I don't understand exactly what you were saying. You said it's it's man, it's it's it's, 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 it's all one way, bro. Or the upper echelon people. Yeah, it's one way. Bro, it's, right. It's only one way, big bro. Just look, man. If the apartment is called, let's say the apartment is called. King Arthur's Court. 
Nigga ain't going nowhere to Joffy Joe for land to go kill nobody. He gonna kill right and King Arthur score. What are the chances of him getting into it with somebody from another apartment versus the apartments he stay in, live in, spend the most time in? It's just it's just logical common sense. It's not nothing hard. We're just asking people to think. Hey man, if you're on Downward Street, and they I don't, don't want us to think about it. Think. Life, yeah. And hey, wait, wait, street, Clover. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Clover, you remember we yeah. just had this conversation about YouTube? They uh, they don't want people. And I had this conversation with barbecue. They don't want you. Man, about two hundred comment, two hundred mm-hmm. people in the chat. Man, shout out to y'all, man. Go ahead, y'all. The stuff that fit their narrative of stupidity get the most views because when you try to tell somebody something good, they 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 ain't gonna promote that. Nah. They're not gonna promote that. Yeah. Look, bug, bug, look. Look, just this, this point, I'm let you and Cobra talk unless Cobra got some questions or something for me. We talking about something real, something authentic, right? Something that truth don't need to right. be. Look, that's crazy. I'm just passing Martin Luther King Jr. Drive over here where I'm at, man. Not in the hood, though. That's God. Right. But anyway, look, so they don't want us to talk about real stuff and real solutions about real issues. But right. yet it's still... They'll still have Ermius killing still on the internet. I can still type it in. My children still can yep. type it in. My grandchildren still gonna be able to type it in and see that man get assassinated like that. That's not supposed to be on YouTube, man. What's wrong with you? Nobody's supposed to be able to see no shit like that. You know how traumatizing that shit is? I don't give a damn if we are from the hood and where it's gang infested. Each killing is, is is tragic, man. It's traumatizing. It's PTSD. We've been having PTSD before they even start having war. Mm-hmm. We've been at it. Yup. You see what I'm saying? But again, they don't want to talk about that. They don't want to have them conversations. But the minute somebody get killed or somebody got 40, 50 people, so, that's why, why you, how do you plaster that all over all it happened to you, Vladi, Texas. Okay? You Vladi news stations, the main stations are going to get it first. How do you, Vladi, got it on its station and CNN got it on this station at the same time? How? That doesn't make sense. Who is y'all plug? Because y'all got a damn good one. Y'all covering the same shit. <laughs> well, Vladi say... got it at first. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I'm sorry, y'all. That fool said, who is y'all plug like they hitting that dope? <laughs> <laughs> they hitting that information well, dope. <laughs> first of all, first of I'm all, sorry. they don't want to fix a problem. No, nope. they don't. Because if they fix a problem, it then fuck with they, ain't got nothing, they ain't got nothing they can use to get reelected with. So nobody wants to fix a problem. That's what majority of their votes come from. Yeah, they don't want to fix a problem. They want everybody scared. They want everybody fighting because they can use all that to get votes. They don't want to fix nothing. You know, they don't. They don't. They don't accomplish anything by by fixing nothing. No, they don't. They, and they keep they perpetuate the BS by listen. That's why I just said perpetuate. They cause it. You know what I mean? It, it, it cause it. The the Republicans. This whole clubs, thing. That's what I was talking about. I think before you jumped in, twelve was yeah. This whole thing, black. It, it, it you tell me, you tell me this makes it just makes any sense. Three in a row, black man shoots up a subway, white man shoots up a grocery store, Mexican mess- man shoots up a school. That shit uh, don't make no sense, uh, man. Uh, something, something's up. It, it's, there's some copycat going on. There's something, and that speaks to what you're talking about with the media. Something Good like this happens. Thing. And national media is on it within 30 seconds of it happening, you know. And it's like when you do that, and you and you th- that's what everybody out there in the chat, and that's fine talking about it. We're talking about it here, but I mean, everybody knows down to how much well, what what guns were used, how much ammo he had, what kind of body armor he had, how long he was there, what kind of underwear he was wearing, what type, type of kicks he had on. They, why do we need to know all that? Some, yep, some you just fool said that. went in and shot up a school. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. 
That's all yeah. you need to put about there, and you don't need to talk about it for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Because it's making if you're money. Gonna talk, if you're going to talk about anything, let's talk about talk the about people solutions. that died. Yeah, yep. the solutions. But that's what I'm let's, saying. Like, let's talk about all all of the all of the families that are affected. Right. Let's talk about all that, and then right. let's propose some actual solutions. But here's the thing: they don't want to hear no solutions. So they nope. cornered they cornered Marco Rubio earlier, and I ain't no big fan of Marco Rubio, so don't think I am. But they cornered <laughs> him earlier, and they said, "Well, what do you think we should do about all this?" And he said, "Well, I think I've got a bill that I'm going to propose ah, that we that bill. we increase that we increase some security at the schools." And they immediately said, "Well, what do you think about banning the AR-15?" Oh, they completely glossed over, like they don't even want to talk about. Let's not even talk about something that might work, right? Increasing security yeah. at the schools. Let's not even talk about it. We don't even want to talk about that. Why? Why do they not want to talk about that? Because it might actually work. That's why yep. they don't want to talk about it. Because again, they don't want to solve the problem. Look, if it's if I look at it like this, they put more security in school, right? That's gonna give the connotation to the kids and do something to the kids mental, right? But for them. And they, and they trickery and they sorcery, right? They gonna say one of the security guards, he, he was mental, he lost it. But y'all hired him to be in there to protect the children. I don't, I don't get it. It's needed because even if they do play that game, he will be knocked off before he knock off as many as they've been doing. Well, the the way I read what. Because I, I went and followed up on it a little bit. The way I read the kind of the bill he was proposing was that he just he, he just gives it up to the state. It's not like the feds are going to dictate and say, hey, you know, it's required now. You have X number of officers. It's just like, no, hey, let the, state have it. Can, right. the states can decide what they want to do. If they want to require there's officers, if they the state wants to hire officers, if they want to make sure, you know, whatever, right? If the state wants to add extra funding for it, whatever it might be. You know, they can go and do that. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo. Oh, okay. Are they going to put the pressure on us? Yeah. Look, I don't, you know what, what how I look at it and what, before I, I want to be a governor and all this old crazy shit, the wildest dreams I had, when I start figuring out the different shits that go on behind closed doors, the fraternities, uh -huh. the sororities, all this shit, the prosecutor, no, the DA, all this old kind of shit. Listen, man, that whole world is niggas think the streets is something. Well, That's a different animal, right? Yeah. Politics, but yeah. Their politics. It's, politics it's, 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 yeah, it's yeah, it's no way in hell. You gonna ban an AR. What you gonna do with your military? What you gonna get him? Oh no, it ain't banned for them, it's just banned for you. I well, know, but see, the police your, can have it, on, but you can't have it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this is that's my whole point, big bro. So you're gonna ban the AR from being bought as a civilian, okay? So tell me why these young kings that look like me, that's 14, 15, 16, where the fuck they get the switches from? They ain't went in no store and got them, right? Right? Man, they so, they flooded yeah. to get over switches. Martial right. law. They all this is to create martial law because right. you got blacks shooting their whites, whites shooting their blacks, Hispanics shooting their kids. Yeah. Man, it's the it's the it's the it's the hit that nerve to make somebody flash out and do like they did back in in uh 11 when yeah. people just started shooting all the Muslims and shit. They yeah. trying to trigger that same shit. People see what y'all doing, but ain't the nobody people, gonna fall for this shit. The, the ain't nobody gonna fall for this shit. Because what people need to start doing is holding these goddamn politicians accountable. You yeah. know what I'm saying? See, they got mad when them people went to January the 6th. And they call that an insurrection because people came to ask them. Now, if them stupid motherfuckers wouldn't have been breaking windows and shit, which I think they put agent provocateurs in there to do dumb shit, and then herd mentality went into play. Only, only person only person, only person that really committed any crime other than trespassing was the chick that shot the the... the Security officer that shot the person for doing nothing. Yeah, but that's yeah. this. I had I got the pictures, man, of pallets of bricks being laid and put down 
on our oh, streets in downtown. Dallas. I got video. We talking about for the riots and stuff before the, yeah. before the uh, riots. Yeah. Before the protests come. Yeah. Dude, I've seen I've seen so many videos of trucks coming through before. Yeah, the man. You know Same. what though? So so the the biggest <sighs> town in my county here, right? Biggest town in my county mm-hmm. here is about fifteen thousand people, so so not big, yeah, I right? That, but folks. but there was a there was a, a going to be a protest, right? When all that was going on, what was that? Summer before last or whatever last summer. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's going to be a big mm-hmm. protest, right? So uh, there was there was trucks that come through and dropped pallets of bricks off. Let me tell you something. They didn't no more get them dropped off to the city. Come pick them up loaded them up, hauled them off. And when they did their protest, there was the county, talking about the sheriff's office, had snipers mm-hmm. on the roofs, man. And yeah, you know see? what? You know what? There wasn't a window broken. There wasn't <laughs> no fighting going on. No. It was a, it was a peaceful protest. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because right. the, when, when, see, and that's the thing. Information is so important that it's deadly. When it get out to the people, it's supposed to get out to the people. But most people most people still are kind of wishy-washy with it, but people are starting to catch on to the tactics. Like I said, man, first of all, you can't possibly know that much information that fast. Y'all can't even solve the murder by Pookie off in the hood in 48 right. hours. So how do y'all know this much information? Why does all the people have to be mental? Why does it always have to be an AR-15 or a, it's always got to be some type of gun? That's not the only way you can kill people. Okay, you can blow people up. You can right. run them over like like right. they did in Charlotte. It's and all the, type of ways to knock somebody block off. But see, this is the same thing that I said again, big bro. I just follow and I just use what they give me because the truth don't need nothing to stand on but itself. Mm-hmm. Okay, Ramsey Yusef, he used a box truck. He used 55 gallon drum. He didn't have as many. Yeah. Right? Use fertilizer. Ooh, we can hear your uh something going on. Wind or something. But my head, my headset flipped out, my bad. Go ahead. So they use the 55 gallon drum fertilizer. You can buy all that shit mm-hmm. every day. Hey, right? Hey. The the ATF killed a whole lot of people just with uh, Oh, thank you! Ruby Red! Wake just up with the fire. Yeah, just with a fire, man. Didn't and Ruby Ridge, sure. wake up, wait, 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 wait. Let's how they gun down uh the old man in his damn truck on Facebook Live up there in Wisconsin. When he was driving, they just shot his damn uh truck up and killed that boy because he was come uh they was talking about that pipeline shit. They didn't want that pipeline coming through the land or uh, the free grades and shit. Come on, man, the government yeah. killed more people than anybody, man. Mm-hmm. Look, but ain't no one wrong about that. Mm-hmm. Oh, go ahead, look, I'm sorry, yeah. I digress. Uh, <laughs> I got so, animated. My, my bad. I'm passionate. Nah, you you good. I'm passionate too. So, box truck, fertilizer, fifty five gallon drums. That you know when you looking for serial shit or serial murders, rapists, they got certain shit they keep doing. Yeah, they make right. patterns, right? right. Oh, it's yeah. a pattern. It's a, so, Ramsey, you you mean to tell me this quote unquote Muslim Islamic? Muslim did this first. Then the second time, you got two hillbilly. And a white, supposed to be white supremacists. White, white, supposed to be white supremacists. Allegedly. Allegedly. Don't go do the same shit Ramsey Yusuf did, but with more. Okay, so how did y'all figure out more was needed? Right? All that man ain't no way in hell. Listen, if we go start buying fertilizers, uh, if you and your crew, bro, Bug Nation, go start buying fertilizers, if Gun Bro start going buying fertilizers, Clover Tech start buying fertilizer, we go down to my land and we start blowing up a bunch of shit, and these goddamn neighbors get to talking and saying shit. Oh, we smell something, they doing something over there. You know how fast CIA, the FBI, ATF gonna be down now. Who said so, they didn't know what was going on? Because think about it, y'all keep forgetting. They had, they, they, had point. they had plants. They had plants in the Panthers. They had plants. They had plants in the Klan. They had plants in anything. The white That's national movement. That you making my point, bro. Please, you making exactly my point again. Because, like I said, 
Y'all know all this information, this fast, but y'all can't figure out who killed Lil Pookie in 48 hours. The show done went well, out. Well, look at, look at, what was that? I don't even remember, four or five years ago now, Parkland, right? Yo, so, Parkland, yo. So that kid, so that kid had already been on the FBI's radar for like six months. For like six months. And then, isn't it, isn't it strange that not only he had been on the, on the FBI's radar for six months, but when he shows up to shoot the place up, the only uh, police officer, officer, runs. officer there runs, Green. And, and, Green when, like a and, when, and when the county shows up, they just stand around their cars. Right. But see, look, like, this, this, what, this is what, this is why I about? say, yeah, it tells you exactly what you want to know, Chloe. Just uh, like I said mm -hmm. early, I said something earlier, right? House, the Capitol. These people went in and went in through one way right mm -hmm. you cannot if you're gonna do something to be slick and be conniving and evil you can't be fucking up out here you cannot nope. put this shit on cnn and these people running forward but the goddamn security guard running backwards with a gun and a baton in his hand this footage should be this gun this the security guard running this way the people chasing him it shouldn't be the people running and he's going backwards like y'all rewinding him. Something is wrong. Hey, Bug, is Tank in the back? Uh, you know what? Thank you. Because I don't see nothing. I don't, thank you, man. I appreciate I, you because I'm rolling, man. I'm watching this black road. Yeah, I know. You know I what I'm I, yeah, yeah, I appreciate you. I think I got him. Here you go. In the stream now. There you go, Tank. Sorry about that, Tank. Man. Nah, you straight. You straight. But Yeah, man. I'm rolling. So, y'all, I, I ain't even reading the chat. Hey, look. I got another white boy with me. Sort of. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, now yeah, he's yeah. not white. He's not black. He's a mulatto. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not, Yo, no. we got a diverse panel up here. We got OG Tank. We got Twelve with Gage, aka King Twelve, and we got Saint the Sleepiest, aka Saint the Ritters of Bug Nation, and we got our boy Clover Tech of Bug Nation. Yeah, but see, so it's, it's it no. just it just makes sense. Like I said, trees have trees around them when you commit the crime of nature of cutting that tree down you cutting that tree's life off that tree nine times out of ten is going to fall on another tree mm -hmm. a hawaiian is not going to go kill a taiwanese just doesn't work like that i'm not going to get in my car clover tech wait what city you from clover tech yeah, man. Uh, BFE Texas, right? Yeah, might as well. Uh, you know Jacksonville. You know Jacksonville, Texas. Oh yeah, I know yeah, what they say. The fucking okay. country. Yeah, yeah I, ain't, I ain't nowhere. I ain't nowhere close to there, but that we'll say there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting. I'm not getting in Jack. I'm not getting in my truck or car or any of my partners or my brother's vehicle to go and ride to Jacksonville and commit a crime. I'm just not doing that. Well, first of all, you don't know the landscape. You don't know where all everything yes, is at. You, you don't know. To be a criminal, you got to have some type nothing. of intellect. Right. You don't Majority know. Majority of the intellect. You don't know who going to respond if you do what. Because it might be a city that everybody come outside with shotguns on your ass. And everybody. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. When, when, look, when a neighbor's house get broke into and they hear shots fired off, what do the other neighbors go do? They ain't call 911, but they coming outside with their shit, too. All right. I got what the quick. fuck they doing over there on Texas, y'all? They over there on Clover. What what they say? Oh shit! Oh shit! What the fuck Clover got going on over there? Hey Bob, call Johnny. Johnny. Yeah, I, got I got a lot. I got a lot of questions about the whole incident. Like some of the some of the 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 narrative just doesn't make any sense, right? It's, okay. too, it's too early. It's too early on all that. Honestly, right now, anyway. <laughs> It is, it is too early, but there's just it some basic make, questions that... Oh, yeah. A lot of that, questions. That, that doesn't make sense. Like, it don't. I, basic questions, Tank. The basics. That's what I'm... I ain't I've, been, I've, been a parent, I've been a parent in Texas. I never lived nowhere else in Texas, right? Uh, yeah. I was born in Parkland, right? Me raised too. in the cliff. Hey, what's, what's right? up, Parkland? <laughs> yeah. Parkland yeah. Too. Raised in the cliff and uh, in Southeast Austin. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never been right. nowhere else. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I've been a my oldest is twenty eight. I don't been a parent for twenty five plus years. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I've been not only have I been a student in Texas, but I've been a parent as well. So I know both aspects. Right. 
out of inner city Austin, inner city Dallas. Right. You know what I'm saying? My, my son went to Skyline for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Like, yeah. He a writer. Okay. Yeah. Then, then we moved to Carrollton Farmers Branch. Now, now I'm out here in Keller. My, yeah. I, I got, I got a first grader right now in Keller ISD yeah. and a, and a uh, high schooler in the uh, Birdville ISD. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I know. Where no, I, 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 I stratify like hood versus sub right. suburbs or whatnot, right? right? You know, yeah. none of them schools can I just walk the fuck up in? Thank you, thank you, sad boy. I was just in the exit. Say it, brother. None of them. And I have legitimate None reasons to go to these schools over the last 25 years for my kids. And I can't Say. just walk in. How the fuck this motherfucker just walk up in the school? Like, I don't understand. I've even That's I've even taught kids, and mentored up in schools in South Dallas. Say. South Dallas on 2nd Street. You can't That's walk in that motherfucker. It's Kyle Front. I don't Look. get it. Like, I don't. So. Get, somebody got to explain this shit to me. So okay, so Uvalde, Uvalde is uh, about sixteen thousand or so population. It is. Right? It is. So, Martell so County, the city I was talking about, the largest city we got in this county, is about that. Right. I'm going to say probably Roughly seventeen or eighteen, maybe a little bit bigger. Right. Okay, and I agree with you. The schools at in that city ain't no way, ain't no way that happens. Yeah, now, no. now. I do I, know I where, my, where my school, kids, like, that's where what, my kids went to school, mm -hmm. and where my grandbabies go to school is a town of about eight thousand people, and it, it's possible. It's possible. It's that they ain't gonna do that it's, shit now. It's that well, back. Dallas ISD schools are pretty open, but Dallas ISD got their own uh, police Ooh. department, Look. so you know they got their own police. Yeah. You're not walking in Kimball. You're not walking in Sock. You're not walking in any of them schools unabated. I, I went to yeah. hey, wait, wait, wait. Let me say this to y'all. Cause I, 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 I went. I was in. Tank, I was. Hey, hey, look. I'm gonna say this here. Tank Saint and oh, uh, Tank Saint and Twelve. Y'all know this. The younger the students, the harder it is to get in the, in the school. You exactly. got to have a cue card to pick yeah. up your own goddamn child. If you your in the car, car and they yeah. give you a color code and you don't got that yeah. color code, you're not getting your baby. Yep. Even if they know you. Even if they know you. If you don't got your card. I went I went to pick up my young my first grader today and they were still looking at me. We got one more day of school. He been Stop in this school. He he never been in any other school but this school. They know me. And they still look at me. Yeah, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's all I want to say, bro. And I know some of these schools, it, it, like I said, your valley, I don't care what nobody say. People don't want to talk about it. That's cartel country, man. So you ain't doing yeah, that's what nobody's talking about. No, so, so, here, so, so one thing that they, they said, but they never really talked about. Don't do that. And, and then you found it. You're and, not going to do that, Diane, and, and mess I, with and these I, people money. And, and I realized something, because when I was watching the footage, when the shit was popping off, right? Because I, I was immediately watching the footage, because this shit was all over WFFA, whatever, like live stream. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the tactical team that responded, <laughs> the SWAT team that responded was San Antonio PD. Uvalde is 85, 90 miles from San Antonio. So that means you got to get all your gear. You got to get in the truck. You got to roll How out there. That's an hour and a half at best. Why? Thank you. Why? But what, one, thing, one thing that they said, and folks don't realize, the biggest law enforcement agency in Uvalde is CPB. Thank you. There were, there were, 20, there were 20 plus CPB agents that responded to the scene immediately. This, now, this, ask yourself, what is a federal agency doing responding to a responding. local school issue? Because and they, they, they make it. And they don't. They there was two officers that 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 were that were that were shot in the process, right? Border Patrol. One, one yeah. I believe was Uvalde PD, and the other one is CPB. Yeah. Oh man, that this, doesn't stand out to nobody. Like that's uh, weird, bro. But that's because people don't look at. Look, I'm gonna tell you the first part. Like a I, lot of people don't know same, the We just had the same type of shit happen up in so, Mansfield. So, so I can't people. speak. I can't speak to the border, right? But what I well, what I can say, being a town similar size and having you know grown up there is that if if something like that that magnitude was to go down right at one of those schools in that in that in that town 
I can tell you right now that any law enforcement Everybody. in in a general area is going to go. Gonna respond, yeah. It's going to go. Doesn't because matter if it's county. It doesn't matter responding. if it's one town over. Doesn't matter yeah. if it's this uh, uh, Texas trooper driving through. Whatever, yeah, right? Respond. They're going. Right, there, there, they're there going may not go, be nothing so. to it, but I'm saying just just that. What, what, the point I'm making why, why, is that why, no, that, it needs to be looked at. No, I I, I guarantee you. Yeah, here's, so, here's so some part thing. of the narrative is not adding up because CPB just by the nature of what they do on a daily basis are tactical than a motherfucker. So yeah, they so got drones. Another, they got attack like their regular officers thing. are tactical they, officers. Yeah. Here's another thing. I right? was just so say. being being where that's at, right? We can we can safely assume that that's a blue district, right? And I don't want to make this a Republican uh-huh. Democrat thing, except for to sort of to get Man, my, try to get talk, my point across. Because yeah, both of them speech, suck. Bro. I don't care if you're Republican right. or Democrat, you suck. They both evils. Anyway, right. but we know that the Democrat lean more to a no guns. You know, they think yeah, a sign and point. whatever is going to work, right? So anyway, yeah, that that's where I'm good. going with this. Leans yeah. heavily Democrat, so you're going to assume that the city council. The school board, all that mess, probably lean heavy Democrat, right? So I got to wonder, right. because they have the option. There's two paths of security that the school can take in Texas. They've got the Marshall Plan that's available, and then they've got the Guardian Plan. And I wonder if mm-hmm. if that school district had either one of those plans in place. And I'm willing to bet with what happened, the answer is no. But I hadn't heard anybody talk about that. I hadn't heard anybody talk about, hey, well, in Texas, your school can have one of these two security plans. Which one was it? I've heard nobody ask that question. And I think it's because they're going to say they didn't have one, which sucks. Honestly, I'm going to call it now just just on the timeline of shit because – I don't necessarily no. think the school was his, was like in his plan in his dossier to do. When you look at his vehicle, like it wrecked out and both axles was broken. To me, that was some kind of pit maneuver or something like that. I believe whatever he did earlier with his grandmother, they was already on him, and they was chasing him and spun him out or something. And he happened to get away from that. And he ran to the school. He got it. He ran to the school. Right, you, and they don't want to fucking say that because they know that's on them. If that's what fucking happened, they allowed that it, shit to happen. And it also sounds like Tank. Now that you're saying that, right? We know he was in that school for a long time. Yeah. It sounds like a hostage situation. So I agree with you. It right. sounds like they were on him. He run into uh, school and took hostages. And when he seen it was going south, right? Or maybe when the border agents and those guys busted in, because there's some tactics to be used, right? The right. whole idea. Right of responding to an active shooter from a law enforcement standpoint. This was talking, we, we, we talked about this with Diesel the other night, matter of fact. But uh, the whole idea of uh, an active shooter and the response to that is completely different from a hostage situation. And if you run into that like an active shooter and it's a hostage situation, what are they going to do? Right. They're going to start taking out hostages. And, right? and I heard the head of DPS who was speaking in the, in, the, in the press conference said he had a vest, but he had no plates. No oh, man, probably Come an airsoft. Could have been an airsoft vest type thing, man, or something. But you got officers that got Amazon. vest. I mean, the, the no. basic officer got a fucking vest on, or right, uh, level three at uh, least. Right, it's something. You know what I'm saying? But like look, this, this, this is what I'm. Oh, saying. were you talking about the officer didn't have a didn't have plates? No, no, the the, the, the shooter dude, the shooter oh. dude. Like yeah. he had a vest, you, but he you didn't have no something. he didn't have no plates. That's yeah. that's what DPD. That's what DPS said. That's the head weird. of TPS Tank, came out and you, said that shit. Tank, you brought up something that that I almost that's what, these I, little things ain't adding up to me. I, I like, got I got a uh, sister because before state. before if I'm an officer before I let you shoot 19 kids, you gonna have to shoot me. Right, but I'm Rambo that, up that, in that bitch. That's like, common sense. But right. look, so and man, hey, what? But what? Wait, wait I, 12, I 12, Let me say this. Gag Gag just made a point. He said when something like that happened near school, they're supposed to lock the school down. Yeah, all the schools right. around gonna be locked down, right? Right. But this is what I'm saying, bro, uh, right? This oh, yeah, is what I'm you, saying. So, okay, you it. We know it's this is cartel country, backyard. Mm-hmm. Okay. The shit in Mansville, I have ties to because I know the people and I know what happened. Right. 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 Y'all answer me this. Did y'all see that shit on CNN? Nope. Yeah. I did. Actually, I did. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, but it, it was it was a segment. So, it was a segment. So, it, no, it, it was na- it was national news. It was national news. So, no, but what? you're not listening to what I'm saying. It was a segment. They brushed yeah, over. It it. They didn't yeah, drill on that shit no like they're doing it now. Yeah. So that that tell you all that you need to know. So, right. It lasts a day. A day see, see, me, I'd be willing to bet you that this blows over in the next couple of days pretty quick. With all yeah. the pictures, with all the pictures coming out of this dude wearing a dress and posing and stuff, I bet you, I bet you, it, it blows over. It don't, it don't meet because they don't want to, they don't want to tick off the gay community and all that kind of stuff. Oh, oh, I don't yeah, know. I mean, oh. they yeah, don't. But, that but nineteen kids, like that's a, that's a lot of, like I don't Man, think that's just I'm, gonna I'm blow a, over. I'm, I'm gonna be the first to say, right? Like I, like I told my brothers when we first got on here. Say man, when the stuff happened with the dude downtown, I had to, mm. I had to flyer, screenshot, send my other phone about them hiring for crisis actors. Yeah. Right? Mm. If and extras. Right. I showed it to Bug now when yep. we first met long time ago. Right. Yep. If you think I'm lying, go watch Dick Gregory. Like I said. Go watch Dick Gregory. He's going to tell you what's going on with that kind of situation. Right. I'm going to let people go do their own research. John Henry Clark is another person. Bobby Hammond is a whole other person. It's telling you what's going on. William Cooper. If, you think that that, if, you, if we still thinking that that shit is real, then we already lost still. Right. They supposed to got them people that supposed to got shot up in this grocery store. I got pictures, pictures and footage of them people laying on the ground playing dead with no blood. Right. Like they see do. what I'm saying? Right. But but this ain't it, this ain't nothing new because any of us from 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 the triple D, we we all done been up to that. Right. Point. We all right. done seen the supposed shot that this man done made. Listen, whatnot. you know what I'm saying? Listen, like, Tank, we, we we all know that. Like, Tank, that's you just, we just talked Tank, about that, Tank. Tank, you from Oak Cliff, Tank. You I'm know. from Bunton in the South. Listen, I have seen some of my homies run from their own homes where their guns are at when bullets get to flying. Huh. Yeah. You mean to tell me every time more than one or two or three, four, five, six, 15, 20 people start getting shot, it's a goddamn camera somewhere right getting all the goddamn footage, the good footage. Except, and in less than 30 except minutes, for it. Except for they the uh, subway, like Clover no, said, the he, no, he the camera was off in the subway. Right, right. All the cameras off. were off. Right. All yeah. the cameras. Okay. We so, have you ever heard any of all yeah. the cameras being off in the subway? Man, in I, that part. Say, man. Apparently, there was another subway camera off at now door look. train station, man. All that shit worked. Yeah. See. This go go, go to City okay. Place to see if Monday they ain't got cameras up Saint there. Shit on my mama. Market <laughs> Bird Station. Market Bird Station. Right. See what happened to your right. ass. Clo- Clover Tech. And what's the, what's Clover what's the, what's the red line got, that go, got, to, go, go down I, I, to the VA? You know all them yeah, cameras were. The red and orange. My homeboy yeah, went to jail line. behind them cameras. Yeah, the blue, the blue line. line. Yeah, the, Look, the red got, line. Take, yeah, that's right. I just the red line to West Portland. The question that I asked him was, what was Monday? What's Monday? Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Coming up for last Monday. Yep. Yeah. Coming up. It's this coming Monday. So what the fuck yeah. is Memorial Day about? The dead. Morning. The dead. Okay? Mm-hmm. It it doesn't make sense, man. Like this shit just doesn't make sense. San Antonio ain't an hour away. Right. You can't tell me that you don't have no SWAT team that's at least 30 minutes away? You gonna tell me it's an hour away? That's the same shit y'all tell us in the hood. It's taking an ambulance. Yeah, that's right down here down the street. I can see you. Why the fuck it took you 45 minutes to get here? Right. It's the same shit. It's the same tactics. Nothing has changed. Right. These people keep doing the same shit. I don't give them no excuses. I don't have a gray area with them. I call a spade a spade. You foul, you foul. I'm looking at the foul shit. You baldy. All them motherfucking media people ain't sent that shit to CNN and got it looped up real fast. This ain't no fucking music song that you can loop up and get it and play through Pro Tools that quick. This ain't that ain't how this shit go. 
when you're doing journalism, you got to do your research and all this kind of shit. But in less than 10, 15 minutes, and I, and I think Clovertack, I think Clovertack hit on it. Now I'm gonna say this shit now, right? It's, it's not really that far out, like so. It's not like I'm being like Nostradamus or some shit. But I think he's right. I think it was a fucking hostage situation, and I think CPB was the actual tactical response. I think they screwed yeah. it up, oh, yeah. and they fucked it up. And we'll never know if that's it was, if it. If, and, and and they don't it. want that. They don't want that that heat because they, they know then heat. at that point it. Is they gonna have to answer? People asking fucking Biden because yeah. he they boss. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they and they don't want that shit. Because yeah, you got I'm elections not. coming up and shit like that. In fact, yeah. the same day was a fucking by the election way, day. By the way, did anybody know notice that today uh, there was Senate hearings on the new head of the ATF? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Remember what, See, I, that was remember, a- what I, remember what I said earlier about... They'll put something out there to make you get distracted. When so they something, can goes, when something right. goes down, you better be looking at what's going on behind the curtain. And, yeah, and who, I said you know, who, that. I said and, said and the last time they tried to spin somebody up for the ATF, who was the main person in their ass that really th- threw a wrench in their plan? Ted Trump. fucking Cruz. Ted Cruz. Ted, Ted Cruz. Cruz too. Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. So yeah, now when you do it, you do some shit the day before in his state that occupy him because now he got to, you know what I'm saying, come back here yeah. and do whatever, and then, you know, do yeah. his politics and he, shit. And he can't be there to do that. Ass. Yeah. Yeah. They rolled his ass. But that's why I say. That political shit is a dirty game, man. Mm-hmm. That's a dirty game. Even that's why, that, and I'm not that's saying, why I made that I'm comment. Not, like, we don't need to play politics, John, man. And you don't John, even have to make the stretch. Well, you don't even have to make the stretch that they that they set it up to do that, right? You don't yeah, even have to make right. that stretch. Nope. No. They're putting all the focus no. on it so they can do that, right? Right. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course. Y'all don't know something is going on, something is wrong. That's why I say, man. Hey, what is going on? Like, mm-hmm. all these, listen, ain't nobody doing no monkey see my Just because my homie shot somebody, I ain't going to go shoot nobody, man. Right. No, nah, I ain't doing no monkey see, monkey see shit. Monkey see, monkey do. No, yeah. I'm not going to jail and getting a life sentence behind some crash out dummy shit. No, well, man. Yeah, and and that's, why, that's why that's why I be telling that. folks, like, I'm not an idiot, but no. I'm not the smartest motherfucker in the room either. Like I'm, no, but fucking I, DIS, I, I, I'm a DISP fucking product, my nigga. But they keep like, on. If I can see that shit, nigga, anybody yeah, should be able to see some shit. See from <laughs> right. And they they keep on with this race war thing, though, right? And, yeah. and these three, and they push the narrative. All, these all right. fit that narrative, right? Right. That shit right. Black man happening. shoots up a subway. Oh, black men are dangerous. So a crazy white dude goes and shoots up some black people. And they go, white oh, supremacy. look, white supremacy. White supremacy. Watch yep. out, black people, the white supremacists. And then now, like, they got a Mexican that shot up some kids. And it's yeah. like. Oh, no, nah, like, the minorities you, are going crazy. Could you make race any any more of a deal when it's not a deal? It's like. And, and I, was on, I was on different internet sites, like. Cause I, I I work from home and I uh, you know what I'm saying I do IT shit so I'm all, I'm on the internet all day and before they came out with you know what I'm saying that it was a Mexican dude or what like yeah. motherfuckers were theorizing oh fucking crazy ass white boy and ran up in this and shot some shit again and I was like wait hold on no, like yeah. y'all don't even know the area like right <laughs> well what I'm saying is, like, is probably they, it's probably like eighty some percent Mexican like I'm they, just rolling the dice let's here let's take like, it let's take involved. it like, let's fuck, take like, it on it. <laughs> Let's take everything. Like you on tell me, space, some shit right? happened in the cliff. I don't necessarily think it's white folks. Like so, so yeah, no, you know it, it's hard right to believe. <laughs> it's hard to believe any of it, right? And, and right, so, right? But let's say, let's say we just believed it all. It all happened naturally, and it's just all evil coming out. Okay, black man shoots up a bunch of people. White man shoots up a bunch of people. Mexican man shoots up a bunch of people. You tell me where the where the racial inequality crap and all comes from. You got three crazy people from three different races doing three evil things. Right. Yep. Ain't nothing race. No race shit. No. They, they, it's not a racial <laughs> thing. It's not. It's a. It's Whoa. a humanity problem. It's a, all Hell of us yeah, problem at that point. It's yep. the mental shit. I just and also. It at... also like he shot his grandmother first. The first and my oh, understanding man. is that he shot his grandmother in the hospital. Oh man. And How you shoot away. somebody in the hospital and just walk and out and nobody away. know where? Like, Say, listen, man. Come on, man. Say, man. I'm dude not is not. Dumb, bro. Like, dude is not Heath Ledger, man. This ain't Batman. Yeah, he ain't fucking. It's uh, not fucking Batman, man. This not the yeah. Joker, man. Yeah, what's up? J- he ain't Jason Bourne, motherfucker. Like, come on. Yeah, for real. <laughs> shit, like, like real shit. Good evening. Uh, I got a truck for you guys out here. The guns out there is asking. Right. San Antonio. Yeah, San Antonio is a so military cool. town. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Military town. It's right. a military town. It's where it's where the Good air force. Is, that's where the air force and the space force do all their basics. It's always it's been a mil, it's been yeah. a military town for a long time. You went all the way around. Yeah. I had to go. Around. I went this way because and really you got you got detachment of all branches there. I came this way uh, mainly it like air train. force and space force, but you have the train was sitting right there. So you you to bounce. I had to bounce. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the branches come through there at some point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know man, quite a, but, I know quite a few Marines that, that spent some time down there. Yeah, depending on your your, I forget what they MOS. call it in the Navy and MO. Uh, yeah, whatever MOS. job you got. Right. Or whatever. I was about to say yeah. MOS, but that's an Army yeah. thing. But yeah. Well, say day. We know what you mean. Right. Yeah, man. I'm just saying, y'all. It's just I'm glad we got some thinkers on here to ask questions. Like those are the questions that, <laughs> and everybody listen to the news and just run with it. Like I used to get on my mama. Like quit listening to the news. Everything yeah. they say is not yeah. the Bible, baby. Oh, man. My mom's the worst about listening to Facebook, man. And I'm like, Mom, would you get off that Facebook, please? Like, man. please get off that. It. It's like, <laughs> it's not, it, like, it ain't bad enough. She was watching Fox News and that other junk. But then she's going to get on Facebook, too. And it's like, yep. you can't believe none of that mess. GHG out there says Beto uh, used it for the votes. Here's the problem with that. <sighs> Yeah, here's he a, did. Here's, a, here's the problem. He ran he up. Did. He ran on. He ran up on Abbott he, today. But right. he ain't. But he ain't gonna get no more votes off of that because every everybody that wants the gun control or everybody that is, you know, in that part in that part of the country was gonna vote for him anyway. Yeah. So he didn't switch any votes. Nobody. Nobody's switching their votes b because of this. Right. It ain't, it ain't and I didn't like Beto. I didn't like Beto from his presidential. Jump. He's a flip flopper. One minute he's well, saying he's too late, the next minute. I didn't. I didn't like oh. him for, since he came on the scene. Like, so I'm not the biggest Abbott up. fan, right? But oh, if, hell you look no. at, if you look at the votes that Abbott got in the primary versus the votes that Beto got in the primary, and then you figure all the down ballot people that ran against him, and you factor that in, Abbott got like three times the amount of votes as Beto. Like he don't stand a chance. Yep. Yeah, I mean, but I and I've tell people this like people say, oh, you know, Texas is gonna turn purple or Texas is gonna turn blue. And Richards is in my lifetime. Like this is not a man. Thing. Oh my God, the greatest governor, the she, greatest she, governor of Texas. Sheila Sheila Jackson Lee like is a historic Democrat. Like, uh, what, what's our boy here? I always talk about. Um, got it. Who? Uh, John Wiley Price. John Wiley Price. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have historic Democrats in Texas. Like, that's not a new thing. Um, Ann Richards All was a, was an old school, an old school Democrat, though, which was you yeah, know, yeah. Um, and the old school yeah. Democrats, I don't mind the old school Democrats so much because the old school Democrats are not anti two A. They're not anti gun. Mm -mm. The old yeah. school ones ain't. Yeah, um, because the problem is, but the problem is, they're going to vote Democrat, and most of the Democrats nowadays are. That's that's where the yeah, problem yeah. lies. You Folks, know? I remember Rick Perry was originally a Democrat, and but here's yep. yeah, a lot of people in Texas have switched. See, a lot of people don't realize that. And you, you've been around long enough, Tank, you know that. But um, you remember when uh, the legislature ran off to Oklahoma and hid? Remember mm, that mess? Yeah, 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 I remember that. So, they had to send the Rangers, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Rangers yeah. to go get them. Yeah. yeah. And so after that happened, like the next election, a lot of Democrats switched over to Republicans. Wait, Perry, so Perry used to be a fucking. See, this is why I say Perry was originally a Democrat. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. The same way, like fucking uh, Hillary and, and Clinton was. Really, really, was, what happened is 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 W got to him and said, "Hey, you know, what I'm saying yep. you come over here, I'm I'm gonna put put you on." And yeah. that's right. You see, right. you followed W. Good old, yeah. good old boys club. That's yeah. 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 That's all yeah. it be is to put on. See, that's why I said earlier, when I thought about being a mayor, a governor, and all that old shit, and I figured out that it's fraternities, sororities, and all kind of other shits, and all these many Masonic houses and shit you got to go through. Oh, man, hell no. Nah. I ain't. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just trying to do something for the people. All right. I ain't know y'all doing all It ain't about the people. Kind of, it ain't about it's the goddamn not. people. It's about who got the most goddamn money. Mm -hmm. And who got the power? It ain't about shit else. I said, right. oh, yeah, these people ain't never been for the people on either side. And see, that's, and see, why that's what like Paul. When, what people don't, don't like realize Paul. is. Yeah, that, right. the, the GOP fucked up oh, by not, uh, you know what I'm saying, backing Ron Paul. Like, yeah. We about, we about in Texas. We're about. Nah, he was as, too independent. <laughs> we're about as, we're about as close to. Junction. 
we're about as close to blue now, I think, as honestly we'll ever get. No, um, the, I, because I, that might the be. Reason, the reason well, I say that, and I, I got a video I did on it. I spent like two weeks researching this stuff, and I go back to like the 90s, early 90s, and I, I go through how the districts all have been changed over time in texas i go through yep. how people have moved into texas how seats have been added to the house i break it down it's a fairly long video it's about 20 minutes or so but i break it all down and the reason i say this if texas was smaller then no we would be concerned but the problem is texas is so big the way the districts are laid out there are certain districts like the people that are moving in are yeah, moving the dim, into the, the Dallas the area. They're moving into Houston. Yeah. They're moving into Austin, yeah. right? They're, they're just making the bluer into, areas blue. They're not moving right. into Odessa. They're not moving into Texarkana. Yeah. They're not moving yeah. into nah. like Beaumont, they right? So they want that smoke. <laughs> because they're not moving into there, they're not turning those places blue or even purple. And so that's why I say it, those places will likely never go that direction unless, unless – the Democrats get the crap together. Now, if the Democrats ever get the crap together, and I really like, I don't know if anybody's been paying attention to Tulsi Gabbard and what that chick's been saying over the last yeah. several years, yeah. but if she would change one thing, if she'd come out and go, I'm pro 2A, and I don't think, hey, shout out me and friends, I don't think there should be any, you know, blah, blah, blah. I, I'm all on. over that chick. I'm voting for that chick. She's my home girl, right? Yeah. As long as she stand um, on it, though. She got man, to stand on because, it. Yeah, right? But um, anyway, so if the party, because the Democrat Party has went crazy, the Republicans, they always been crazy, so who cares? But the Democrats have went just wild and crazy. They went like Man. way far on the other side of Bernie Sanders even at this point. It's insane, right? So if somebody like her brings the Democrats more back to the middle where they used to be, like Tank was talking about with Ann Richards, at that point, Texas could turn blue, but I think that the, the Democrats, in order to do that, the Democrats have got to get away from all the AOC crap, Nancy Pelosi crap, and come back to do that. And I don't see them. And I don't see them doing it. I think they're going to nope. continue to go to the party. Yeah, because they, 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 they end up, they end up, the party ain't gonna be no. Nah, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna see that. And the thing is, what I learned with politics, they go with the power. You can't, you can't go against the grain. Yeah, it's gonna be not on the ticket or ballot. Mm. You're gonna be going to go get you a nine to five. Yeah. You ain't with the program. Well, you don't get the money, right? But, but that's the thing is, is that and that's the bad thing about the two parties, right? And and we, we talked about this having to be rich to run for office and all that. That's because you have to get the RNC or the DNC nomination. And if you don't tow that line, if you're not their boy or their girl, you know, you ain't gonna get their yep. money. And if you don't get your no. money, you ain't gonna win. You got her. Hell no, you ain't. But Clover, to, to to be honest though, like the the GOP has some issues as well. Um, oh, they instance, suck. Yeah, for, the Republicans for, for suck. For instance, uh, what's what's our what's our state representative? I don't know if he's still in office. The dude with the patch, the veteran dude. What's oh, his name? Crenshaw. Yeah, Dan Crenshaw. Yeah. Uh, he gets a lot of flat for being pro uh, red flag. <laughs> Right, and I've had this conversation at 2A community uh, a lot of times. Like, what is wrong with the idea of a red flag law? The fundamental no. idea: no due process. No due process. If that's not right for I can get mad at Tank and say, uh, uh, uh Officer uh, Clovertech, Tank just threatened to kill himself, and I'm scared, and he said he's gonna kill my family, and then Clovertech come to your house and just take your shit. Yeah. No investigation, no nothing. Fuck a right. red flag. But, but, what, but what, if, red flag. what if you're saying that and it's, and it's honest? There's processes right. by which by which you can go file paperwork. Right. So, and so, so to, the, and you, exactly. And you, so you, you, hit, you hit, you hit, you hit on it, Clover Tech. The yeah, issue is not the red court. flag laws in and of itself. It's a way in which they the process goes but about it. It's the way so in which far, they implement it. Yeah. So far, right. there's only there's only one state. And that's that a, that's done, a conversation the GOP doesn't want to have. So far, there. Yeah, I agree with you. And if you if you start talking about that sort of thing, because if somebody um, called, because this this yeah, dude that did this shit in Uvalde, he he apparently I'm been having some issues. No, I'm there with you. So if somebody had turned that motherfucker in. There might not be 19 kids there. Let's be honest. If you, but think if about you, it. But think about it. Red example, flag law wouldn't have stopped it. No, so it wouldn't have. Thing. But I'm just saying, like, there are some instances. 
that well, that, that ship may so, be valid. Very, like I think it's very small. Obviously, not not where it's at now, but there so, are some. Let, let and, make and, I, and I'm not and I'm not pro law enforcement at all. I, I, yeah, I, look, I look. Um, let let Clovis make his point. I want to so, go ahead, Clovis. So the El Paso thing that happened at the Walmart or whatever that was. Right. right. That's they, a good example. A few, right. few years ago, right? It was a similar situation. He had been in. He hadn't been in any trouble. But like his Same. family was going, hey, something's up with this his mama kid, called. right? Something's yeah. up with this kid, right? So first of all, let me, let me back up and say, for if you're looking at a what I would call a good example of a red flag law, look at the state of Maine. The state of Maine has a pretty dang good red flag law. The rest of them that have tried it suck. But I think Maine is on the right track of having something that might Maine. actually work, right? Anyway. Way up there. Um, yeah, way up there. Uh, but yeah, look look that one up if you get a chance and, you, and you're interested in reading some boring shit. But anyway, uh, <laughs> the yeah, so I talked to a lot of law enforcement up and down the chain, man, uh, when the El Paso thing happened because that bothers me. That bothers me when I hear that, you know, somebody has said something, just like we talked about with Parkland. That kid was on the FBI's radar. We got all these examples of you know, there were signs there and nothing happened. And I see it done. So yeah. ultimately it does come back to from all the law enforcement officers, like I said, various levels. I talked to you know, state dropping the fucking ball. To county, <laughs> to, to city cops, you know, all of these that I know. And they all basically told me the same thing. And they're not like they weren't all in the same room. I called them at all different times on different days, whatever. And some of them don't even know each other, right? So it's not like they gave me the same answer because they, they talked it out. Right. And they said, you know, here's our take on that. I'm like, what what should have been done? Would a red flag law, I specifically asked them that. I said, would some kind of red flag law, like maybe Maine or anybody's, would that have prevented that situation? And they said that, yeah, it could have. They said, but that situation could have been presented anyway. And I said, what do you mean? And they said, there's already, we already have tools at our disposal, things we can do as law enforcement officers. We could have done a well a welfare check and a wellness check. And then if the kid seemed off or like something was wrong, right? We could have, you know, had committed for 24 hours and been diagnosed right. and other things. Nobody did that. That they the, El Paso PD, whoever she reported to, I forget now, could have done something. They could have done something. And they didn't. So that goes back to if they could have done something and they didn't, what good is a red flag law? Because then if they're not going to do it anyway, what's right. the point of having the red flag law there? Right? Right. That That's a valid point. That is a valid point. Um, and so that. that's yep. my concern is that you put a red flag law in play. And by the people the the in the Dallas Fort Worth area where you got you know Democrat elected officials and Democrat police chiefs and whatever right they're going to use that to disarm people and just be pricks right they, right 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 and then when something it really needs to be used for in there they'll pull a the crap like they did in El Paso and just ignore it any way. Yep. Yep. My deal about red flag law. What I think, uh, if, if not, it don't even have to be a red flag law. You, if law enforcement is supposed to do their job, if somebody call and tell law enforcement something up with somebody, they should put an investigator on them and, see, and, and watch them. Yeah. Right, and watch right. them. Look which, into which them I and watch them. I don't understand how, and, swatting and, and, is, is how swatting is really a thing. Like, yeah, like, because y'all see. Y'all just busting doors and, with no intelligence at all? Like, yeah, that, but don't listen, seem, that don't seem right to me. Like, come on. Let me make my, my point, then I'm going to get to that swine, too, because they make a good point, too. Like, a, a red flag law, it shouldn't be no red flag law. Law enforcement should do their job, but see, the Supreme Court told law enforcement that they have no right to protect you. So, right. and people need to go understand that ruling. Law enforcement have no right to protect you. They don't have the obligation to they protect you. They have no you. duty. Yeah, no but duty. Tech, no, duty. no duty to protect that, you. That case, so, law goes back to, that case law goes back to the 60s, at least. It yeah. don't fucking matter. It's case law. The point is this. Right. Yeah. But if, once if you understand the dynamic, you're not going to catch on to 2022 either. Thank you. If you don't have no duty to protect me, why the fuck is you trying to take my weapon? Why are you trying to take the that means part. of me protecting myself? And that see, part. that's the that yeah. is that is the question a good attorney or somebody with the funds that can pay for this 
Shusufa. But then, but then, Bug, don't you think that somebody that gets into law enforcement should want to protect people? Yup, but they don't. Because people I, I, get into no, law enforcement. Totally people agree. get into law enforcement for power. People for get into law right. enforcement yeah. for, for pussy yeah. because badges yeah. get you pussy. Yeah. Uh, for perks and amenities. Free, and free, and, free food. and yeah. you got the power of to change someone's life. Oh it's your discretion. Yeah. Well, but we got to understand a, a police officer or law enforcement by that very title is is simply what it is. Like that's what they're there to do. That that prescribes their their position, mm-hmm. right? They they are by very every definition a, agents of the state. That's what they are. To protect now property. we can have we can have a greater discussion of whether that's valid or whatnot in the society. That's a that's a that's a philosophical. Well, it's not to protect property. It's to enforce law. Law. Right. Exactly. Well, here's here's the problem with that. What is a law? Thank you. The law says, Tank, you can't murder somebody. Right. Right. That's what the law says. Does that law keep you? I think I think 12 hit on this earlier. Does that law keep you from murdering somebody? No. Nope. So then. As a law enforcement officer. I can't enforce that on you until you murder somebody. Correct. Correct. I can't I, arrest you for murder until you've tried to murder somebody, right? And then I would I argue there's a I would right? argue there's a fine line there where you could prevent it in 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 process, right? And where where nope. the nope. process it, is that it's verbatim. Are, the law is verbatim. If you, have committed, the law is verbatim. if you have committed, if you have committed some other type of violation that allows me to enforce that law on you, right? You're well, there right. is a legal but, there is a legal but, concept of uh, mens rea, right? Um, which is is fundamental for uh, for criminality, mm-hmm. so uh, you could right. say at that you could say at that point where intention there has to be is, intent, correct? Right. Yeah. That mm-hmm. then then yeah. you can stop. Right. That's yeah. not necessarily you know pre crime type shit. You well, know, that's, uh, now let's be not necessarily like, but there is a fine line. That's ambiguous. Though. Now let's now let's be yeah. realistic in that scenario about how many murders are stopped before they're that way before they're committed. Right. Less than twenty percent. Very small percentage. Very right? small. Right. So, if that's, yeah. so if that's the case, enforcing the law has nothing to do with protecting somebody. They're already dead. It has to do with bringing the criminal to justice. Yep. Right. That's what it's about. That's the only and part so, it's about. Okay. Hold on. Watch this. So, Clover, Clover, you old enough for this. Back in the 80s, a police will only arrest you if you committed a crime. Now Dude, we've had this conversation. Change. I've I've yep. gotten away with so much right in front of police officers because just being a stupid kid, you know. But now and they're like they're like pour the beer out and go home. Like, right. But now, you know? see, everything is a killable offense. Everything yeah. is a goddamn capital offense. Man, police ain't even police no more. You used to know the police. You know why? In the you right. know why? Tell me why. Money, revenue. Same way, same way that they they find you for, I mean, you have not, you have not, uh, well, where was I going to go with that? Uh, victimless crimes. How many victimless crimes are there that's on the books that you ain't hurt nobody, ain't nobody got hurt financially, physically, or otherwise, nobody's gotten hurt, but yeah, you got to go pay a fine or you got to set it out in county jail or whatever. Revenue. Money. Money. The, the annual budget for the city and of Dallas is somewhere around two billion dollars. Bingo! And who who sets a that third? Annual, a third of that goes to one department. Who sets that annual budget? And, and that's who, the police department. Who's raking yeah. in? Who's raking in that money? The city council. The city council. And what are the city council? Politicians. Right. Yep. Yep. See where the problems at? Politicians. Mm. Right. They be doing too much stealing money, Follow man. The money. Follow the yep. money. I always follow the money. You see how they got caught up billing? Is Saint still on real? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we, got a, we got a mayor in Dallas right now, talk, you know, saying dumb shit like, oh, we need a second NFL team. But don't want to don't want to acknowledge that his predecessor, Laura Miller, is the reason why we don't have a fucking Cowboys now. Cowboys now. Yep. He, yep. He, he forget like he don't even know who the fuck Laura Miller is. Let's have Tank. that discussion, motherfucker. Tank, she was too busy. Trying to get her ass out of there before she got indicted, cause she was sending money with him too. Yeah, 
Yep. She, she was crooked. With Caraway and them, but Caraway and them went to the pen and she didn't. No, Caraway right. didn't go to the pen. Caraway, <laughs> Caraway, Caraway, was, Caraway got knocked out by John Wilder Price. <laughs> yeah. Al Lipskin, Al Lipskin is the one that died. Don Hill and his wife died too. Yeah, hey, but Caraway hold up. Time, hold up. Caraway, Caraway did do time. He just yeah, got he out. Yeah, he, he just got out. Yeah. He just got out bad, man. Yeah. I don't remember Caraway doing that. Man, time. Caraway went to jail behind that bus. And that taxi cab stuff. You don't yeah. remember that, bro? Behind the bus or with them damn assholes from Dallas County School. Because I was he working did, He Dallas did a little County less School. than a year, but he 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 did do some he time. He did some time. Yeah. He went to jail. Yeah, that's and, see, that's a, Now, John Wally like, Price, he done been indicted like three or four times. He ain't never seen no jail John Wally Price yeah, got that black book, got, allegedly. I don't know what he got that on black books. book. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, that black book. <laughs> I got your dirty you boy. You better sit your you must. sit down, boy. Listen, his yeah, chick, the, the chick snitched like, on like him, and he Davis still like beat the George. He talking about she, she. Yeah. <laughs> so, Clay Davis yeah. said she. Yeah. John Wilder Price. Yeah. John Wilder Price, the only cat that I know. Well, he the only black person that I've seen that I know that I can look lay eyes on. That's got away with more shit than anybody else. But, but think about it like, though. <laughs> But what? Let me say this to you though. I'm a now. Let me say this though. Y'all can forget though. Y'all forget though. Jay Wiley Price while wearing gators, my nigga. But hold up. <laughs> you know you're wearing gators and do dirt. John Wiley. Yeah. They can say what they want to say about Al Lipscomb and John Wiley Price. When Al Lipscomb was in office, the police weren't beating folks in South Dallas. They weren't doing all this old crazy ass shit. Right. And John no. Wiley Price. John Wiley Price was helping the people. They can but say what, what you want to say about him. That man no, was helping bro. the people. I remember that man was walking around with them braids in his head, knocking people out and marches and everything else, bro. So people forget if they had that, what have you done for me lately mentality. Now, now this is what I'm going to say, bro. This is what I'm going to say, right? So we grow up thinking God is the only person that can do the blessing part. Right. They tell so us this, that Satan and Lucifer can, can do the blessing can bless too. You, you just going to come with something. Right? right, right, right. Say, man, sometimes a wolf got to put on sheep clothing, man. It's true, it's true. And then he he show his teeth every now and then, and you will hear through the grapevine. Yeah, he showed his teeth. Him don't fuck with him like that. He gonna get you. Oh man, he cool, dude. He, you get that kind of shit, right? They play the mm -hmm. good guy role. Chucky is a cool looking little ass dog, but he's a fucking killer. True. You see what I'm saying? Innocent, yeah. all that good old shit, but he's mostly because he got mostly because he got red hair, probably. But yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, mean, I, I love, I love we know about them just, just not having watch him, you gotta watch him red hairs, man. Yeah, yeah hey, so hey, it's, hey it's, but they got some good trim. But go ahead, I digress. <laughs> <And> I, it's, <laughs> it's, hey, Cyrus whiskey, though, I'll, I'll be on that, that, that Jameson, <laughs> yeah, it's it's <laughs> certain shit, like I just hey, don't Jamie go hard, bro. I don't know no politician that flies straight. No. My, I, I've no, seen, I know, I grew up in Buntown and South Dallas, front of projects, moved one street in front of the projects. My brother came home at like 20 years old, 19 years old, we came, we got out the pen, crying to my daddy like a baby. Beat the fuck up. Police done beat him up and done stole his money and all his dope. Not only did he do that to him, he did that shit to my brother-in-law. You see what I'm saying? Right. So I yeah. grew up with looking at shit with a different set of eyes. I don't trust you until you give me reason. And it's got to be longevity. I don't just give you trust just because. I don't look at you as a police officer because you got a police officer suit on. Your character got to tell me that you're a police mm -hmm. officer. Yeah. Not that fucking suit. That badge and that Batman belt. You want to be Bruce Wayne? That shit don't tell me nothing. Because if you take that shit off and you drop that badge and we go out around back, some, a couple cats going to beat your ass like they did in school. Yeah. So it's a different... I, I look at it with a different set of eyes. Like when I start my podcast, it's what I want to do. The DPD, come sit down with me. I got some hard-ass questions. For y'all yeah. to sit down in these seats that y'all not gonna be able to answer. First of all, we know DPD corrupt. They they've been corrupt forever. All motherfuckers corrupt. I don't man. Well, from I, I don't I don't. 
Man, I don't set it recently in the last year. I don't set up under the bridge. Watch somebody get their ass beat. A DPD roll by. Look, look, keep going. <laughs> Say, man, now that's you a damn near current. Think how old you is, Tank. I'll be 45 on the third. Okay, so you 45, 36. So tell me in Dallas County where you can drink in, have an open container, and not get a motherfucking ticket. Tell me what part of Dallas you can do that in. South under Dallas. Bridge. Yeah. South Dallas under the bridge. Where I grew up at. It, that, look, I'm going across the bridge. Yeah, right around the I corner. I see my uncle. My Yeah, I, I see my uncle get a ticket or ain't going to jail for having an open beer and walking around in public. I see these same junkie motherfuckers 20 years, my whole fucking life. They still sitting there Sunday to Sunday. Ain't never got a ticket. Man, I, so I, don't walk, I don't walk around the park right there with a bear in my hand and waved at the police. Yeah, they don't give a damn. Yeah. So again, it's, it's what I fact, said. Stand out if you right? ain't got a bear in your hand. Why do they not they get a ticket? Because they ain't got no money to pay to no fine or, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, they, they're going to yeah. arrest the people. They're going to hassle the people that need to be back to work the next morning or whatever the case may be. And they can pay their yeah. fines or they can bond out or whatever the case may be. That's what they want to do because that's money yeah. in their pocket. There's money in the their hobo, pocket. But... The hobo wino on the street and ain't got no money or nothing better than fucking do some pennies in his goddamn pocket than a five dollar bill or whatever. They don't give a I, shit I'm, about I'm, that. Ain't no money there. Now I'm willing to bet you though. Same shit like I said with zip code. I'm willing to fucking bet, Tech. I'm willing to bet that it's more tickets. Get given out where I grew up versus where bugs stay at right now. Oh hell yeah! I'm willing to bet that. Well, right? I don't know because you know you do one mile over the over the speed limit over there where bugs stay in. I say shit no. for real. No, no, you no, clap no. too motherfucking loud. You're going to jail. Yeah. Right. You, but listen, you can your listen. ass to hot box. Listen, I went to now, I went I to spent my time out in that jail versus Lou Sterrett. I'm paying. Yeah. You. Hey, what? I went. Say, <laughs> I, I would do time in, in, in University Park, Highland Park is the same jail. They use the same jail. Uh, I would yeah. do time in that jail any day because you. So know, this I, all. I do, I do time in all, Keller and South Lake in a minute. This all ties back to, to money school. though, too, right? Yeah. Right. They do time yeah. So here's so here's the thing. So not only do they want to like pull over people or whatever, hassle people that may have the money, they want to make sure they have the money to pay the fines because ultimately it's what they want. They also get money from the state and the federal government for what? For arresting people, right? So uh -huh. when they want to make that money, they don't go hassle the, 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 the they go hassle the poor neighborhoods first yep. because that's probably where yep. they can get more people that they can lock up yeah. in jail and the state right. and the federal will pay them for that prisoner. System, it's, it's money. It's money. It's, it's, money. System, it's, it's system. It's a system within a system. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I always say it's 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 the 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 police never had a good face card with people where I come from. They probably nope. never will. Right. First yeah, of right. all, I take the approach as, as this: I pay taxes. I pay your check. I'm your boss, man. Not that motherfucker that's sitting down with all that old, uh, that fake ass metal and stars and shit all on him. Not him. I pay his ass too. Right. Because the minute, even though I don't vote, because I don't vote not real to me. Right. Even if I, I go it. down there and turn, turn the whole fucking vote shit around, I get his motherfucking ass out of there. You won't have no job, buddy. Right. If you play with me the right way. Right. But it's still, like I said, most people that become police officers are people that is that are good at following orders. People that are or have been fucked with when they was kids. Right. They not regular people. Yeah. That's so easy to say I'm when the system is set up no. like that, man. Look who I, who look right. who are on my streets now. Right. Yeah, but any of any of us from Dallas knew that Amber Gaga wasn't gonna get with no real time. No real time. Yeah, yeah but I'm I'm that's, that's, I never, I was never under no disillusion that she was going to. No, man, the connections. Okay, she a police officer. 
The prosecutor and the DA her. fuck around in the same school. They fuck around or, or might be in the same fraternity or they sister brother sorority fraternity. You don't never fucking know, and you'll never be able to figure it out if you don't dig. So, so when who was that? Dig and shit. Amagaga. So when she. Ba- she's the one that she's the one that went into the wrong apartment. Ah, so, yeah, I got you. Okay, yeah. that's what I thought. That's okay. what I thought. So, so, people, so, people, so, people yeah. not from Dallas don't yeah. realize that she was feet away from the DPD headquarters. She could have yeah. literally yelled and had a whole fucking squad of fucking but, police officers. Well, it don't goddamn but, matter, Tank, whether she was you know, three uh, feet or eighteen thousand nah. miles. You don't, yeah. you know. It, but, the, but, the, but the, her basic argument is that she, yeah, her basic apartment. argument is that she thought somebody was in her apartment and she was a, that was her her defense that no. she was in fear. But, but you know if what? you in That's, fear you know and your fellow officers are five feet away from you, why the fuck you, you ain't can't? Coming? Yeah, but she Listen. had yeah, but she had she was intoxicated, right? No, no, she was in uniform. That's what I had heard. But she was intoxicated somehow, though, right? That's what I had heard. Right. Yeah, she was it. Let me. Now she just said she was real tired. But regardless, that bitch was that's manslaughter either way. It's yeah. manslaughter. Yeah. No, yeah, but because yeah, you're a police good. officer, how come because you're a police officer, the crime is not enhanced? I am a professional driver because my license say class A, commercial driver's license. I'm a co- professional driver. That means I can't speed because I know the law two times because I had to take yep. a test twice. That means that if I speed five miles over the speed limit, instead of getting a $150 ticket, mine's going to be 500 Right. Because yeah. I'm a professional driver. Because you are a professional. You are a professional. You are trained to take ridicule, verbal abuse, and everything else from the public. So, so people from the go public. Jail. Why, why people isn't go your jail. manslaughter pushed to a murder? Because right. you are the police. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, she ought to have done something, yep. right? And here's the reason. So people do stupid shit all the time and go to jail. Yep. They just done some stupid shit. No. Right? They may not have intended to it, whatever the circumstances might be. But, you know, if I went out and I did something just absolutely fucking stupid and I got busted, it's like it's my ass. I I, I, I shouldn't have, I was stupid. I shouldn't have done that, right? Right. So, I got, it's, I got, it's the same for her. She done something fucking stupid. She should have done something, some kind of time for it, something. She got, you got a team here. But there, here's the, there's the two things that I'm going to say about this shit. First of all, I already knew it was some type of connotation to it. The first thing is this. I still if say we ain't heard the whole story. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you the story. Your head. Nah, your head. Man, he you already know. You already he know. Her. He was busted <laughs> down. He was fucking the other white girl. She was mad because he didn't want to answer the phone. And she got mad. Man, come on, man. Can't tell me that, it, that they wasn't fucking. Man, you can't tell me you weren't fucking that woman, man. Man, this, that's the south side. That's the south side building. Do you, know, do you know if you a single dude and you make the money that he was making? Man, I'm you can have your man in the Yeah. yeah. Bro, do you know you can have your weight in but those look, apartments? This is the other part. I'm oh, Leon though. used to stay over there, too. Yeah. But Man, ain't even speak on that. <laughs> yeah. Eric, I'm about to look, call him. Eric, Erica Badu has a place over there. Wait a second. I'm sitting down. I'm out. Right, so her, house, her house is right there good. by White, White right. Rock. I've been to her, her spot. She stay over there by White Rock. Yeah, she got, she got, she got, she got, she got a house over there, but she also got an apartment in there. But look, yeah. so... Everybody know the south side is where police officers stay. Niggas bang police officers because it's right across from Jack Evans. Yeah, it's from it's right there. Right? It's one campus. Let's be honest. So, it's it's but, one campus. Yeah, basically. So the, the whole kick to it is they already found out in the text message that she he was fucking her. He stopped fucking with her like a year ago and she still was she was basically stalking a nigga. That's the part mm. that I don't like that they really didn't say nothing about. The other right. part that I got to add, listen, if you are a scary motherfucker, don't you be no be the police law. officer. If you're not still, you can't be the law. You can't right. be fucking scary and be alone. If you got your ass kicked, you got your ass bullied when you was a kid, you can't be no motherfucking law because you are already scary. Right. You're on a different projection than other people. You don't got your ass kicked. So the minute somebody get to talking shit to you, or verbally abusing you, ain't no telling what you lie to do. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So it's 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 it's, the, it's as simple as I told the last person that I when I did go to jail. 
And I told him. <laughs> I let my, he got mad. He got mad. I got off the stage. First of all, he thought I was on drugs. I said, no, I'm sweating. I, I'm a rap artist. I just got off stage. My cousin, uh, birthday was tonight. Five minutes from down the street on limit. So I cracked my window. Hey, man, let your window down all the way. I'm not letting my window down all the way. I don't know you. I don't trust you. I don't know who the fuck you is. I don't even know if you're a real fucking police officer. Yep. I can hear you from her. You can hear me. I can give you the information. That's cool. We're going to do it like that. It ain't nothing. No. He got mad. So like I told him, you swinging me around in this car. You ain't, you ain't buckling my seatbelt. That's all cool. I said, see, you used to get your ass kicked when you was in school. You get mad because you can't speak fucking English real good. That's not my fault. That's a personal problem. You little bit of short ass motherfucker throwing me around this seat. Hey man, before you drop me off at Lulu, hey man, we can take any one of these motherfucking back streets or whatever. I'm gonna beat your ass, man, if you take this shit off. <laughs> <laughs> beat your ass. I don't need no help, none of that. You take that Batman fucking belt off you got. You take that McDonald's suit that make you feel like a superhero. You take that shit off, and I'm going to beat your ass out here. And then we ain't got to even talk. We ain't got to say nothing. You can take me right on to the police station. Let them book me. You ain't got to tell them people nothing that happened. I ain't going to say nothing. But I'll yeah, beat yeah. your ass you take that shit off. Yeah, because that's what you that's what you try to say is that she she was scared or whatnot. But most folks didn't she catch wasn't scared, most folks didn't man. catch but most folks didn't catch what, what 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 police house she was out of. She was out of Southwest. Yeah, yeah. but she she was yes. she was Oak Cliff. That's Oak Cliff, Oak Cliff. That's Oak Cliff Law, man. You can't Come be on, Oak Cliff man. DPD. First of all, and be scary. DPD is and one I'm thing. Cliff. Oak Cliff DPD is a whole nother motherfucking thing. They don't pull yeah. me out of my apartment at 2.30 in the morning with six guns. Six yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, looking for you know, a wrong man, motherfucker like, in your house. Yeah. Man, SWAT done came to my house three times to me and my wife. I know, we stayed in my daddy's house. I know DPD and, and I know Oak Cliff DPD. They they is not the, they not yeah, built the same. Like, Oak Cliff inside Dallas, they DPD is different. Yeah. Hey, 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 hold up. Hold up, hold up. Don't forget about that. Don't forget about that Southeast. Southeast is they own monsters. So, yeah. Southeast and yeah. Southwest? Man, Southeast yeah. is something else. But you, Southeast you can't got be. something. Say. You can't Southeast, be a police I don't, officer. I don't, I don't, hold on, 12. I, I won't want no Southeast police officer to take me to jail by himself and nobody seen me get in that car. And that's all I'm going to say. And you take it for however you yeah. want to take it from now. Right. Man, Southeast is something else, boy. Dump your ass in White Rock. Hey, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna jump. I'll catch y'all later. Be yeah. good. All right. All right, Tim. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and she trying to say she was so tired. Now, now, now we know you gotta. No. You gotta come out of there. It's on Illinois. You gotta come all the way down Illinois. Bust, you wasn't, bust that she, left on thirty five. Yeah. Get get off right there on, on on Riverside. Go through that light. Go up under the bridge. Then take a right to get back over there by Southside. Come on now. But you, you, you so tired, but you don't made the. And y'all she know had that no business. Y'all noticed that stretch of 35. That stretch of 35 through the cliff has always been fucked. That shit been fucked up since I was a kid. Been under fucking yeah, construction. She had no since business. I've been in you Dallas. Be, <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? You got to go. You yeah, can't you be gotta, asleep and, and, and you yeah. will die. Yeah, you got to go. You can't be. <laughs> even if you yeah, go to back way. You got to be down go that way. Come down uh, go be going go across down, a bridge or whatnot. Yeah. Marine Street? Yeah, correct. That's what I'm saying. Right, even when you go the back way. That's a whole different thing, man. Like, no, man, that shit don't even make no sense. But then when yeah. the text message no, no. proved that you was fuck with a dude, let you go, cut you the dude cut you loose like a year and a half ago. Cut you loose. Nah, I ain't going over there. Fuck that. The dude cut you loose a year and a half ago. Right. What it is, you got mad because dude wasn't really feeling you. He wasn't fucking with you no more like that. You right. ain't and he was fat and black. Now. How you, you, fat black. you go? How you go? I dare this. I dare this fat black boy don't want me. <laughs> you ain't. You ain't went in there, man, and said, "Oh, I'm in the wrong apartment." This motherfucker, you been fucking for a while, right? Nah, you know that nigga apartment, right? Get out. You been there. You been there before. 
Plus you, you in the, plus you in your apartment every day. So you go open the door and realize yeah. this ain't my apartment. Bro, yes. let, me, let me tell you Come something. On, Hold man. up. Hold up, bro. I promise you. Oh, that goddamn oh, lie. Yeah. Hey, look, bro. I had just I had lost my crib and shit. Like I had fell on my ass. And this was like a couple years ago. Oh, um, I had moved in these apartments in North Dallas, right? Right. And I went into my neighbor's apartment downstairs by accident. Because I was on the third floor and it was on the second floor. When I walked, I'm on the phone, not paying attention, and went to the wrong door. My dogs used to do this shit, too. So we went to the wrong door, and I walked near people's apartment. Soon as I stepped my first foot over the threshold, I was like, oh, shit. My bad, child. I thought I was in my apartment. And I did that shit, like, twice. And I ain't doing no more after that. Um, you were lying when you said you thought somebody was in your apartment. You know your apartment. Right. And well, I guarantee you, I guarantee you that main apartment don't look nothing like her apartment. No. No. Hell no, nah. male's apartment is never gonna look like a female's apartment ever. Hell no. Nah. Men and women design two different ways. Yep. Right. Different ways. Unless you got some feminine shit about you. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. Like, come on, man. The nigga was pounding your shit out. You want to get your shit pounded out no more. You got mad, wants to kill that man. Yep. And, and she was messing all. with her partner. And she was banging yeah. all Yeah, she partners. was. Yeah, yeah. They was having a, they had a fail, yeah. Yeah, then you fucking that nigga and he got a wife. Yeah, yeah, you just not, you just not even credible. Yeah, right. motherfucker like that, you can't be on the police force. You fucking that man, that woman husband. Get your right. motherfucking Yo. ass on. Nah, man, you can't do that. That's, 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 sounds, that's that no sounds like some Oak Cliff law, though. <laughs> that that sounds like, like Oak Cliff do DPD. I believe that shit to the, to the fullest. That's, that sounds like <laughs> 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 Come on, now. Hey, y'all, we going so hard, y'all. We at the five-hour mark, man. We 440. Ooh. We almost at five hours on this live, dog, and we still got seven people rocking with us. We got seven That's people good. rocking with us. We man. had a – man, about. it's like – boy, it's like – but done the 300 comments. Bro, when I see you, my man. Brothers. Good, it's good to my brothers. How are we doing tonight? How are we doing tonight? Oh, man? what's up, Jay? How that boy coming in here with a Georgia Bulldog, man? You just put Bebo up there, man. Go dog. Goddamn gun, bro. Chan. Go dog. Yeah, that's, uh, no that's Chinese Chan. I see mean, we got Bebo, You see how Bebo Bull, almost stumped that motherfucker? Bull, Bull, Mexican, bro. She ain't know how to rock it. Hey man, we got seven people rocking with us almost four hours. Y'all, y'all rock to the four. Look, we're gonna make it five hours. It's four one. We're gonna make it five hours, man. Five hours. And, and hey, if everybody who's still watching, man, I need to I need oh, y'all to give me some advice. Crip Mac wanna do a sit-down video with me. And uh what y'all think? Y'all think I should do the sit down? I really want him to come to Texas, but I'll go to Cali. You know what I'm saying? Bug ain't scared to go to nah. Look, Bug, now, I'm going to tell you, protect. you need to bring bring him here and yep. do it and off in the, uh, do do it it studio. Off in, do it off in the studio. All we got to do it, you know how you do it. We just put him up. We can't have him in, in the city. Got to put him up somewhere else. Oh, man, look, up. man, come on, man. Come on, man. That's we'll put him up there. We, now, we put him up in the city. You know, I got police officers. I just pay three or four police officers and uh do security so well, we, we can have the police we, on. Hold up. Listen. We have three, four police officers, so we can have DPD and the constable. We got the real law on us. We got the real law on us, and then I just call security. Yeah, but I, I just, put his ass up in South Lake. You be all right. I South just think putting him so yeah. Yeah, I think just putting him up somewhere. That's what I'm five saying. minutes from five, five minutes from DFW. You know he's flying in DFW. Yeah, you Yo, gotta put, put him some. You gotta put him somewhere out, way out there. Don't put him yeah. somewhere where. Where, where, where people know yet. Yeah, even you know, even Las Colinas is too too close. Yeah. Man, I put it in Highland Park. I get an Airbnb in Highland Park. I get an Airbnb in Highland Park. And like I said, I know some officers. I know an officer that got uh, a security company. He DPD. He owns a security company. And I can use him as security. And he is a peace officer. And I just pay them for however long we're going to have him down here because I at least want to show the dude a good time and have a good time because it'd be like yeah. the dude ignorant. So we'll have a good time, but I yeah. don't know, man. I'm, hey, I'm going to ask the, everybody. Introduce some of them co-eds over there at SMU you should have a good time. Oh, oh man. Good. Look, say, dog. You on... <laughs> hey, 12. Hey, tell him, 12. Let's do that 12. 12. 12. <laughs> tell him my apartment's a fool lady, man. I don't know nothing All about right, that. Boy, you, right you right there. You right there at ground boy. zero, boy. 12. Hey, 12. Man, stay humble, man. Don't do it. 
Hey, now nah, it's he can speak on it. I ain't telling him he can get in trouble and then I'm just saying. Hey, Chris Mecca have his way over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, I'm about to roll I, over there like, hey, I'll I'm be there soon. Hey, 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 look. Hey, look. I'm about to drop your name, boy. Hey, look. Hey, look. I be chilling. I be chilling. I think. I think just put uh put it put him up, bro, in somewhere. Where it, it can't be, it's got to be somewhere on the outskirts, man. It ain't no need to be right here in the mix. It's too much shit going on in Dallas, and 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 for somebody to get harmed on our watch is not that ain't hell now. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Plus, but plus see, that, why, plus that, you definitely don't want to go out there because you can't carry. Look, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah I, ain't, nah, I mean, nah. I never. I'll not be carrying. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not yeah. going to California too. because I can't yeah. carry yeah. my shit. Hey, I believe I'm in California. I'm hey, carrying hey, something. Hey. <laughs> hey, I don't see minutes, nigga. That's Fuck what I that. Love about you. Look. <laughs> For real. You, about you need some help, <laughs> homie? Uh, we got hell them no. too. You see that? You, see that, you already, got you already back, bud? Man, I'm, I'm in Texas now. I'm probably outside of Supper Springs somewhere. I'm in a little. I got to do my, my GOT. Because I'm three hours from Punkin Town, so. Oh, was, uh, okay. You, you were skipping out there, bud. What was that? LTC or something? Man, man, man. That's uh, I think that's a good idea. Y'all think another? Y'all think another Hold mass on. shooting already? That's played? the cover right there. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah. It ain't in summertime okay. yet. What you talking about, big dog? They know what they're white in. Yeah. You know what they're yeah, great with? It's gonna be some old man. This yeah, shit just wild, man. Hold on, Paris. I was good, man. Man, no, I can't man, see no you on the road to Mississippi. I just came from Mississippi. I just came from Memphis, Paradise. I just came What's from Memphis. What's a lot? What's a lot of coming, from, I I know it, man, because man, it was a lit lie tonight, dog. Like we got we got Ooh, we got Lord. 15 minutes to make the five five o'clock mark, y'all. You know Lord, man. And we done talked about a lot of stuff tonight. I mean, this is gonna be one of the ones for the record. This is gonna be one of the ones for the record. But see, bro, this this is a. Uh, I hope they remember the names that I said: Dr. John Henry Clark, Bobby Hemmick, Roy Hayes, and Dick Gregory. Go watch all the shit that Dick Gregory was talking about before he left this room. And going to the other room before he crossed over. Say, man, just Dick Gregory alone gonna wake your ass up and gonna shake you up. Yeah. Dick Gregory by himself is gonna shake your ass up. That what we up against as a people. Hey. It's gonna shake your whole shit up. Well, shit up. Paris Island, let me tell you this here. It was just one of them lies and stuff that need to be said and people ain't gonna see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we small nah. enough to see it. Now we ain't big enough to lose behind it. So right. we can see it. It's a lot of bullshit. They fighting. They bringing a gun, and, and it's something that that Clovertech and um, OG Tank brought up. That sound like there was a uh, a hostage situation. Like they chased that boy, and then that boy went into their school. And DPD or never. I mean, uh, CPD will never say. Uh, uh, they'll never say nothing. But how? Because, yeah, but how do you? How do you get? The custom Border Patrol, because that, that don't make sense, and it's just questions that people need to ask that people don't mm -hmm. ask. Bro. High speed how chase. is this nigga? He got yeah. a that should have been Ariel. When they show Something when they show his game. car wreck, when they show his car wrecked out, both axles was broke. Bro, I, I don't give a damn. You run over two curbs, you're not doing that much damage. Hey, That's if, I, if I blank out, y'all, if I blank out, it's because I'm in this love. But y'all just stay on, and I'm gonna come back to it. Bro, how, how how do you, that, was, that was damage from a pit pit maneuver, and somehow they made yeah. I hit him too hard, and they were shook, and that's how he got away. Yeah, it's no way mm. in here that he can play joke. Make it make sense. You sh you shot your own grandmother, your mama, whoever the fuck you shot. You got out the hospital? Man, I out the hospital. Say, man, I, was, I was born in Parkland. I worked in Parkland. You're not man. getting out of Parkland, man, if you don't no, have something. No, hell no. Uh-uh. So how in the fuck did you? It's the same way like I said early, Tank. Lee Hart. Harvey Oswald done all this shit. Spectacular killing. Right. Right? Y'all let this man shoot the president, 
get on the bus, went to the movies, got off the bus. When he got on the bus, got off the bus, walked to the walked through the movies, think he got something out of the movies, walked down the street, turned right on the other street off Davis Street, and went home. I'm about to say, well, yeah, wasn't the movie theater in over there in the cliff over there? It's still there. It's still there. They go in there right now to this day. Like off, off, off A Street or something right there? Yeah. It's off, it's off Davis, yes. So I'm just saying, like, okay, this man, quote unquote, shot the leader of the free world. How he Walked that away, went time? to a whole nother part of town. How did he do that? From downtown? Man, the goddamn bus take 20, 30 minutes to come on a I don't make I don't made that walk. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm saying, walking. like, yeah. no. So I'm like, how did he do all this shit? Then why y'all kill him? Because he start talking. He right. like, I ain't do that. Yeah, you gonna and, die. Yeah, you and how how gonna he gonna just go. surrounded by all them police and all them reporters and then Jack Ruby just come up, bam. Y'all didn't see Jack Ruby with a motherfucking gun? Yeah, man, come on, man. My man, come my on, main man. thing. No, no, my main thing is how, how did J and K brain up. disappear? Right. Oh, because they still did Gregory talk about that? The people, man, the top families have that. One of the top families that orchestrated that shit have that in water. It's, it's a mantle now. It's sitting up on the goddamn coffee table as a trophy. Right. They have that. Right. So when you understand that you're playing with people like that, right? That's why I say, man, Satan, Lucifer, whatever you want. Me. Yeah, Satan, Lucifer, one of the most beautiful angels. The in between. We know what in between means. I ain't gonna. I don't want to offend nobody, even though I have my own beliefs. But he in between. He blessed motherfuckers, but some come with it. But he always got the evil streak in him, right? Come on, man. Ain't nobody sitting around. Mental people get it, dude. Yeah, they do crazy shit. They might stab somebody, and the person might die. They might stab a person, this and that. They might fight a person. They might mm. fight 20 police officers. Nine They're not more. going. They not going to get a gun. They're not training themselves. They're not going into a schoolhouse or anywhere and shoot up 20 motherfucking people. Mm -hmm. They don't do that. I worked at Parkland. A dude 19 when I first figured out what schizophrenia was. And I'm young, vibrant. I'm a second child. But anyway, hey 19. Hey. Uh, excuse me. I'm thinking about harming myself. Can y'all let somebody know? Yeah, now nah, people don't think shit. I'll I said, you. say, man. I said, what the fuck is going on? The homie, my big bro, there, Izzy, hey. said, said, bro, D, he got, uh, he got schizophrenia, so that's, uh, that's red, so we have to tell his nurse and the charge nurse, we have to do that ASAP. Right. We have to and get that bug under you, control. bug you brought. Yeah, you brought up something that a lot of people is is, is too. They they said, well, Abbott said he might have had a rifle. Obviously, we might know dude had a rifle. Dude had an AR. You're not killing now, any, that many any, any other time. Any other time, a kid get a get a rifle and do something, The first thing they're gonna try to do is try to figure out where it came from. Yeah, yeah. You ain't you ain't heard them ask how he get a rifle. He no, wasn't they, 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 they gave it to him. Shit. Right. They gave it to him. Ain't no way in hell. Man, ain't no way in hell. You know this man front first name, middle name, last name. His granny done shot his granny done got away from the fucking hospital. You know all this shit. He got a mental uh problem. And y'all don't know where the fuck he got the gun from. And y'all don't know. And then he got away from the middle of the hospital a while now. Uh, but but, the, but, but the white boy in in, in uh New York up there, uh, Buffalo, what, whatever that shit was. Yeah, they, but they they, they, they they was interviewing the FFL that sold them the damn, uh, legally sold it to them within look, 24 hours. Look, this is this is the same. They, they, the they can trace it. Yeah, yeah, yeah this, easy. this is the shit that I'm gonna say, man. Right. Everybody 
that's involved in that crisis act well, he was shit. Telling. Right. Everybody that get involved in that shit gets this. They get broke off. Mm-hmm. Everybody they get, get broke off. Let me ask you this right? though, Toya. Could y'all hear me? Could y'all hear me? Because I'm in this. That he has some cartel ties that they don't want to say. And hold I'm gonna tell you something on. else though. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say this real quick. The dude, the dude in New York, they went to the FFL. Now, how could Gun Lyle stop him from purchasing that gun? It wasn't nothing they can do to stop the purchase of the gun. That's what nobody ain't paying right. attention to. Right. If Man, that feeling, shit. If he got a felon, how the hell he get it? Who's Thank you. Right. And now this of the Mexican. If the Mexican had a felony, how did he get the rifle? If y'all saying he purchased the gun, so who he purchased the gun from? Right. This is this is what I'm gonna say, man. So I... All that shit. The the the, the shit about FFL, not that shit hogwash. That's a, again. That's a system within the system. Okay. And we know damn well you can call somebody can get a gun and have a gun in less than three hours, thirty minutes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, I need a gun to do this. We, you don't need to go through no buildings and go through no whole lot of people legally to do that. Nope. Right? Now, now, nowadays, you can print your own shit in three hours. Mm, right? your own so shit. That's, that's what I'm saying. So That kid is only $150. And that's that's what I'm saying. Like, we, and then ban all this shit. Yeah, we, we in the world where these people think that we're fucking idiots, man. That See? That's the shit that make me have so much fire for that shit. Because you playing with my intelligence, and I know y'all fucking lying, y'all orchestrating this shit all the way up to the highest chamber. Ain't no motherfucking three-man shootings happen in less than 90 days just out of nowhere. Okay, the clouds oh, are just real bad. It, no, man, that shit don't it happen was six. like that. It was six. It that was made six. seven. Yeah. It was six. That made seven. That made the seven shooting. They don't even See, talk everybody keeps forgetting about the... Pfft, come on, man. Yeah. So you got seven. You yeah, got seven. Keep, trying to keep shit then going, so everybody can see the band band shit. It's okay, all shit coming out to. Y'all got, got seven. Y'all got seven. Take away, shits. get us fucked over. Y'all got yeah. seven. Shits you see how you on. really ain't heard shit more about the whole subway shooting. Nope. You're not gonna. That's what. That's that's my thing. Because the identity time. of the shooter don't don't match the narrative that they're trying to pull. Mm-hmm. He but was a, he the, was a the, black dude the, that shot other right. black and in Hispanic folks. The tank, the narrative is see, this is how they can't spin it. We we all do shit in patterns, bro. Right? I know Bug's character. Bug a serious motherfucker, but Bug is a funny motherfucker. Bug gonna talk shit. Bug ain't talking shit. Something wrong, Bug. What's up, bro? What's on your mind? Everybody has a pattern. Everybody mm-hmm. has a character, a spirit that they do shit in, mm-hmm. right? These people keep painting the same narrative, okay? A nigga in Dallas did this shit. A nigga in Memphis did this shit. A nigga in New York did this. L.A. did this shit. They all crazy. They all got AR-15s. They had two handguns. They all killed 20 more people. Mm-hmm. Bro, that shit ain't believable. I got 50, 60 homies that done hit the street and didn't get back up. And we had to put in fucking caskets. They didn't all get killed with the same fucking reason. Nor did they all get killed by the same type of caliber of gun. Yeah. You're not going to make me believe that shit and put it on the screen for me to watch like it's some f- fucking Hollywood shit and tell me this is what really happened and it's a fucking AR-15 every time. Nope. This person is mental every time. Oh, they went to the FFL. They got felonies. People didn't know they were crazy. They've been on FBI. Man, that's y'all narrative every time. Y'all ain't got another fucking story y'all can come up with. Yep. And nobody ever, no, and nobody's ever around that hasn't done the better stop this shit. Nobody. Nobody's never around to stop it, but the cameras is already like this, always. Right. The They're 24 the hours. Are? They tell you the whole goddamn story. But you see, the only place that they had somebody stop something was in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, but that's, look, like this, this, this house, this is why I say that this shit be out. That shit don't be real, man. Say, man, that shit not gonna happen right here in where I'm I'm breaking up, big dog. Yeah, but like I said, that, sh- no way. that, sh- yeah. that shit is not happening in turn the court. That shit is not gonna happen in goddamn in rolling sixties on on tenth Ave on dime block. That shit not happening in O block. Right. That yeah, shit no. not happening. That shit not happening, in little Haiti. 
Right. It's not gonna happen mm-hmm. in fucking Brooklyn, New York, where them niggas at. It's not right. gonna happen in Queens. It's not gonna happen like that. It's all it and, and on the and on the flip side of that, it's not gonna happen out here in Keller either. Yeah, no, it, that's, there, look, man. you feed you feed right into what I was gonna say, bro. Right? I've been out there in Keller, right? So people that's in the suburbs have the money to go buy a gun and buy a weapon, good weapons. Right. If they hear one fucking shot, everybody walking outside with their shit, man. Yeah. So your ass done. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. Your ass done. So even if you're in the suburbs, you fuck. You in the hood, mm-hmm. you for sure fuck. Mm-hmm. Nigga gonna shoot you with an illegal or legal gun. Mm-hmm. You are fucked. You not finna come around here killing no kids. I don't give a damn how much dope these niggas selling. All this other kind of shit going on. They not letting you come over here and fuck with no kids, man. Nope. They not doing it. Nope. So you can't paint the narrative of all these people are fucking mentally crazy. No. Like y'all kids. orchestrating that shit. And then it's going to be another one. And then y'all going to be sitting up there with the cameras again. But it happened in fucking this place. But CNN got the shit in, in some, less than 30 minutes. Some small, random ass town. Some crazy some little town story. Ain't some, town something that doesn't make any sense. Something that makes sense. So you ain't heard shit, of nothing. None of that shit add up. And we just nothing. like, oh, okay. You see, they tried, tried one damn place. Came to Nashville. And they tried to hit Waffle House. And you don't hit Waffle House 2 o'clock in the morning. Cause oh, why? Man. The it's black people the there. In there. Yep. After the club, that's a yep. no go. Yep. And, and who uh, who stopped him? As soon as his shit jammed up, he gave that, that break moment. A nigga jumped up and said they ran up on it and snatched that barrel. Mm-mm. Why he chose the wrong location and he had to deal with it. Oh, uh, this is just set up. They trying to get here around the side. I had to sit and deal with it. This morning when I went to work, all the black people sitting around watching the news and sitting there talking about it. And they're like, oh, man, they ain't sitting there trying to do anything. He could buy and go ahead and try to do an emergency little thing and get some laws put in and stop <laughs> this. And they can sit there. The only thing they're trying to do is lock up black people. they just trying to give us felonies. One, some of us deserve these damn felonies because we out here doing dumb ass shit instead of be out here trying right. to do the right shit and be positive. So right. no, nah. and you talking about damn black people can't get guns? Don't keep saying that pushing that narrative that black people can't get guns. If you ain't got no felony, bro, we can get whatever the hell we want. Yeah. The only thing that's stopping us is the money and the dumbass mind frame that we can't get rid of. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm on a I'm on a black I'm on on a black diaspora uh, server on on Discord. And we were just talking about it today, and I'm one of the only two A minded people on that. You know what I'm saying? But motherfuckers just having the same as that conversation on the. I said, look, I, first of I all, wanted to I say something, first, but I didn't feel like putting the time into it. Yeah, so. I said, first of all, let, let me let me let me hip you out of something. You know, so I'm, I'm gonna tell on myself. But nigga, I done had a gun in my waistband since I was at least 14. Shit. Tell them again. Tell them you again. You all think we ain't got guns in our community? You a fucking idiot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It just don't even make sense to even think like that. All the that. ones that done got put on me, or I don't pull on so we got guns, nigga. Yeah, cause you're doing yourself. You're doing right. yourself with this service. Only difference man. now is now mine are legal, motherfucker. Right. Yep. That's that's the only. No, 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 no. The two only things I'm legal and I'm a better shooter now. Right. Right. <laughs> so it, it, I, that's why I be, that's why I'm steady saying like people. Some people. Well, my people that's that's close to me and know me, they know not to come talk to me about that shit because right. I don't even believe it from the jump. I look at that shit. I just turn the TV because it's a facade, man. It's it's an iron curtain, man. Like right. Jedi mind tricks. It's no way in hell. No way. It is. It is. And you I just tell you know. You just shoot came. up random shits. Nah, man. Come and on. I ain't man. Gonna, I, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't heard in the last two or three years. I don't heard more racist shit from black folks than I've ever heard. Yep. And mind people. you, and mind Dude. you, I'll I'll be 45 on the third in a week and a half or so. I joined an NOI and got my ex when I was 17, so I ain't new to this. I've been in this. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm all that pro black, all that. Hey, I got a fucking RBG tat on my fucking arm right now. You know what I'm saying? See? Like it's crazy, man. That's and see, 
if like I and say, I've never heard I've never heard no racist shit come out of any of that those avenues like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh if you go back to J. Edgar Who these these young cats now, like I don't know what they be on or like they something's being stoked in them. It's like, a, it's I, a I, TV I, and I, I don't, it's don't, heard, I don't to have it. black folk talking about I just want to kill white folk. Nigga, what did you just say? Like you sounding lunatic. You sound like you need to be on pills right now, my nigga. Yeah. Cause that's not gonna solve nothing. And you be mm-hmm. asking them why. Like I'll be having to have a con- real conversation, like why? What, what happened? What? Listen, they don't have no rationale to it. They just look, it's just pure emotion. I'm a t- look, first thing like, you can't be on my team like that. The I don't, TV, I don't fuck with them they did the TV yeah, not, was doing TV and social media. This yeah. all this shit that they promoting and putting in their head. It's if I had a nigga in my set that talk getting. like that, you wouldn't be in my set no more, nigga. You nah, you gotta go. Yeah. yeah. DP off real. I don't mind him. It don't look. Just like I stated earlier, that was a tactic that Hoover used. That's why the civil rights shit came about. If you go, the civil rights shit had some propaganda shit. It also had some underlying dirty shit going on with it too. Right. We didn't they didn't teach us about that part. Okay. If you think the white person that you see on the average day. Or well, every month or so is a white person, you a damn fool. That's not a white person. They gonna kill their ass. It's like they're gonna kill us if this shit jump off. Yeah. Everybody gonna be in the field fighting one one people. It they not the people, they not white people. No. If they was white people, they'd be able to not have a job, they'll be able to make money off social security. Uh, numbers and broken uh, our birth certificate numbers. If y'all know what I'm talking about, I hate when I, I hate when I hear black folks like, "Well, if it was a white dude, you know, motherfucker, you know how many white folks get killed by motherfucking police every goddamn day." Man, that's just way again, more than black folk. Like, what again, the fuck is you talking about? Like, again, this again though, bro. The narrative is being see. You got to be careful about how, where you getting your information from, like. Yeah. If you listening to the news tell you that, the chances are it's probably not. They do right. shit for salacious reasons, right? For emotional, because they know to tap into the emotional side is to keep people to watching it. You gonna that's watch the, the fucking the ten o'clock? Right. Yeah, right. you gonna watch the ten o'clock in the morning news? You gonna watch that twelve shit? You gonna watch that five p.m. shit? You gonna watch that ten at night shit? They got you, and they gonna they steady making money off your stupid ass off of the emotional. Shit, they don't put money mm-hmm. behind this shit and study it. If you think Walmart mm-hmm. spend, didn't spend no money and start playing music in their stores for no reason, you a damn fool, man. Everything done for a reason. Mm-hmm. Everything, but we don't look okay, at I'm, it like that. We walk. We I'm walk back. In Walmart. I'm back, we y'all. Walk. All right. We walk. Now I ain't gonna we, put y'all on. Hey, I'm back. Look. Hold stay on, y'all. Man. Y'all want I'm, it's eight people. Look, y'all, we finna close the live. We're gonna stay backstage. Hey, what I'm gonna do is I'm finna throw the link outside. So do it, it hold on, there's somebody in the back. Hold on, y'all. I see somebody in the back. Oh, when they're gone. I'm finna drop the link. I'm finna drop the link in the live so y'all can join us backstage. The link will still be active as long as we on the phone and I'm at work, so I'm up all night. Like Gilbert yeah, Godfrey. But yeah, you can't if if people think that my boys. You walking, you walking in Walmart, and you hearing music, and you don't think that shit for no reason. You a damn fool. You, you a damn fool. Too. Ain't ain't no way in hell. Yeah. No way in hell that them people gonna spend all that money. Say hey, y'all. Hey. That's that's hey. uh, your lady at the, at the pilot, man. No, we love. love. Oh, oh, look. Oh, they they finna kick me out. Oh, I apologize. Yeah, about, you about to be out there. I apologize. Bro. It's love, y'all. Yeah. It's love, y'all. Bug, yeah, yeah. I hope, I, Bug, I hope you're going to say TA location? in a minute. Watch. <laughs> what's the location? I think I'm in TK. Bug, say, Bug, all I'm... y'all, we, put a, we we five hours in the live, man. This is my longest live. What's uh, it? Five it? hours in, y'all. If y'all want to join us backstage, I just dropped the link. Even when I stop hey, the man. live, you still can come backstage. So, hey man, I, I need fifty. Out. Hold on, I y'all, need fifty cent, man. Get your roll out. You want me to cash up you fifty cent? Um, uh, get your roll out. Uh, twelve. <laughs> nah, I'm uh the the thing that I'm gonna keep saying is uh John Henry Clark, Doctor John Henry Clark. Um, give him your uh, 
Instagram and YouTube, man. Come on, bro. I got this. Come on. Dr. 12. John Henry Clark. No, your he, info. Uh, well, he, he no, your info. To your page. You finna start the King's Table. Come on, bro. Ah, buddy. He's fine. Ah. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. I hope you make Oh, uh, Chance, go ahead, Chance. Hey, uh, it's chopping. Well, hey, man, strong. I'm sexy. I got man we, boobs. I'm a dyke. We, I can't no help but make it home. We, so that's W I T. <laughs> Underscroll yeah, team. And I'm sexy. That's Instagram. Say it again, homegirl. Say Shopping. it again. I'm sorry, I was talking about you. We, 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 we. No H. Underscroll team. <laughs> oh, shit. We. My shit just twizz the gauge, man. If you can spell that, man, you can find me, man. If you can't spell that, you don't need to be talking to me, man. That boy is. Uh, drop the mic, walk away. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, and I don't do no arguing either. Yeah. Zero. Intelligent people don't argue, man. By none. We, might, we can have an open debate, but we ain't arguing. Yeah, yeah we ain't finna do no arguing. I don't argue with my wife. We ain't even do that. Right. I ain't for arguing a grown ass man. Line that back so you can hear the shit twice. Oh, shit. <laughs> they can't even hear me. Tank, uh, tank, uh, get your roll out, man, because twelve on some other shit. <laughs> I uh, I'm just, I'm just OG Tank on, on, on YouTube. That that just me oh, right YouTube. there. That's all I got. Yeah. Alright, y'all, look. Hold on. If you want to come in, uh, why is it not letting uh, it won't let me invite um. Uh, Didi in the in the chat, man. What's going on with Instagram? I mean, with stream yours. You nigga, you know what's going on. You about already know said. Oh, talking. She, you yeah, already know. know. Talking. They hating yeah. on us. Hold on, y'all. Let me see what I can do. You know what? I might can switch up the. Uh... Yeah, I got all my work done. I think I did good. Hold on, let me see. Hold on, man. YouTube the shit. <laughs> Look like you should be able to add whoever in there. Hey, look, I'm trying oh. to add them in now, but it won't let me. But look, I'm gonna go backstage. You should let me let you let you in now when I go backstage. But say, man, Tiger Hi. Bear Bees, I appreciate y'all for coming in. Uh, follow me on all social media platforms: YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, soon to be on Discord. Hey, like, subscribe, comment. Don't like, do something. But Tiger Bear <laughs> Bees, we up out of here. But hey, the link is up. Uh, up where? One more time. Send it, send it, oh, I'm putting it in the chat. So all you have, I'm gonna hit it in the chat again and put the link. And y'all just come backstage. We backstage chopped it up, man. We finna get out though. Y'all take it easy. Have a